Oh, right. I think we might be live. Well, let me just check. What do I want to? Am I live? Right. YouTube is catching up. Everything is looking pretty good. As far as I can tell. And, uh, yeah. So, if you're out there, welcome to my Satisfactory Charity stream. So, this is a stream to raise money for the victims of the Christchurch mosque attacks here in New Zealand. And, yeah, so as a New Zealander, I thought it would be a good thing to do, really, you know. I've already already donated a little bit of my own money um, to that, to the, to the charity. There's a link in the description below. You can just go and see that yourself if you're interested. Uh, the description has a link to the kind of official victim support charity, which is a reputable New Zealand group. And um, otherwise, anything that comes through as Super Chats, I'll also donate. Uh, I'll try and make up the cut that YouTube that YouTube takes myself. If it gets a bit too much, I won't be able to do that. But I'll do my best, and I'll I'll share what the what the numbers are and what I take and all that kind of stuff on on Twitter. So the thing to do now is to look at a new game and where to start. And. We've already seen the first series uh, in my other videos as shown grass fields, so now I think I'm going to do Rocky Desert. Uh, Northern Forest is quite good, but oh my goodness, it is way a, a overgrown. It's really overgrown. I think I'm going to go for Desert Area. I'm going to put it on Friends, just in case anyone I know wants to pop on. I uh, don't think we have that many. We're going to call this Charity Stream, and we're going to get started because the whole intro bit always takes a minute and you can't skip it yet. So we're going to get stuck in here. You got this. Why don't you play that? Did I get to play in advance? I did get to play in advance uh, because um, I am a, a YouTuber. As you know, sometimes we get stuff. And it is fully released early access. Link in the description below. You can see. Um, yeah, you can see the game there. Attention, Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Uh, let me know if the audio is off Fix by any chance. Fixit pioneers have hear three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary okay. buildings. The lady talk. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. Yes. That's it. Get to work and Good. be effective. All right, Morning. thank you, Planet lady. Fall imminent. Please remain <laughs> seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in five, four, Three, two, one. Planet fault procedure Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration okay. suit is at 100%. Okay, and I've just cranked the mic audio up a little bit too. Cool. So, we have landed. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Awesome. Is the, menu, is the image frozen on the main menu? Oh my goodness, don't tell me that's happening. I'm currently in game. <laughs> Satisfactory costs. Actually, that's a good question about $20, $30. Uh, depending on where you are in the world. A, B, B. Can anyone, can everyone the see the game? Can anyone see the game? I am Ada. Voices like 10% of game volume. Ugh. 
Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed <coughs> in Stark Bay Habitat. Testing, testing. Base, from now on referred to as Frozen. Ah, oh, what is it doing? Note, fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. Okay, I've, why is it stuck on that? Ah, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm on Streamlabs OBS and I have no idea why it's not capturing. Hang on. We'll toggle it. I'm just toggling this and messing with it. Wow, that's been really terrible, and now it's gone black, right? All right, I don't know what you're doing, Streamlabs. I am going... All right, how's this? I don't know what it is doing. It's being very... It's being very bank bad. Okay, we're back. We're, oh, I don't know what it's doing. It's being very... It's, Streamlabs is being strange. And uh, actually, so is OBS. But OBS is back. Uh, I do... Let me have a look at my filters. Is this gain is up 7%? Oh, 7%. I'll put it up to gain 10 And I'm hoping that... Well, I'm peaking it pretty badly, aren't I? Let's drop that down a little bit. Testing, testing. Okay. Just shout at me if the audio goes bad or you can't hear anything or it looks weird. Frozen Desert. Yes, Frozen Desert. I love the Frozen de de Desert. It's very cool, uh, so to speak. And we have to deconstruct our pod. So if you don't know already, this is my charity stream for uh, Satisfactory. And Please ensure you yes, 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 data. Incorporated Zeno Zapper before Get out the old Zeno Zapper. Note. According to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Yes. So, uh, this is a charity stream for Christchurch, for the this Christchurch mosque attacks. Um, I'm a New Zealander. Uh, I'm a New Zealander, and it's obviously been pretty upsetting for everyone here. And I thought it would be cool to, you know collect some donations via a charity stream so if you like what I'm up to or yep. okay or you want to make a donation then uh, yeah you can do so at the link below if you want to make a direct donation to the charity of uh, of everyone's kind of choice here in New Zealand victim support okay or you can this consumable possesses drop a super chat or something like that all right let me just line up my windows again so we've got a bunch of the starting resources and I'm kind of inclined to think of some kind of little challenge for all of this and hello there David hello there Natasha and night sky bad channel everyone else is watching great to have you along let me just jiggle my windows windows are jiggled and I've got to find some iron so here's some limestone but iron is the most important thing we need right at the start of the game. So I've actually started a multiplayer series which hasn't been published yet because I've been recording it. Where me and my two buddies Silence and Jace, we have been making a main bus Factorio style. Which is actually pretty funny to try and do in... Are we already all over there? It's pretty funny to try and do in Satisfactory, but I like it. It's... Um, it's a really quite a fun challenge. So the, the deal is we can't go factory to factory. We can only go like smelter to belt, belt to factory, and the outputs of the factory go back to the belt. So that was that's been a really fun channel or challenge to start recording. The ten by ten challenge. I could do a ten by ten challenge again. Absolutely. Uh, I was thinking, is there anything else that would be good to do? Oh man, have we got these? Oh, I've got those things here. Okay. Do I want to... Just going to have a little look around first. It's quite important to think about where you're going to start. A lake. I could pave this lake, I guess. And an arch. Huh. There's quite a lot of options here. Hardcore 5x5, five 1x1. Five, one one. A main bus is what people call in Factorio the long stream of belts. They put down just row after row of belts. And everything, all the conveyor belts, take all the goods off um, the factories, put them onto the belt going up and down the map, and then you 
her design pure iron and then with the belt you um then take the, the stuff you need for other factories off the belt so it's a way of if you're playing factorio it's a way of really effectively oh these things just suck so bad oh you know what i'm going to do first uh, uh actually oh i can't even i can't even pull up my build menu until i've killed them these things are really hard around here da one more where are you yeah oh, come here Oh, just, just, they're much harder than one hit around this zone for some reason. Everything's a bit tough around here. So, yeah, the belt challenge is fun. The 5x5 five five sounds pretty fun as well. Oh, my gosh. 5x5. Five 5x5 five. Five five would be hard. Is that really, really what you guys want? If I pull it off, then I definitely, I definitely deserve something. Oh, it's a little... Little lizard doggo. Open terrain, close to the Hello. Of iron mm, he won't come near me unless Failure I've got berries. So in... All right. It is around 9 a.m. in New Zealand. I it's exactly around like it's 9:17. I took a day off to to do this. Really, I thought it would be kind of cool to do, and I thought it would be good for the um for the charity purposes that I intend. All right. I would be a boss if I pulled off a 5x5. Five five. I can tower upwards, yeah. So I might just put the hub there. I mean, all of these things are movable later on. And I'm just going to come over here and start smashing out some of these. And the weird, the sound is gone. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub yeah. Feature, manual craft bench. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, lady. Hub terminal. Fifth objective. Hub upgrade. Storage and power. Note. The craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Yes, yes. We need 10 of these. And then we can choose our upgrade. So tier 0 hub upgrade 1. And we'll put in this. What does it give me again? Basic crafting stuff. Smelters, portable miners. Yeah. Alright. Upgrade hub. Bazoink. Yay! New email received. All that kind of stuff. What I want is a workbench which will require... You have rods and plates feature, biomass generator Hub um plates storage scanner feature copper might as well just you work this one out buildings and blueprints which can be found in the workshop when built build menu and craft bench actually i'll put that over here no not the craft bench got one of those workshop objective hub upgrade construction note connect buildings to a generator for power note Buildings such as I need add to to-do to list set. and I think I'll add nice. automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results <sighs> get out of here bush yes thank you game I know whoops I'm actually gonna put my junk away so I'll drag these over and these over and go and get some more stuff so what have I got over here there are no height limits and the five by five challenge all right, I think we'll do it. A skyscraper in the middle of the lake. Yeah, that's exactly where I'm hitting as well. The remains of this creature might shed light on Thank you, Ada. You're very chatty today, it seems. And I need to find copper. So we're going to do that. Hopefully frame rate and quality is up. I always prefer it if OBS will capture the whole of a game rather than capture the window because window capture can be a bit... Um, I don't know. It doesn't feel as good. I don't think it's going to be as good quality, but hopefully this is all working beautifully. And I need some copper. Where are you, copper? Like, well, I'm really pleased we've got that pure ore. That's going to be really nice. Okay, that copper's not too far away. Yeah, that's not too far. Okay, fine. So at the start, there's a little bit of hand crafting everything. It's a good time for me to, um, I don't know, chit-chat. So yes, we'll go for a 5x5 five five in the middle of the lake. I was almost thinking once of doing an inverted pyramid. But that would be... Um, horrendous I think it would be really hard and become fairly pointless fairly quick as well okay we'll get a bit of this always need a bit of that as well okay so yeah I will be publishing the uh, multiplayer factorio bus satisfactory video I'll probably put one out tomorrow start doing it from then all right where are you copper I need to go and manually harvest a bunch of you and I've got a tips video on the channel as well already. 20, 20 tips in like 6 minutes, 30 seconds. It's pretty... That's a lot of tips. <clears throat> I 
Yes, yeah, so we're going to cross into the into the middle of the lake. Are you the? You're not. You're the iron, aren't you? No, you're the copper. You are the copper. Ah, okay. We need to get out the zapper again. Oh, these things just they break me. Okay, you. Bam, bam. Oh, bam. I should play Apex. I'm so good at this first person stuff. No, I'm not really. I'm depressingly bad at it. Uh, oh, ow. Oh, wow. That was actually not too bad. <laughs> not too bad at all. Okay, we'll, we'll put that away. Put this away. Munch on something. And smack this copper ore. I'm going to be streaming for about... Uh, six hours or seven hours today until my children come home and then they'll want to hang around and knit a natter, which may or may not be entertaining. And at that point, I'll probably stop. I am the copper. I have the copper. And it's very handy and close, which I appreciate. It's going to make running around at the start a little easier. Always a good idea just to set up nice and close to your resources right at the start of the game. Hello, giant elephant guy. Alright, got to make some wire, and then we're going to make as many portable miners as we can get away with. Because they make things a bit more efficient when you're hauling around the map. We're not hearing the clinking clonking, I wonder if that's a little bug. And I'm not hearing the bink bonk bink bonk from the craft bench, normally it gives you a nice little sound effect. So we need all of this copper, we need how much wire? 32, but we also need 16 cable but we have to turn everything into into wire there's no point in turning it into just a bit um of of wire everything goes to wire okay so good we've got the portable miners all right here we go doing this thing and all four great now do i have any other no just iron and copper okay fine Right, we'll get these guys going. These are so cool. I love the animation on them so much. It's a bit hard to see at evening time, but especially when I put the interface in the way. But look, they kind of hop around and hover around. <laughs> and then they look for where they're going to park themselves and drop their drills. Drop their feet as drills. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. Nice. There are so many nice little animation touches and details in this game. It's one of the really cool things about it, especially with just the larger factories. They do so many cool things. Clear out as much of this grass as we can, and if we collect it all now, we'll save ourselves a lot of hassle later on. So I've seen people in um, in various chats or on the on disc on not Discord on Reddit talking about how they find the grass hunting kind of tedious. But honestly, you do a bunch of running around at the start of the game anyway, and you pick up all the grass you can then. Oh, it's also pure. Wow, that's more copper than any sane person will ever need. That wasn't a cave, was it? Hang on, where's my where's my torch? Yeah, so you do so much running around at the start of the game anyway that I think it's really easy to gather an absolute ton of copper. I mean, a ton of grass and stuff. All right, night sky, have fun. All right. So, grab, 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 grab. Okay, so much grass. Yeah, we're going to have enough fuel to last for ages. We do have a generator now, but it's really time to crack on with the next objectives. We don't really need any automated manufacturing yet. Uh, we do want to get smelters and what have you up. Select milestone. All right, so this is going to be a little bit more... Do I have anything? I do have smelters. I do like to just smash things down at the start. Oh, and I don't have I don't have a power line beyond uh, this, so I'm just going to go and what are we going to put in here? Uh, just put a stack of leaves. I like to try and automate relatively as much as I can early on, even if it's really messy. Hang on a sec, guys. I've just got to take a call. Oh, 
looks like it's gone to messaging already. Hang on a sec. So I do like to automate as much as I possibly can, uh, even if it's kind of dirty, scruffy automation because um, it just speeds everything up. I mean, heading back over, I need my power poles. That's going to be the thing I want the most right now so I can get these smelters up and running. So shove ore in there. It can start producing for me. Um, you can take... Oh, we need more copper. And we need more of everything. Hang on a sec. All right, all back, cool. Thanks for waiting. Okay, so what have we got here? We need plates and rods and stuff. It bugs me that I can't hear the crafting audio. Am I, am I missing something in my options here? Let me just check. I don't know, I'll put that up, why not? Factory can be a little loud, I'll put it there. All right, apply. Maybe, maybe that was it. Maybe I turned the jolly things off, which is my own silly fault. All right, that and that. Copper's next. This is making stuff for us. We do have not got, not got constructors yet, but we will as soon as we finish this unlock. I'm trying to power through the early game as fast as I can. Because it's good to do. Where are you, my remaining copper? Ah, oh, you are over here somewhere, aren't you? I'm sure of it. It's foggy. I can't see anything. Got leaves, though. Lots of them. Yep. Take that. Run back. Yeah, there are a couple of little bugs in the game still. Nothing, nothing too major. It plays really well. And there's a full bug reporting system, and they've been pretty busy during the alpha. Um, but, yeah, clearing out bugs and fixing things, which is cool. Look at all these plants. They are mine. I'm going to have so much biomass. It's going to be amazing. So we're ready to do the upgrade once I smelt this copper. How much am I going to need? About that much. No, a bit more. Get to 50 on the list. I need a little bit more to, to make poles and stuff. And here we go. Ahoy there bees, good to see you man. Thanks for the uh, encouraging words. Uh, that, that. Yay, upgrade. Uh, put this, oh, concrete. Yes, uh, so, uh, limestone. Over there, okay. Oh, that's a little bit far, further than I would like, but um, grab that. Grab that. Note, Grab that. Power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Note, constructors are capable of constructing copious parts, of which only one type at a time. Alright, we need to make a little bit more wire so that I can make the... I need a bunch of cable and wire to make the next miner. I'm going to drop a stone miner. And that's done that, and we need a bunch of this. And we need some iron plate, which means we need some ingots. Which we do have smelting, but they're not quite done. Oh, a bit more, come on. This is the part, not my super favorite part of the game, but I, I kind of appreciate it. I liked it. I kind of did actually like it in Satisfactory, that kind of gentle start you would get. I mean, you're kind of just handcrafting. It makes you appreciate doing it with machines much more. 
Alright, over this way. We got another evil sparkly firefly aliens on here. Or are we safe? We're safe! Hooray! You're installing Satisfactory now. Awesome. Yeah, there's a link in my uh, description to grab Satisfactory if you want to wanna chuck me in, in, in the linky thing. It makes you a creator, supporter type thing for the, for the purchase, which is great. Um, right, that one's done. And to put this one down too. Can I get it here? Yes. And I will actually smack this rock. Is this pure as well? No, just normal limestone. That's fine. Yes, Florin, this is Satisfactory, which is a factory building game like Factorio. It's in early access today, which is which is cool. You can go and buy it on the Epic Store. A link in the description below, as well as a link to uh, the charity that I'm supporting today, which is Victim Supports um, Charity Work with uh, for the Christchurch Attack Victims. It's already at like six and a half million dollars. They've raised a ton of money, but considering how many families have um, been affected, that's you know that's a good start. All right, we got all of this, and we're okay for everything. We need to put a few things away in our box. And make some concrete and then we'll be sorted. We get another couple of smelters up. And just get everything cranking on the smelters. Or maybe a smelter can, and then a constructor. I think I can do that. Yeah, constructor's there. I want at least two of those and another one of those. Which means... Uh, what do we need? Okay, so we need concrete making first. So concrete making is straight out of... Wow, not enough space in my inventory. That's madness. Um, take all of that out. And take all of that too, and you can have that, that, and half of that. So just shoving stuff away in the box for later. Concrete. Clunk, clunk, clunk. So yeah, any super chats I get today will be given to that charity. I'll try and make up the difference that YouTube takes, but if it gets too crazy, I won't. Just depends. We'll see. I'll do some of it. I'll tr if I can, I'll even match donations, but I don't know how, how many Super Chats I'll get today. Iron rods. No, we're going to need a bunch anyway, but I can make a bunch of these myself. No, one. Okay. If. Take that down. Oh, ah, yeah. yep. To here. So it's quite important just to have enough power poles for everything, and it's really easy not to have enough power poles for everything. Hence, I am going a little crazy with the power poles. Okay, that's 100 ore. Put 100 iron in. The next thing I really want is a constructor, which is currently missing the plate. But that's pretty easy to make, so we can do that. So we make a bunch of screws first, and then we make three reinforced plates. Need more rods. And then the constructor will definitely speed things up a bit. Oh, what am I short on? Iron plates. That's right. <coughs> we'll go for six. Two, three, four, five, six. And constructor. So there's my output. So we'll do an input straight to here. Um and we will set up another power pole oh need rods ay 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 so much little right bit of running around at the start almost there though we're almost at automation of some kind okay so power pole here so this is just to bootstrap us into uh, making the right actually i'm gonna grab the copper ingots put it in here you can make wire with these copper ingots. Alright, cool. And over here, can I get another factory down? I sort of can, yes. I suspect that I will need to move you. Maybe we'll put you there. So that's the other thing. If you don't overconnect everything, you end up with much better um, sort of power line density. You don't have to contest everything. Can't afford? Oh, I need more cable. Okay, more cable. Turn off the old torch. Cable! 
you always seem to end up with an absolute ton of cable later in the game way more than you ever need which I don't understand but it's just how it works plates and chuck that in so there's a little bit of hand crafting at the start here and then a little bit of assisted factory crafting and then later on things get a little bit more streamlined okay right, that's the start smelter I want another smelter to go I don't know here might be a good idea and then I'm gonna put a pole here and you I want to make more iron ingots alright we got lots going on right now that's going well that's going well I feel like I will need to go get more copper You have no idea who I am, Natasha. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber from New Zealand. And yeah, I appreciate you um, sticking around. If you're interested in Satisfactory, I've got some videos on the channel. I'd recommend my tips video if you've just bought it. And I'd recommend the tractor race video, which is one of the last 10 by 10 challenge videos. It was a really fun fun one to make. It doesn't show a factory, uh, sorry, Satisfactory very well. Isn't that pretty? Wow. But it does... It does show you a pretty fun video. And the rest of the 10x10 10 10 challenge videos are pretty good as well. But this is going to be a 5x5 5 5 challenge video. The rules are I'm going to have to build inside a 5x5 5 5 grid on the lake once I get everything set up. And I'm going to be able to go up. I'm going to be able to run conveyor belts outside the factory. That's, I think, perfectly reasonable and not crazy. But I'm not going to be able to do much more than that. So everything else is going to have to go in. That's going, that's going, you're going, good, yes. And I want a constructor for concrete pretty soon as well, because that takes a little while. What am I looking at here? Reinforced plate, and probably I'm about to run out of power, so what can I get rid of at the start here? I can get rid of that. I can get rid of the plate, and I can get rid of the cable. I will need a lot more plate. And I do want another Xeno Zapper. Wow, I've actually... 18 constructors. I think I'm getting a little carried away there. Uh, that was a bit silly. And another smelter. No, I don't need any more smelters right now. I will just add one constructor. Okay, so what have we got in here? This is chucking along. You need to be topped up. You need to give me all of this. I need an iron rod production as well pretty soon. So we'll go grab these smelted, or these, these full miners. Hi there, Sixto, great to see you. Uh, full, full, full. And that's doing okay. Do I have much plate lying around? I do not. I'm going to have to make some of my own. Just to keep up with the factory production. Alright, so hopefully audio and everything is good. It's looking good on the stream information I have, but if there's any tweaks you need made, let me know. Okay, we've got that, and then I want some of this, and I want some of this, so I can make that, so I can put down another constructor, which will be just for concrete. So, constructor, just for concrete. Oh, cables. Ah, come here. I've got wire. Oh, really? You're out. Oh, that's because I haven't given you any more. Fair enough. So, cable production. Very important. Yeah, about that much should do the trick. So, this constructor I'll just put... Um, I think I'll put him over here. And we will run another power pole to here and go here to here. Do I have enough? I do have enough for another portable miner, so we'll do that too. I think maybe we'll go for two. Yeah, and we'll go top up the stores over there. Do I need? I don't have any rods on me or anything. No, no, no. Okay, we'll go get it ourselves manually. Take a detour through all this wood. We're going to need lots of it later on to power our biomass generators. 
right, right, right. I can hear a, I can hear a, a worm up there. Or a slug, or whatever they're called. I, can't, I always, I always get the name wrong. Green slug, isn't it? They're awesome. They give you the ability to overpower and overclock your your system. And we are going to need so much concrete. All right, so these guys are full already, to be expected. Whoops. And this one. And put down them. I've got. Wow, well, I've got spare miners. Yeah, definitely got spare miners. I'll leave that there. I might go put the other one on the copper. Okay, so if you don't know what this game is, it's satisfactory. It's like Factorio, and today is release day for the game, which is awesome. I'm wonder I'm a bit worried about what's in that lake. I've seen a lake here which had a, a weird There it is. That's that's the reason we don't want to fall in the lake, I suspect. I don't know what that is. It seems bad, is my my impression. So, yeah. Caution around that thing. Oh, limestone. In you go. Take out all the spare biomass we've got here. Drag that out. Take that out. Take that out. Sort it. Sort all of this. Cool. Looking pretty solid. Everything's stopped, though. Why is everything stopped? Because you need more more space, don't you? And you aren't producing enough. Okay, get going. We are very close, I'm convinced. Take that and put that in. And what have I got here? A bunch of this. A bunch of plate. So we're just going to have to shove that in here for now. And make our own for the rest. Which shouldn't take too long. If anyone has any questions, let me know. I'm happy to talk about the game. I haven't played extensively through to the later tiers. Because I keep recording new episodes of stuff for, for YouTube. But um, I've seen in the alpha chat some pretty impressive factories people have put together. Real monstrous, you know, massive systems. Which I think is awesome. It's great to see. Alright, so we need two reinforced plate, which is made out of the screws and the plate. And we need a lot of plate. That's okay, we'll get this one pretty good. Oh, Nick. I'm um, sorry, Mick. Thank you very much. And Zach Strong. I oh, appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. First super chat, $20. That is brilliant. I'll be sending that off to victim support, hopefully later today. once, <laughs> or, on, or when YouTube tells me how much... Uh, so how many super chats I've got in total because it can be a little unreliable it might take a couple of days but yeah that's awesome thanks you Mick thank you very much Mick uh, where are we at plate yeah it's been good to see you know countries saying nice things and doing nice things to support little old New Zealand um, especially Egg Boy what a hero and upgraded yay now we've got belt so I can go like this bam and you well, not BAM. Look at all of that beautiful, beautiful trade, machinery. Take that. Bench, respectively. Oh, brilliant. What was that? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mick. That was great. Um, why are you complaining to me, game? Oh. Oh, we need fuel. <laughs> awesome. Oh, that's cool. So my it looks like my stream labby chatty thingy caught up with the super chat as well. And you got a cool shiver me timbers. I've I've had that terrify me at times. I'm only a meek, mild mannered pirate. Look at that. Smelters running, machines are loading stuff into other things. I mean, is there a is there ever a, a bad game with with conveyor belts? I'm not sure there is. I'm pretty sure conveyor belts make everything better. What are you again? You are one of those, and I want you to be producing... What do I need? Reinforced plate. I want you to be producing iron rods as soon as I can make this. We're getting there. This is the this is the tipping point where things start to be a little less handcrafty and a little bit more roll-your-own stuff. Uh, that makes no sense. A little bit more factory-driven. It is only 9.30 in the morning. I'm not used to using any kind of brain power at this time of the day. Uh, here we go. 
and we will put yeah we can put it on this pole Ooh. oh we need some of that that's fine we'll give you some rods that will be your goal why have you stopped making stuff I've burned through all of your limestone that's why we give you some more and pick up the old stuff Whew, so many jobs to do and oh right brilliant oh thanks Mick I mean you can uh, hopefully uh, and I'll catch up later if you want. I'll be here for ages. Text block. All right, what are we doing for text block? Upgrading. Okay, that's fine. So what I've got now is a situation where I'm generating more power or taking more power than I need. But you know what I don't need? I don't need... Oh, I can't overclock these yet. <sighs> that's a shame. Um, what I can do is turn this one off. And then I can go to my power pole. Is that going to do it? What? Are we out? No, that's not right. Oh. Hmm. That's annoying. I need to set my next objectives for one. And... Do I have anything useful? Yes. What could I do here? Um... If I just turned you off for now... Oh, we're so close on the power. That's such a pain. Oh, you jolly game. Who wrote? And grab all the iron. So I can at least load up the smelter. That's going to busy make busily make rods. It's still got a whole bunch of um, bars to export. So the smelters do make bars uh, at a faster pace than the uh, than the factories will consume them. At least at the start of the game. Let me have a look. Okay, cool. We'll go, go to the copper mine and sort the copper mine out. Pick up all of this. As many leaves as possible. And pretty soon we should have a biomass recipe, which will make our leaves and our wood more more efficient in the in the factory. What would I rate this game out out of ten? So, oh, that's, a, that's an interesting question. I really like it. I was just about to say earlier that any game with the conveyor belt is good by me. You can watch the full animation here. It's so cute. I think it's really cool. I re I'm really enjoying it. The questions, I guess the questions I have are the questions that, that come with Factorio. So one of the things that makes Factorio really great is that once you've got to grips with the basic game, and that in and of itself, like getting enough throughput on a factory that isn't like you waiting for hours and hours and hours that is a that's an interesting challenge right so building up these complex factories with you know massive throughput and, and production chains is really cool and that exists in satisfactory as well what will be interesting to see is if people feel that the challenge is there once you've done that like is there a reason to replay the game oh you as soon as I added one more thing to the stack. Okay, we're going to turn this off for now. Build up some copper plate. Yeah. That's a question. It's an interesting question, really. Because I think, will people enjoy the game in the same way later on? And I don't know the answer to that. Will they want to come back and, and play through again, but more efficiently? And uh, I, can't, I can't say. I think people will. Like, that's just my, my instinct. There are two or three different starting areas, and they are they are quite different. There's a lot of places to explore. I mean, I don't. I mean, a lot. I thought there'd be a few bits and bobs. There's a few wrecks scattered around, but actually, there are caves and spiders and hordes of green slugs just tucked away, like everywhere. It's kind of crazy how much there is out there. So yes, I think that will be super appealing to people. Um, multiplayer is really fun. I, it's really easy. I'm kind of. A little, a little sad that the people I normally multiplay with are um, off at work today because it's just so simple. They just join. Um, they, it's no, no fuss really. They just have to click the join button in, in, from the main menu, choose the friend who's playing, and they're in. And it's really seamless. And one of the really thing, really nice things they've done is when you're playing multiplayer, you can see the outline of other people's stuff. So when people are going to build, you can actually see the outline of the where they are going to put put stuff. So you can kind of talk about putting stuff down before. Um, you do, which for 
for some of my friends it's probably really annoying because I'm really fussy and I can see where they're going to put stuff but it's a fun so I I really like it but you know I really like Factorio and I've found that production chain type games are just things that I super enjoy they're catnip to me and how are we doing here alright so that's on stat that has got we can just turn that off put this one on pick up the copper okay this is very messy but it is working put that one away how are we looking here this one will need copper I mean metal whatever it's doing and stick it in here take that and that and we'll make a little bit I think we could probably just make the last bits ourselves Yeah, you've recently started playing PC games. Well, I think you'll really enjoy this, Nylock. Uh, it's a, if you're coming from a console background, then you'll find... I don't know. I, I really enjoy a weird and wide variety of games. I'm pretty lucky that I get to try a lot just you know, doing YouTube and stuff. But I really enjoy indie games. They have interesting ideas. I really enjoyed, actually, Alpha Genesis 1, which is a, another epic title that was out recently. I did some videos on it. And it's a um, an FTL-like game that's yeah got some interesting ideas in it You're building a spaceship exploring planets stopping alien bug things invading your spaceship stuff like that crafting yeah so that's a that's another game i enjoy and you don't always get those little experiences on console not quite as varied oh two more really game two more rods okay here we go and then we can do the final hub well near next to final hub upgrade so we do it, and ba bom ba bom ba bom ba bom Here's our quarters, don't they look adorable? And you this is cool mission. as well. You have unlocked pub feature, additional biomass. Yes, you might not be able to see it, but down here, tiny pirate, bottom of the pioneer list, because I was involved right at the start. Um, that's more of an honor than a, than a need for thanks. Like I, I kind of don't think the game needs to thank me, or the developers. So I'm just going to look here. Yep, because... Um, you know, it's a it's a pleasure to help people with the game development stuff. That's no problem at all. All right, so we've got. Whoops, what do I need? I need to grab all of this grass and turn it into biomass because biomass is better than just pure grass. Burns better. Hey, hello there, Jacob. We are playing Satisfactory. This is a charity stream for the Christchurch earthquake victims. Um, so there's a victims fund. I've got a link in the description below if you don't know what that is all about. Oh, uh, actually, no, I don't want to do that. That's too many power lines. That would get a bit... I won't be able to power anything easily off that. All right, that's that. So the... the Christchurch attacks happened in, on Friday and uh, some nasty nasty person it's obviously not enough words to express how horrible he is when it killed 50 people including um i don't know if you if you guys know um, jason from um, the, the multiplayer video someone he went to high school with was killed um and my wife's indonesian indonesian people in her community were um, affected directly by this as well four, i think three or four down there i think one or two killed i'm the numbers keep changing because the community hasn't quite figured all this out either. But, you know, just awful stuff. Not the kind of stuff that ever really happens in New Zealand. So, yeah, there's been a lot of support here. It's been pretty fantastic. Um, our Prime Minister's been doing a good job, in my opinion. Kind of helping out, talking about it, setting the tone, all that kind of Prime Ministerial stuff. And a lot of people coming together to make donations and support the support the victims okay we can turn all this back on there's still like 40 people in hospital and like nine or ten of them in critical it's just terrible so enough of that uh for now let's oh i can put all right i can put you back on can't i i've got enough power now that's what i'm doing i'm turning everything back on 40 megawatts nice and czech republic it's nearly 10 o'clock yes it's nearly 10 a.m here in new zealand because we're on summertime so what are we needing? Uh, concrete, which we can put in now. Copper, we can put in now. The iron rods and stuff will take a while. Um, 
Oh, turn you on. Is everything on now? Yes, but you need iron ore. And you will probably need iron ore as well. And then we need to go clear the copper. Yes. And clear the iron too. Oh, so much running. Uh, if you don't think that people don't do that for the bomb victims in uh, in Europe, Multi, then I think you haven't been paying enough attention to the news and you've been uh, listening to the usual idiots on the internet. Also, we New Zealanders, we stand together. And stone. So much stone. I won't be able to pick up all of it. What will I do? I think I'll just get rid of some of that wood. Alright, zip back to base. Pretty soon we're going to have uh, miners. I think it's on this current upgrade. And then I can start the automation processes and start to build on the lake. I am still worried about that weird dinosaur that's down there. Weird, I don't know. It's not really a dinosaur, is it? Some kind of strange creature that's in the lake. Take all of that. Oh, and I'll take these sandbags out. Take these rods out. And, what is it? Iron. Yep. Copper. Don't have any. Iron. Oh, wait, that didn't go in. Hang on. Iron, iron, iron. Okay, good. Leaves. I will just drop. And load up the factory. Alright, cool. So that's a bunch of rods I can chuck in and plate. Anything else I need to worry about? I'll put a bit of biomass away because I don't need that much. Put that in the bin. Sort. Okay, cool. Right, off to the copper. Oh, so much running back and forth. But we will make it. It'll be okay. So many leaves to collect. Do a little detour over here. I'm trying to keep an eye out as well, or an ear out for the green slugs. Tomorrow's school. The weather in New Zealand right now is really sunny, which, it, for this time in Wellington, it should be probably starting to get disgusting. Autumn comes on pretty hard here, but no, we've had nice days, and it's kind of a bit bright on the monitor, which is a pain, even with my, um, even with my curtain clothes down here. Move along, sun. There's important factory building to be done. Why is there no school today, Jacob? Hello there, Dennis. I would have thought you'd be at school today. It's a, like, Tuesday in Europe, right? Oh, what am I saying? Of course, it's Tuesday evening. Duh. You're not going to be at school now. And stay in school, kids. What do we got here? Stay in school after hours. All day. Endlessly. Never leave. Alright, iron ore, that's going in here, plates coming out. We're going to be pretty close to the fifth upgrade very shortly. You have to go to sleep, yeah, that is a good idea as well. Don't skimp on your sleep, says the person who skimps on his sleep. Um, right, that's done. That's done, that's done. We're very close. Do we have enough? I haven't calculated. Probably not. Almost. It's probably just worth doing it by hand. So we need a little bit of plate and a little bit of iron rods. That won't take too long. Wow, you're working on your game after school? Oh, good on you. You know, a lot of uh, people don't know this, but I used to be a game developer a little bit. And I, I, I don't want to oversell myself here, but I used to work for a company called Codemasters back in 2002 to 2004. And I was a community manager back then for a game called Dragon Empires, which you can still see bits and bobs of on YouTube. It was uh, going to be an MMO. It was going to be quite cool, but there were a whole bunch of reasons why it didn't work. But for the period that I was a... Oh, you troll, almost. But for the period that I was a community manager, I had 
often people come up to me and say, oh, I want to be a game developer, or my kid wants to be a game developer. What do they want to do? Or what should they do? Where should they go to school? And I said, they should develop games. Like, if you want to be a game developer, develop games. And you can do that with a piece of paper and a deck of cards. That's game development, right? You will learn a lot just starting with the basics. Starting with card games, board games. You have unlocked Loch Ness. I know, Knight. No Loch Ness is terrifying me. Oh, hello, guy. Space elevator. Equipment Little lizard doggo. Equipment beacon. Where is he? Motivational message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. I'm going to fall in the water at some point and die. There he is. Thank you for your current and future servant. There he is. I don't know what he is, but I'm terrified of him. Last night I was playing with uh, Silence and Jason and we got near this guy and saw him and just went, nope. <laughs> Silence just ran away, basically. <laughs> he does not like that stuff. Uh, barrel nut. We'll do the barrel nut first. Research that. Cool. So yeah, if you want to be a game developer, develop games. And if you don't know how to program, either learn to program or go and join some other team as a writer or a designer or a something. That one's what we want next. Now we have miners. Uh, one, two, three. And we have, do we have biomass generators? Pretty sure we do. Yes. Okay, let's pick up these resources. So yeah, a lot of game development is, you know, thinking about systems. Breaking out um, Excel. That's the big, the biggest tool that a game designer will ever use is Excel, unless they're also like a programmer scripter. So what I'm going to do is start automating these guys. Yes, because these guys are on a pure a pure node, so there's no reason not to. Uh, if it was like an impure node, I'd maybe want to wait around a little bit before I automated. But for this one, the pures generate so much uh, ore that really there's no reason not to. Uh, I'm going to put this here, just so I've got an extra power line. Alright, so that's there. And why don't we pipe you straight into the back there for now. Are you happy? You happy? I think you're happy. Cool. Do I have another node? I think I do. I do. Good. Oh, I can't possibly clip through the building. That would be disgusting. So we're just going to do it that way. So what's chat saying? Oh, Dennis, of course. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, Dennis is an EarthX developer. I showed EarthX on the channel. And he is a very skilled developer for a young guy. There are some great unity tutorials on their on their home site yeah unity has some really good tutorials my um my boy has been messing with them he's only nine so he's more of a dabbler than he is a super keen uh you know developer i would say that's but he enjoys it and you know learning about how these systems work is useful all right we need more plate uh where are you plate i uh, got you cool come over here I'll just try and clear the factory a bit and here and did I get this oh word the tiny pirate you're being silly but yeah if you don't know or you didn't see my video on earthx I'd go check it out it's basically kind of like a SpaceX tycoon game and I'm honestly surprised that no one else has done this sooner no offense Dennis but it just seems like a really obviously good idea like a, a space launch simulator it's got all the fun of kind of spaceshipy stuff and it's got um yeah the tycoon stuff that everyone likes so what am i looking to do here i'm gonna put the grass away put the, no, i'll take that miner with me for now you need to give me all of your concrete and i need to put another stack in and i need to do i have enough for another miner yes i do i'm gonna go put one on the copper mine I don't really have enough plate to bring the copper back. I mean, I'll grab what I can get for the rods and plates. This, 
are you are you working here? What's going on? Oh, you're the copper one. That's fine. Not so worried about you. I will take the wire. And around here, of course. I've made this really messy for myself, so I have to jump all the time. Alright, it's only just caught up. Right, fair enough. Onwards we go. So, yeah, my boy had a go at unit at Scratch, and he, he really liked it. He's nine. Um, he liked messing around with Scratch, kind of making things fly around and... They did a spinning name thing they did at school, which was cool. But Unity's a whole different level. But the starter tutorials kind of kind of kind of good. They just tell you how to clip a bunch of stuff together, you know, load these assets and make them work within the game. Oh, I've left. I'm gonna have to drop something. What am I gonna get rid of? Uh, we'll drop this ore for now, and we'll come back and pick it up later. Pick all that up. One miner. Again, a pure node, which is just brilliant. The man has completed its analysis. Cool. What have we got? Any more plate? No. I can probably run power back, though. I also super appreciate how far you can build in this game. Look, you can see all the way back, pretty much. I'm just going to run it, but you can place and build at very long distances, which is very, very helpful. I'll right, we'll take this back over. I'm hoping that doesn't crash our power out too much. We're probably getting a little close to here. Uh, find me a spare power line. There we go. Yeah, getting a little close. Yeah, a little close. That's okay, though. That's doing fine. Let's go check the ma'am. And while this generates just a little bit more plate for us. You could work on that for the rest of your life and never get a working demo going. For who, sorry? Just in general, piddling about with development tools. Yeah, you totally could. Uh, can be added to the object yes. scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in hub tier one. I'll take that and that. Well, I'll just take the flower petals, okay? Uh, flower petals. Bam. Start analyzing them. Ma'am. Put this away and this and this. And, oh, got a hundred of that, hundred of that. How much am I going to need in here? Okay. And now copper can go in here while we wait for the plate to be produced. Yeah, small steps and, and all of that. I mean, I think actually being a, like working on your own game is a great way to learn the limits of what a game or what game development is realistic. I know when I was a game dev, you'd have people say, I've got this great idea for a game. And it's like, well, go build it. Like, don't don't tell us about it. Game developers get into game development because they also have great ideas for games, right? Ideas are the easy part. Actually making something, that's hard. So I always feel a little sorry for game developers because I hear this all the time. And the other one they hear is, is parents saying how their kid is going to be a game developer. And they're doing that by playing lots of... Fortnite or Minecraft or whatever the flavor of the day is, and you're like, oh yeah, really? They're they're playing lots of uh, lots of Fortnite, and that's um, going to help them be a game developer, is it? And the parents are like, oh yes, yes, apparently, this is what you do, and it's like, okay, <laughs> yes, I'll I maybe I won't uh, get that kid in trouble, but yeah, some parents are a bit silly about stuff like that. Wire, thank you, and oh, don't need that. Here we go. I need this. I need that. Brilliant. I don't even need to put down personal storage because I'm just making so much of my own. Uh, I'm just using it all right now. Yeah, have a have a good one, Jacob. If you don't already know, guys, I have uh, some satisfactory tip video on the channel. It's like six minutes long, six minutes forty long. No, I don't think it will. But people, you'd be surprised what kids convince their parents are um, are good ideas. Yeah, I was at a party with a, a once with my sister and her her friends, family friends, were saying how their child, who was a 
a genius child, very clever boy, was going to be a game developer, and yeah, that's why he was allowed to lock himself away and just play games all day long. It's like, if he wanted to be a game developer, he'd be developing games. That's kind of what it comes down to. And that's, you know, one of the reasons I'm not a game developer. That stuff's really hard. It's really hard. So respect all the developers out there who um, crack away at it. Uh, right, 61. Do we have enough to bring the belt over? And we're going to have to put it, like, over the factory slightly. But that's okay. It's going to be messy at the start. We already know that. Well, not quite that far. A bit further into the smelter over here. We can put it up on the belt. <laughs> Just perch it on the edge there. And then bam. Alright, brilliant. That is everything piped in for the basic stuff that we want. We just need a little bit of time now. Yeah, jump into all the tutorials. I'd be curious with the with the Unity tutorials if they can take you from just clipping and piddling around with the game. Not clipping, I guess, well, connecting and clipping things together is what I mean. If they can take you from that to really knowing what you're doing. But... Um, we shall see. That's going to be a question that my boy will figure out in due course if he's interested. Get rid of that leftover piece. You're already loaded up with a hundred iron ore. I don't know if I need to keep this ore in my inventory anymore. Oh, let's drop it out. Click drag. Drags all of it. And I've got a hundred of that. Alright, cool. It's almost time to start laying out the... Um, I'll make a little bit more biomass. Almost time to start laying out the, the foundations, I suspect. Alright. Grab this and uh, biomass. And I do want to get the logistics, because the splitters would be really handy around now. Conquered the Xbox. <laughs> yes, multi Morton. Conquering the Xbox is a very good idea. So, in case you don't know, if you're new to the stream, this is a, a charity stream. I'm collecting... Super chat donations for the uh, Christchurch uh, victim support um, charity. So there's a link in the description. There's a, there's a group in New Zealand called Victim Support, and they have a charity going or charity fund going on Give a Little, which is a New Zealand charity website, and it's currently at 6.7 million dollars, which is pretty awesome from 82,000 donors, which is also just neat. Uh, and this um, this this fundraising has had its uh, costs. Uh, donated by the so the take that the give a little page would normally take has been donated by the owners which is the local telco so that's cool I'll be donating the super chats um, hoping to be able to match the cut that YouTube takes because um, YouTube takes a small cut well actually not that small it takes a cut of super chats so that would be good as well but we'll see how we go with that you're making a Lemmings clone. There aren't any games in ages. That's a great way to think about game design, really. And the other thing I think more developers should think about is um, using lean startup principles. But that's a whole different kettle of fish. If you're actually in the business side of game development or, or a solo developer, you should go learn about lean startup because there's lots of useful lessons there. And you can do cool things. Do I have foundations yet? I do. Five, six, seven, eight. You can figure out a lot. And thinking about a game as in which what hasn't been done in a while is a, is quite a handy way, I think, to think about what what could be interesting. And if you like the idea and it hasn't been done a while, done for a while, also not a bad idea. All right. Now, what I'm thinking is we just have to go straight out over the lake first, right? To around the middle and try not to fall in and die and then we're going to set up the 5x5 five five. I suspect that I will need to make this like am I going to be able to I might put up a wall just to see oh is that a, that's a green power slug down there oh my gosh that is so cheeky it's down there in Deathly Lake I might have to swim for it there's a Loch Ness monster in here as well. Now, is that the middle of the lake? If I put a foundation on top, at least I can have a look around and see if it looks middle-ish to me. Because we're going to have to bring a lot of belts in over this. How many are we going to have to bring in? Probably just three at the start. 
and that will power a lot of smelters potentially and I've, it looks like I've put this right through the middle there which is a bit of a pain so okay let's get the mam queued up with the next thing that I want to research and uh, where, where are you ma'am over here Yes, the flower petals can produce a useful thing, which is paint. Me to tell you these colored petals are useful for two things, dating and creating color cartridges. Mandatory reminder that you are under 24-7 surveillance. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 2. Yep. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try for that. Oh, I'm going to try for it. I've dropped all my stuff so that if I die it's not the end of the world but I really do want that power slug the problem is that diving down is not really viable in the game oh, look one of these walkers is in here and the other problem is there's a Loch Ness monster in here somewhere all right here we go here he is here he is here he is here he is pick him up pick him up pick him up all right, swim for the shore. Seems to emit weak potential energy from its crystalline shell. Come on. Further analysis of crystals required to determine application. All right, right. I'm not even going to look behind me. Where's the shore? Why did I swim at night in fog with a shark around? Oh my god, I'm terrified. Keep going, keep going. Try wooing the monster. <laughs> I'll pull the leaves out and. Uh, and take a few leaves down to the shore. That would be cool. Alright, we made it out. We made it out. Excellent. So, we'll go back to the base. Oh, a few. We've got one slug. Which is nice. But I want I want more. Okay, so, slug. Uh, well, actually, what are we going to take? We're going to take a bit of this. Tools. Food. Uh, the slug can go there. Concrete. Oh, I'll take the stone out too. Is there any stone? There is no stone. Why have you backed up? Oh, 100 rods already? Nice. And you... We need more stone for you. Well, actually, what we need is another miner. Uh, where are we? The production... One miner. We've got everything. Okay, the miner is over there. Just thinking, we need plate, that's right, to bring stuff back. Which we don't have, but we do have a lot of rods, so that's fine. And the plate's over here, no problem. Okay, cool. I was very scared, Yev, I'm not sure if you've seen the lake monster. You might be able to see it during the day. It, it looks large and terrifying. That might be a good spot for the middle of the lake, looking at that now. By the time we have a look down here, we'll get a good feel. It might be the place to build a 5x5. Five five. Yeah, that, that feels like maybe slightly too far. Maybe one square too far over there. Oh, here's my logistics bits that I need. Give me you. Uh, grab all. Pick up miner. Pick up miner and uh, mark one miner. Yeah. Okay, go that far. Oh, I'm missing wire. Oh, that's a pain. Okay, that's fine. We'll come back for it. Now we're going to pump this straight into the constructor. And once I get logistics, it should easily feed two constructors at once. But we'll probably do that on the factory, on the 5x5 five five factory. I am going to run balconies and steps around the edge. I think that's perfect. What? Oh, can't, what? Can't afford? That's lying. Oh, plate. All right, fine, game. I will put... Actually, I need to load up with the stored stuff anyway. I might as well save the power on the miner. And I need that. And I need some plate. Oh, okay, okay. You don't like all this power use. That's a shame. What can we turn off for now? Uh, probably turn you off because I have vast quantities of iron right now. 
And what I should do while we're here is put down a biomass generator, which I will shove. Uh, do I want to shove over here? I actually think I want to do the biomass generation piece properly. So I might hold off a second before that happens. Now, do we have the completed analysis? Not yet. Okay, power poles. Um, this way. Actually, we'll put one close so that I've got a, a backup. Oh, what? cable. Eh, making cable. How many people can be in one game of Satisfactory? It's up to four players. Which feels... It'd be nice to have massive, but honestly, four players is alright. I've had a lot of fun with four people. I, I'm kind of hoping they increase that over time, but I can understand if they they don't trust, like, on a dedicated client more than four. Oh, sorry, on a, on a shared client on, on someone's computer. They are going to go for a headless server in the future. And I'd imagine that a headless server should be able to do more. Are we go all the way down there? Yeah, put it down. Factory. Done. That will start making stone. Run, run, run. And then our concrete needs will be pretty well taken care of. Take that out, put that in. I'm going to leave that as is for now. What I should do is set up a little generation system over here. So what I will do is... Um, I, need, I, need the, I need the biomass generators to be relatively easy to access, at least for now. Power, power, and yes, and now we give it biomass and biomass. Frankly, the more biomass generators you get down now, even if they're not needed straight away, oh, we need some resources, they burn collectively through the, the resources that you make a little, I can turn that back on, a little little uh, slower. So if you had one biomass generator, it's generating at full tilt. If you have two, half tilt so on and so forth. So that means you only have to restock them you know, once or twice. If you've got enough of them down, if I put four down right now, and you get full refunds, so you don't have to worry about overdoing it. So if I put four down right now and stock them all with biomass, that's going to last in this factory forever. Alright, that's heaps. I need to get the biomass. And then I want to set up a little factory to make it because making it by hand sucks. A little piece of the factory, anyway. Well, I don't know. Does it suck? It doesn't really suck. It's just not, not ideal. And our capacity, as you see, is now 80 megawatts, and we're only using 26. So that's good. Is everything turned on? Yes. Yes. I'm looking at the green lights. It's all turned on. Yes. All right. It's 10:30. I think we're making good progress for like an hour and a half with a. With 10.24, a little bit of uh, fiddling around, messing with uh, streams. And we've had $20 of donations towards the um, towards the charity of choice, which is victim support for the Christchurch shooting, which is really, really good of you guys for doing that. So thank you very much. What I want now is constructors. So for three constructors, I need nine plates, which I need to make a bunch of this with. And then we're quite close to being able to go full automation and, and actually get things cracking on our desired factory, which is going to be out in the middle of the lake on a 5x5. Five five. Oh, no, we need a bit more. Three constructors is nine. Oh, all right. We'll just do that then. Oh, we're short on plate. Okay. Never seem to have enough. As soon as I can get splitters, then I'll be able to make a lot more plate. Uh, eight, nine. Do I have enough for them? Three manufacturers. Yes. And storage. Okay, so this is how I like to do it. So I like to set up... Um, where are we? I like to set up two storage containers that are kind of like... Oh, I need some iron rods. Okay, fine. So, two storage containers. Let's try again. 
One's going to be for uh, wood. And I'm, might I stack them vertical today? Oh, I need plate. Oh, my goodness me. Give me plate. Okay. Yes, I think we will stack them vertically. Uh, I don't need ten of them. I don't know why that happened. I can clear all that since I know what I'm doing. And then I want... Um, two constructors. So we will need... Like one constructor... I'm just going to put one right... Actually, no. First of all, I need to connect these up. So put this in. Take this. Get rid of that remaining piece. Oh, I've got this. <laughs> I got this around the wrong way. Fine. Pick up those. So, actually, what I'm going to do is I'll put this back a little bit. I might need the room. Constructor round the wrong way. Put it round the right way. That one goes back to making concrete. Right. That's a bit nasty, but that'll do. Fill it with stone. Get rid of the remaining stone. Okay, so we have these two here. What I want is a constructor. One at the bottom. And I don't quite know how I'm going to get the power... Oh, here we go. I can just put the other constructor down here. I'll just hold down control and I can line it up. It's getting confused about what it's lining up with for now, so I'll just do it myself manually. Power pole. And we'll need one more constructor over here. And that's going to make the biome fuel eventually. But for now, I don't have biofuel, so all I want is for these guys just to fill up, which they'll do. So this bottom one is going to be biomass leaves, and this one here is going to be biomass wood. And now all I have to do is chuck leaves in here, and they'll start chunking out here and just piling up, which is great. I'll see if I've got any wood. I do not. And bam. Now this thing is... Yeah, so it's going to start chunking out bio, biomass, which is good. So that's going to be our power problems largely solved. It's time to collect everything and see if I can get through this. Oh, thank you very much, Knight. That's brilliant. I'm going to make a little note of that. Yeah, I mean, um, the give a little link is the best way to go because... Uh, get out my little piece of paper... The give a little link is best because there's no fees on that. But that's okay. I don't mind if people super chat too. Um, right. Noted. So, what am I needing here? All of that stuff. Cool. All of the wire I can possibly get my hands on. And all of the plate. Which is going to be a bit slow, which is a pain, but that's that's because we keep putting down belts. So, where are we? Rods, plate, wire, and I suspect there's a little bit more in a box here. Uh, rods there are. So now it's just a matter of picking out all the all the stuff from here. Uh, or is it? I could actually, what I think I'm going to do is just leave that for a little bit and go set up what the base 5x5 five five is going to be. <coughs> so let's see if I can get a nice little ramp. Where are we? Uh, 6 and then 8. Cool. And I think... Oh, I'm kind of terrified. This is going to be... Whoops, where did that go? Into the lake? Oh man, I don't know how I managed that click. And there's that guy. He's down there. The building happened under the water there. 
If I fall off, I'm going to get eaten. Uh, that's a three by three. Okay, so one, uh, one, two, need another one over here. And we need one more back here, I suspect. Oh, a bit low. Well, that's not too bad for a footprint. That's quite workable. Yeah, it's New Zealand dollars. <laughs> well, I was moving my piece of paper. Oh my god, I almost fell off the edge. I'm not going to get eaten by Loch Ness today. And more of that. Cool. Oh, what? You're the wrong size. And so are you. I don't want these giant, ugly foundations. We want the nice, slim ones. So, I was thinking we need to go this way. They're the same price, but they look better for a floor. And I was... What is it? This one. This one. Is that five by five yet? One, uh, one, two, three, four. One more. Man, this is going to be tight. You guys are mean taskmasters. Putting me up to building a five by five in the middle of a lake. I think I'll be justified in putting some walkways around the edges and stuff like that, which I don't have yet. They're coming. As soon as I can finish with all this plate. Alright. Do we have enough power going? 120 megawatts. Yeah, that should be fine for a while. Do we have enough rods being produced? Yes. You know what? I'm actually going to flip you over to making iron plates, please. Yeah, that's good. You're doing fine. I like you. And you're doing fine as well. Okay. So really the big goal I have as well is to get, get the stacking going. Because that could be a real pain. Alright, we don't need those miners on me anymore. So I'll get rid of them. Sort this lot out. What, have the, what is it in here? Uh, maybe I'll do a little bit of handcrafting. Last little bit for a while hopefully. Oh, I don't know if I want to make a hundred. That seems like a lot. But it would be done, and then I've got logistics square, and I can start messing around with splitters and move everything over to the factory itself. Well, actually, I can get the first thing I should do would be to get the splitters to set up the double concrete production. What are we looking at? About 90 iron plates required. 93, to be precise. I like how the craft button goes very glowy. While this is happening, I... What? What can I afford? Oh, whoops. That's what I'm going to be doing. Is there anything happening on Twitter that's interesting? Not really. Nope. Nothing ever interesting happens on Twitter. Alright, 100 plate. That was quicker than I thought. Boom! Now, we've got a drone. Yay! They've changed it a little bit. I'm pretty sure it used to be that when you upgraded, this arm would be open and the drone would come down. Maybe there were some weird issues with that. It's kind of a shame. That was awesome. The next thing to mess with will be... Uh, walkways and walls? Or... Oh, it's these walkways, actually. Much preferred. Okay, so that is great. We now have the capacity for splitters. Which, I'm going to put one right about here when it snaps. Snap to it, please. Thank you. And constructor. So, the last of our dirty, messy production system. 
Oh, out of plate. I don't believe it. Hey there, Bad Name Channel. So we've got basically all of the the basic production up and running here prior to moving to the new facility, which will be in the middle of the lake as soon as concrete catches up. We're picking, we're picking, we're picking. And that's going to be brilliant. I've got a little bit of fuel production set up, but I haven't been able to do much with it yet. Actually, that's the thing I want next, is fuel production. So, where are you, Power Pole? Um, well, we'll put a pole down, connect you to that. Oh, cable. Okay, we'll go make cable. Uh, don't think it'd be cheating to have second tier production outside your 5x5, five five, so your smelters could be near your miners. Oh, I don't know about that. That's over to you guys perhaps can decide that. <clears throat> I mean, it's kind of more efficient to do it in the building just because the belts aren't fast enough to keep up with the amount of iron you need. But you, in iron ore terms, they are. Uh, where's a spare power pole? That'll do. All right, yes, you are making what I need. Good. And you are making a lot of that. And here comes a drone. Yay. That's so cool. I love the little animation details. There are so many in this game. It's just brilliant. It's a real joy to watch your factory work. All the little jets tuck in and all this kind of stuff. Makes you think, why don't they make the arms a little wider? Then the jets don't have to have this full articulation motion Last at the side. But, you know... Concluded. Fix it, freighter re-entry complete. Actually, what I want is biofuel, to be fair. And for that, I will need a bunch more resources. How are we doing on the power topping up side of things? Not too bad. We're just not using very much. So as you saw, we're not using that much power, which means I can get, I can get these generators topped up very easily. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely play along. It's a great game. All right, man, that's very slow. Come on, guys. It might be time to have a little bit of an explore. Actually, I can get the beacon, the the object beacon going. Oh, I need to put the green slugs in first. Oh, so many jobs to do. Come here, green slug. I want to put you in here. Yes, we got the alien carapace. Green slug. Additional samples are required for R and D to continue developing a defense-oriented <coughs> blueprint. The creature has been named Fakeacoyerus plumius cata, or fluffy-tailed hog. And that's all fine. All right, everything's making. So we just, I'm just gonna pick the biomass out of there. But that's all low. It is, I think, time for a little bit of an explore while we wait, and I'll grab some delicious snacks and things from here. Should you be in northern grass fields or great forest? I'd start in the forest. Just start in the first zone. This one is a little harder because the creatures are definitely tougher. You might get killed a few times until you get the hang of it. And um, there are some great places to start in the, in the grass biome and just generally mess around in. And if you like, my tips video is up on the channel. 20 tips in like six and a half minutes. It's pretty cool. I'm keeping an ear out for a green slug. I don't hear them yet. All right, so much biomass. It says there's no biomass around here, but honestly, that's what it says when you go to start the game. But Oh, no, no, no. You get out of here. Oh, I did hear a green slug. Oh, where are you? Oh, it's not a green slug. It's a... No, 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 no. You keep away. It's a one of them, and I can't remember what they are. Uh, let's go that, that. Keep away from me, strange plant. These things are cool. Is this one that talks to me? I'm going to just hang around here for a second.
Not yet. Oh, no, 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 no. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. Oh, this one is. There's a green gas coming up at me as well. Oh, oh, get out of here. Alpha radiation. The material has hydrophobic properties and contains pockets of plutonium, according to scans. Handle carefully. Further analysis required to determine application. All right. That doesn't sound good. Full of plutonium. I don't... Is that still a work in pro progress? Work in progress. Analyzing it won't give us anything yet. That's okay. It will in time. And I don't hear any other cool sounds except for my feet. Hmm, delicious. Draw the S. Yeah, I know. It is a kind of a, a S rock symbol, isn't it? Is it Slayer? I'm not even sure where that comes from. Ah, oh, look at that. Very pretty. Anything over here. There are a lot of little caves tucked away with really terrifying monsters in them. But they do come with bonus kind of lots of slugs and special special sort of upgrades. If you're brave enough to go through the caves. Oh, mushrooms. Oh, goody. We can make the parachutes. Suggest strong bonding features. Further analysis required. Nom 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 nom. Can't eat them, but I can analyze them and turn them into fabric, which right now produces parachutes. I hope it'll produce more stuff in due course, but we might have to wait for that. Oh wow, that is pretty. Nothing in this lake? No. Can't pick those. I gotta admit, I think they've done a brilliant job in Satisfactory of giving you a really alien world feeling nothing whoops nothing here where am I torch no it feels different it feels alien enough to be different which is cool without just being ridiculous and silly <coughs> mushrooms like I don't really need a lot of these but I might want to make a parachute and mess around with it and especially while we're waiting for the factory to churn out stuff what is down here? Where is this even going? Oh, this is going to take forever. I might leave this one till I get a tractor or something. Oh, get out of the way, giant blue thing. All right, let's go back. And hopefully we're on our way to utility because what I want to do is to produce another constructor to make a biofuel. And once we've got biofuel made, then power will be really straightforward until... It's time to get coal. Lovely waterfall. Now, I haven't heard any more slugs, which is a bit depressing. Yeah, summer slop. Maybe we'll go this way around back to the base. Hmm. So if you don't know, this is the second start area in the game. Uh, it's called the Cold Desert, I think. I quite like it. The green area is nice, but I played on it quite a bit. So it's definitely a nice change to be on this one. The third area is a real challenge because there's like a lot of jungle and forest and cliffs. And you have to be willing to build a very disjointed factory, I think, to do well there. <coughs> No more stuff. No more stuff. Except for the great music. Where are you slugs? Anything behind this waterfall? Sometimes there are things tucked away behind waterfalls. Ah, uh, no. Just rocks. Fair enough. Oh, these guys. Another one of these weird artifacty things. Hmm, they're cool. We're going to listen to it for a second. <laughs> I 
allows you to harvest this specimen. Is that Ada or what is that voice, right? What is that thing doing? Is it this thing? I don't know. <coughs> Harvest. <laughs> okay. She gets quite insistent if you stand there for five minutes. This spherical object emits gravitational radiation. Initial scans reveal an inner vein like structure filled with liquid gallium. Purpose and origin unknown. Further analysis required to determine application. Nothing else over here? Oh, another iron node. Another pure iron node. Wow, that's that's going to be a lot of iron if we need it. Alright, time to head back. Factory's all green light still, so everything's running. And I've got a ton of biomass to make fuel out of, which is good. And I should have, hopefully, enough stacked up resources to go and knock through this uh, objective easily. What are we looking at here? That. Nice. That's a pile of, of copper. Pile of plate. Oh, uh, I need to put stuff away. So what are you going to tell me? Yep, power slug mycelia. We'll do mycelia. The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into a power shard that functions with current fixit technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. And down here is leaves. And up there is wood. Okay, that's going to make biofuel, which is going to go out there. Cool. And uh, what do we have? We have this, this, and we need more iron rods, really. That's unusual. But I guess I haven't been making any for a while, so that's sort of understandable. We'll switch back this one to iron rods now. Yep. Okay, we can probably make a few ourselves. So I don't know if any of you have listened or heard the music running in various streams, but I absolutely love it. <laughs> yeah, YouTube is kind of hard. It takes a lot of time. Like, my boy occasionally says he wants to be a YouTuber, and I say, okay, so you know the time you get to play games now? Right, you only get half as much time, because the rest of the time you're editing videos, and then he gets really uninterested in being a YouTuber. But there is good software out there now, so DaVinci Resolve is a good piece of software that you can use to do. Yep. Alright. So yeah, the, there's a Davin there's a piece of software called DaVinci Resolve, which is an excellent piece of um, video editing software, and it's free. So if you do, anyone here does get interested in software or video editing, then that's the piece of thing you use. So we're going to need a merger back here. <coughs> Sorry, I got a little tickle in my throat. We're going to use a merger to pull together... Uh, oh, it's weird how it snaps, but it won't line up. So we're going to pull together the two different uh, biomass makers. And this one to come around here to go to here. And then they're going to make... This one here is going to make biofuel. Uh, biofuel. I'm going to stick some biomass in it. And the biofuel is going to go into a box, which I will put here. Like that. So that will be quite nice and tidy. So you can see all the leaves are coming out. The wood was coming out until it has finished. And it's then going into here. Here to biofuel. And then, well, here to, yeah, biomass, biofuel, biofuel into here. That will make everything run very, very well. Makes the power generation a little easier. Now it looks like we've got two full systems here, which is good. We can take those. Which means I can definitely start 
uh, finishing off the the five by five facility. But I also want the oh overclock. Mm, don't need that right now. I do want walkways though. So what do we need for that? I'm just going to dump. Oh, the pod has to come back. Another thirty forty seconds. We can run over here. Is it free? Yeah, DaVinci Resolve 15 is free. How many tiers can I access? I'm just up to tier 2. Yeah, so DaVinci Resolve, there's heaps of tutorials for it. It's as good as Photoshop. Um, and in fact, it's the industry standard in film for color grading. I don't do any color grading. I don't know anyone who does, but apparently it's very important. So, we've got this set up. Oh, here comes the drone. So we're going to need to run a bunch of stuff down here. Hmm. So what we're going to want is a smelter times quite a few. I'm thinking we'll be allowed to cross the belts over the lake, but all the factory stuff has to be on there. Which is going to be a bit tricky. And I'll be able to put walkways down the side too, which will be cool, as soon as we have them unlocked. So what do I need? I need iron rods and I need wire, which we've got heaps of. Alright, so smelters first, maybe? Yeah, picked up this, go get the wire, just in case it's filling up. Hmm... This is going to be really tricky. So yeah, between um, the free photoshopping type tools out there like GIMP and there's another one I've, I can't remember the name of, um, and DaVinci Resolve, you're pretty sweet for, and OBS for recording, you're pretty sweet for being able to produce videos these days. Now I'm thinking that... Hmm, I want to put down a couple of walls just to get a feel for how... Like constrained we're going to be. I don't mind doing... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And now let's have a look at production. So, smelters. Um, mm, Alright, so if I put walls here, how many of these smelters can I fit in in general? That's a question I have. Alright. Smelters. If we line them up as far over as we can, and just do that, and... That seems about right. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of fiddling around to do. Oh, five by five. I am kind of scared of doing this, but we'll do it because we're tough. Real pros may edit an iMovie. Yes, you, you could say that. You'd be wrong, but you could say that. Oh, there's a Loch Ness Monster. So we could actually put a splitter here which would make our lives a lot easier especially if it was no lined up with this middle one yeah that this will be okay we've got pure iron nodes coming in so there's no reason not to do it like this and we'll just run across the lake that's going to be the secret uh which is a bit hmm like, do I want to do... You know, I am going to need a lot of iron, so I might as well just use this floor as an iron floor. I might even build downstairs so that I can... Okay, you happy there, game? Good. I might even build downstairs so that I can do copper down there, maybe? Kind of pondering that. And will I be able to set it up so that we have... Can I get it on the edge there? And on the edge there? Yeah, I can do that. We're hardcore around here. And then I just have to run this all the way down. 
to pick up iron. Which will be all the way down here somewhere. Weirdly clipped to the edge. Have I... Actually, one of the questions is, have I connected this in the right way? I have a terrible problem of connecting my conveyor belts wrong. Oh, it looks okay so far. Alright, that... That'll be pretty good. There's currently no way to go down. Could I do it here? Yeah, what I might do is around here I'll do a little walkway downstairs. That looks pretty cool. I'm kind of pleased with that, to be honest. This 5x5 five five challenge is going to be fun. Dedicate certain floors to certain materials. Yeah, um, Nilco, that's what I'm thinking. So that's going to be the smelting floor for iron, at least the first tier. And then I might build downstairs for more. I'm really concerned about how I'm going to move iron up and down and the, the finished goods up and down between floors. But we'll just have to come to that when we come to it. Can only solve one problem at a time. That's kind of the way to treat the game, I think, is to just enjoy the iteration that you go through. Not try and be too perfect right from the get-go. Look at all that fuel. Now, any of these generators getting low, I'm just going to put that one into there and then top it up like this. Yeah, that'll be fine for now. And do we have any other production to worry about? So those yes and plate yeah I don't know if I'm the only I'm sure I'm not the only person who's watching the stream who enjoys having neat and tidy production the only thing I'm thinking about now is do I want to uh, do I want to make the walls the other kind of wall there's kind of you know these nice two different types here the thing that bugs me is look the gate is only in that style which means if you want a consistent factory and put a gate in you have to choose the yellow walls not the other kind which is an unreasonable burden if you ask me all right so what are we looking at here quite a way off this this production we've got tons of concrete I might set up the next downstairs just because I can and wait for the other production to come through so that would be I'm just gonna start from over here and I will tear all of this down because this is just the messy messy stuff right so that's going to be I think seven because I'm gonna have to go down three No, 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 no. Oh, come here. I have to get under, place it underneath. Where are you? <laughs> no, no. Oh my God. Run away. Run away. I don't want to lose all the stuff on me. I'm swimming. I'm trying to go up. Where's the surface? Oh God. Where's the shark? Oh, he's not there. Whew. Okay. At least I can do that easy enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> That was terrifying. Oh, he's over there. Oh, that was too close. That was way too close. I don't know if he eats you. I haven't seen that yet. But I don't really want to find out right now. Alright, coming in. Get a little ride. So we will have proper walkways and stuff here soon. But for now... Uh, where are we going? We need to go down at least one more. Ugh. No, not down there. Uh, I don't know where I just built. Uh, what we could do is... Can I get the wall up? No, not there. Oh, it doesn't really like me building down. Hmm. He's down there. I saw him. Oh, there he is. Oh, you nasty piece of work you are. Can I get to it from over here? Oh, I did get it right. What am I doing? Ugh. Can I even fit smelters under there? Uh, what if I went eight? And then six...
this is a bit confusing. Uh, yes, maybe I'll see if I can do... Like, is there enough room down here for a smelter? Is that him swimming around under my factory? <coughs> I swear there was something down there. Ah, oh, maybe it was. Okay, so let me just see. Can I fit a smelter down here? No, it needs to go down one more. <coughs> oh, I've got such a tickle in my throat. Uh, if I take out this one and then put in eight, and then put in six, Aha! Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. Can he bite me through the floor? That's a good question. I think I'm fine. I think I'm going to be just fine. He's not going to be that good, is he? Now let's see if we can actually fit a smelter down here. Oh, no. That's annoying. I don't kind of mind at least building down to here. At least the factory won't look quite like it's hanging out on the edge of the map. Or, you know, off in the void. Alright, so... Oh, one more square? Yeah. And I might put walls around the edge so I don't have to look at that horrible beast anymore. I mean, it could be that some of the production comes downstairs first. Like, I'm pretty sure the constructors fit down here. If I only had been able to lay in one more floor, that would be a really nice thing. But no. Okay, so floors. Um, and walls. Uh, where are we? Oh, short on plate. Okay, so that's okay. We've got this disgusting kind of foundations here, but we'll... F oh. <laughs> Silly me. Put it in the wrong place. But we'll figure that out shortly. You're having trouble crafting in the manual crafting bench. Uh, uh, what, what's wrong? I don't, I don't know what you need to do that's different. Spaghetti is always appreciated. Spaghetti is the foundation for any good factory. Has to start with spaghetti. And over here, more coppery stuff. So each one of those mines is going to provide fuel for up to four different manufacturers, which is which is brilliant. Uh, leaves go in the bottom. What? Yeah, leaves go in the bottom. Come on. Yep, and biofuel comes out the top. Over, let's go fix this one. Could I raise the first floor up one level? You know, I could. But I might hate myself trying to fiddle around with that now, after I got that all neat. Like, I'm not... I'm not especially worried about the... Um... Okay, so that one needs to go. I'm not especially worried about the distance it's at. Like, there will always be... A, I'll find a use for it, probably. Hang on. Hmm, that's kind of weird. I've managed to get... Yeah, I've managed to put a half step in, which is a shame. Are we sure that we can't fit... Ah, oh, it's just a half step. It's... Can I fit a constructor down there in theory? Yes, I can in theory. And in fact, what I can do right now is just put in a craft bench very quickly. Reinforced iron plate. I'll make three and we'll just double check or whatever it is that I've just spent too much of. Uh, constructor. Yeah, so constructors work down there. I could easily pump some stuff down here. And in fact, that 
might not be too crazy because of the way that the floors work in this game. Or the way the walls, like trying to get up a lot of stories at once is hard. But if I can wrap around the factory, that won't be too crazy. Are we evenly lined up? Yeah, looks like it. Oh, wrong one. Give me that wall on number nine. Make this look like it's got foundations, not just hanging out in the middle of the ocean. Adapt and overcome. That's the secret around here. Oh, thank you for 20 sec. That's appreciated. That's appreciated. Thank you very much, Kale. I'll write this down. Uh, so that I've got a running total of donations. So in case you don't know, this is a this is actually a charity stream. I'm going to be donating to the Christchurch uh, Victims Fund, uh, which is a a fund being or Victim Support New Zealand uh, setting up have set up a fund to support the victims of the Christchurch terrorism attacks. All right. One. Uh, what am I doing? No, that's okay. That's going to go to... Um, I, I just put a tower pole here for now. Uh, and I'm going to have to set up one more... Actually, no. We're going to tear that line down. Where are you? And then we're going to put a power pole over here. Where did I put it there? I put it in this gap. All right, we'll do that. One, two, three. And then we'll just run a power pole up here eventually. Okay, how's it looking? It's looking good. I'm pleased. I think we're doing okay. Take some sandbags out of here. Now I want this final... Oh, that's not... That's waiting on leaves. That's fine. And we've got some more research to do, I think. We need to put the bacon the bacon flour into the mam. Yes, micella. This micellia can be used to create fabrics. The derived blueprint is now accessible in hub tier one. Additionally, R&D has requested extra samples to determine the cause of an anomaly. An anomaly? All right. Take that. Empty this. It's probably time to grab that upgrade because I really like uh, I really like this little upgrade that you get now. The walkways are cool, and they'll make our factory a lot easier to get around. So we need some reinforced plate. How much? Seven. So for those of you who don't know, I will also be streaming for another. Oh my goodness! Like four or five hours. That's really, that's a lot for me. I don't normally stream this much. And the purpose is to, yeah, raise funds for the Christchurch victims. Bam. Goodbye, drone. Milestone reach. After medical consultation, additional buildings aimed at factory traversal have been added. Walkways can now be accessed in the build menu. Cool. Now, let me have a look at my walkway options here. So will they clip in nicely or are they going to be disgusting? Uh, they are going to be, like, can I clip it there nicely? Oh, yeah, I can. That, that seems, like, not too bad. Oh, come on, I've got to be able to, yeah. Got to be able to build it a bit quicker than, than, yeah. Now I'm not going to fall off the edge quite so easily. I think pretty soon it's going to be time to get the belts out the other side of this factory going down to constructors. Man, I really need my, my, my buddies on here who are currently at work, slackers, so that I can get it a little, make it a little easier to complete this task. What? Actually, no, I think we need to go a bit further back. And it's dark. Aye. So there's the ground floor. I could 
take... Well, oh, don't jump. I could take a walkway crossing... No, I could do it like this. Just thinking out loud here. So I want that. If I put this here, and then I go for the old uh, walkway turn... Because I'm thinking of, do I want to do, hmm, got to make these things look nice, right? It's really important, otherwise, no, nope, can't do that one. Otherwise, there's just no point. It's got to be pretty, or we're just wasting our time. Oh, that's not uh, that's not far enough back. Okay. Maybe if I just did it here. I think it'll be fine just to go down here. Oh, you... <sighs> ah, it's encroaching. Um, I could have probably guessed that. Alright. Get this corner in. All right, that seems to work, and it look a lot better than all of this junk. I might change it later on. Okay. Right, coming back up. We do have this kind of risky drop there. Maybe if I just put... Oh, I can't put a conveyor pole on it? No, we're just going to have to survive with a risky drop. So, that's looking all fine. Out the back, it's going to need to dovetail down, which means I need to go downstairs so I can do some work to pull uh, resources through. So, I see you, Shark. Don't think that I don't. I am probably going to need to at least uh, just spiral up a little bit. So I can check check things here. Um, yeah. Ah. And one of them. So, if everything's coming out the back, um, there's quite a lot of room here. But there's actually not that much room for a lot of constructors, to be frank. So, only a couple of constructors could go in here at all. They're very wide. So they tend to... Oh, I'm going to put down a, a, a production equipment workshop. No, not that one. Craft bench. Oh, I'm really short. Damn. I could probably fit in a couple of productions, and then a couple of them would just be sent off somewhere else to do further construction. Yeah, that seems sensible. More concrete. Yeah. Miles of it. more rods, and I should choose the next upgrade that I want to go for. What would be helpful? I don't need that yet. Obstacle clearance, no. Jump pads, too dangerous. Personal storage, more inventory space would be nice. Conveyor walls, uh, yes, that's probably a good idea. Nut scanner or fabric to make parachutes. Oh, they got an icon in, cool. Conveyor walls, personal storage, uh, Personal storage, maybe. Um, take some of that. And the rest I'll have to bring to you in a minute. Alright. What else do I need from here? I'll take that. Yeah. So, as you can see, I haven't actually had to do any... Uh, like, upgrading of um, fuel or anything, or power. Like, 
yeah, people were complaining about that, but once you get enough power systems down and you have biofuel, you can pretty much leave it for quite a while. Unless you're growing your factory really fast. Alright, so let's see how many constructors I can directly squeeze into the back. Because that might determine where we send things. So, we'll go for like three. Um, get the craft bench down. Get some screws made for another four or so of these. Make some cable. Which we're very short of in general anyway. Alright, now we can do it. So, constructor. Uh, see, we can't squeeze it in and over there. But we can put it here. And I can put it very close. Which is fine. So for plate, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. A... Um, a single miner can pro can can produce for up to two. Hang on, a single smelter can produce for up to two rod machines. So that would be like that. How do I feel about that in general? Uh, well, I mean, I could potentially put another constructor back here. Not really. Not without, like, rotating, which might get a bit messy. Oh, no, there's no way that's going to stay there. There's going to be belts in the way. So, power pole. Can I walk past it? Yes, I can. Say there. And... I don't know, I'll put a power pole. Uh, hmm. I'm going to jump up a little bit, see if I can have a little look-see. Getting a bit of height can help. Turn off the light. Oh, come on. Climb. Okay, so if these two are producing plate, could I smash in a rod factory at the back? Kind of depends. Right, if I can, if I can fit this out, then yes. And I'm going to take down these power poles because I'm not sure about the constructor. One, like two more constructors in here would be good. Uh, and I don't think I can do it. I don't think there's enough room. Like, especially with the walls, which, you know, are the rules. We've got to stay within the 3x3. Three three, or 5x5, five five, sorry. God, imagine if it was a 3x3. Three three, I'd cry. So with that... Uh, can I get that any closer? Might be able to. I don't really want to put the factory at the front any closer. I think that is as snug as it can possibly get. Um, or could I do two side by side here? Like one and then slightly forward. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, it, the end game, I mean, it's a factory game. So the end game is, you're going to make a factory, and it's going to be cool. That That is the... Ah, oh, there we go. That's not the end of the world. That's not too bad. Can I put this further back? So the end game is... Uh, yeah, is, it is unknown. Uh, but what is it in Factorio? Factorio, they just give you a random excuse to... to so if it's one, if it's... Just going to get it here, one, get it one in from green. There is no end game essentially in Factorio other than, ah, that does work, other than you've got to produce stuff endlessly for infinity. And then you can produce rockets and, you know, it's kind of, their rocket thing is a bit made up in a way, isn't it really? 
can't go that way anymore. There's not that way. Would that work? That feels like a little bit impossible. It actually works in a weird cheaty way. Ah, oh, yeah. That, that's doing it for me. Except I'm going to fall off the world. And I need to put a power line around about... So like this, these could absolutely be producing iron plate, for example. Now over here, yeah, we can do this. Do I have enough for more? I do, I have enough for one more. Mm, yeah, it's almost, I think it's almost time to move everything over. Take it this way around. So it's like this in, no, in one more. Hang on a second, chaps. Yes, Mesote, it is Factorio in 3D, basically. Which is um, what makes it quite cool. It's kind of surprising that people took so long to come up with this idea or to someone to actually develop it. I guess Factorio in 3D is pretty intimidating, but Coffee Stain have done it. Good on them. So, one more constructor would go. Let me have a look. Why is that not. Yes. Ah, that's brilliant. That works. And we have leftover iron. All right. <coughs> so these guys can produce rods, I would say. It's time to wire this whole thing up and get it running. And these guys can produce uh, plates. Yeah, I did set that one and that one. Cool. And this one, they're all on iron. Unless I was to replace the two center ones with copper, but I think I'll just leave them as iron right now. There's no reason not to. I can figure out where to pipe them all eventually. <coughs> oh, yeah, Hayes, there's definitely a Subnautica vibe to the whole thing as well. Absolutely. Okay, that's looking okay. Yep, very much a Subnautica thing going on. And um, I appreciate that quite a lot, actually. I think Subnautica is a fantastic game. So we're going to pick all of this junk up now and get it moved over to the better location, really. And my inventory is full, so I can't even pick everything up. But it'll sit on the ground as boxes quite happily. And... What do we got here? So we'll get rid of that. That's copper. We will route... Okay, we'll route some of this over this way. Like, the visual style, I think, owes a lot to Subnautica and to No Man's Sky, which are all... Very worthy um, things to copy, if you ask me. Yeah, I think well, satisfactory. Oh, sorry, uh, what am I saying? Um, not satisfactory. So, I'm not looking with some factory components or more factory components would be a would be a really cool game. Where is my? I need my iron plate. There's some. Awesome. Now we just got to pipe this. So it's coming off pure veins. So they will support four miners relatively easily, but we're just going to use three for now. 
not miners, smelters. And this one over here, just come round this way. I will need to, I think, at some point tidy up these power poles and just make everything a bit neater, but it'll do for now. And I need to throw in a power pole. How far can we go? This far out further? No, here's fine. And where is the spare power pole? The eternal hunt. There we go. Okay, so we should have the five by five starting to starting to work. So for anyone who's just tuned in, the challenge is to build a factory on a 5x5, five five, which we're starting to do, and to then um, I'm going to take this out this, well where am I going to fit this, and to then um, once that's done well, I don't know what that's done but along the way as well, yes, that's what I'm trying to say along the way I'm also fundraising for the Christchurch earthquake victims, not earthquake, that was last time, the Christchurch uh, mosque attack victims, which is a you know, horrible terror attack that happened in this country and uh, we're all kind of sad about it so we're trying to do what we can to help help people there and I'll be putting the money through to the Victim Support New Zealand which are a charity here who do victim support and they are currently raising on a website or fundraising on a website called Give a Little which is a pretty cool uh, sort of charity fundraising website like you have in the States and what have you Alright, that's all flowing out. How much concrete have we got? All of it. I'm going to have to go put some in boxes. And we're going to have to move the hub possibly a little closer in due course. Uh, get out of here. I don't need quite that much concrete. Do I need any of this? Du -du 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 -du. My cellum? I think so. So yeah, anything that I... Fire my cellar, there we go. I need a lardum or bacon agaric can be added to the object yep. scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in hub tier one. And now I can make fabric too, which if I had some Oh, where is it? In the workshop? No, I think I need some uh to do a bit more analysis on it first. And I need some uh leaves to do the job. Where are we gonna put some copper smelting? <clears throat> it's probably needing to go upstairs which means a whole new floor and unfortunately I can't fit any downstairs and look stuff is starting to be spat out which is cool so I can collect it leftovers from here spat 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 out it comes oh yep and floor so yes I've got to go up so we should start working on that and I should be able to just put a six size two three well so much floor to put down If you're new to Satisfactory, I've got a few videos on the channel already, and there's some tips videos there too. I just put out a tip video today, 20 tips in like six and a half minutes, which is a pretty good deal if you ask me. That's good value for money. And don't fall in the water. And now I've got to get up there as well, which I will do by, can I get in? A walkway ramp here? No. Hmm. I can do one in the middle. Yeah, I can do one in the middle. It's a bit of a pain. How far back is it going to have to be? I mean, can I get around it? I can. Ah, it's just a bit messy, that's all. Well, it'll do for now. 
have I guessed enough? No, I haven't guessed enough height. Well, I'm going to run more copper down here, so it seems sensible perhaps to attach from this location. Uh, but... You know what? I'm going to have to move this. It's a pain, but I'm just going to have to do it. It's just too close. So if I do the zero thing now, I'll be able to, I'll get this on and then I will be able to, here we go, not zero. I'm going to make that zero. There we go. Cool. Oh, really? Really? What, is it one more that I'm wrong by? I'm going to fix that because I want to be able to get up and down the factory properly. And if I can't do that, then there's kind of no point in doing it properly at all. So this one needs to be a walkway. And now we'll try going up. Oh, thank God. There we go. All right. So, wow, that's the upstairs choice. Which means the T-junction goes in here, this junction, sorry, and then I think we have to put a little junction at the bottom, but that's okay as well. That's fine. Down, uh, down, and then what I'm going to do is a walkway, and it's going to go just along the edge here so we can admire the water and dream of boats and sailing across the seas one day is that one in one in yep so it is I might do that on every side around here okay that's looking great did I get the ramps vaguely right I'm not sure um well, let's have a look. Where could I put... See, it can't go... Can it go there now? Oh, you cheating game. You're fine with that, after all. So long as I don't have it there when I start. Oh, that's okay. I don't mind. Not quite perfect, but that's just going to have to be how it is. So, we don't need much copper smelting, but we are going to need some. So I do want to set up the smelters now. Maybe two? And we've got enough, so I should just be able to probably bring, I'm thinking from here, I should just be able to bring copper straight upstairs, but we'll find out. Like, is it going to work there? Actually, what I want to do is kind of line it up. If it's there, it should be like here nice now what I will do is put some walls here so I know the limits I'm dealing with and we'll get squeeze two smelters in now if I was feeling really clever I'd figure out where the smelters are below and I'd line them up nicely but I just don't I don't know if I can do that Whoop! I can't see anything <laughs> smelters please please leave me alone Actually, where are they? That is going to bug me otherwise. It's kind of not... Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's not really an issue. Oh, yeah. We're about there. Okay. I don't really find it a terrible issue. It is a it is a thing. But I think that's just physics engines, right? Games. They just don't like... They don't like stuff smashing over them too much. Um, okay, stop jiggling Isn't that about right? I think it is and then we want a splitter to come in I don't think we'll need much more than this hang on, where are you? splitter, okay cool this one What? Oh, can't afford. Alright, downstairs it is. 
We clunk. All right, this is going to be such a tight little factory. It's it's going to be painful. But once I've got these factories done, I'm also happy to open up the walls and put walkways around. I just like to put the walls in so that I'm not cheating by running over the edges of the foundations, which can happen very easily. Onwards and upwards. Alright, should be fine now. And that, that should be way more than enough copper production, because you just don't need that much at the start. And then... Can we get it into here? Yes, we can. Oh, that's adorable. I like it. And we'll need power up here as well. Which... Oh, come on, I'm going to tr try and get on top. Not fall off. So this one will need power here. Come on, there to there, there to there. And then I think a power pole that comes like here and connects down to that one. All right, All right, they're running. We just need to give them copper. Where are we looking at here? All the way back here. Just nice and neat. Yep. And the copper line. Bring it over. Phew. Ah, uh, yeah. Stuff go through the ground and then... Ah, uh, yeah, I know. It's a... It's... It's games, isn't it? I've never met an engine that was perfect or particularly sensible about how it handled um, belts and... Well, not belts. How it handled, like, overlapping items in the game. In the game world. And where are we going? Over this way. Come with me, conveyor belt. Join me on a... Well... Join me on a journey of uh, discovery as we try and make it up this way. Oh, can't afford? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I'm trying to think. Is there any lift in plates over here? There might be lift. Lift stuff lying around. Oh, and I can fill this up at least since I have spear. We need that. Oh, look how much iron I've got in my inventory. That's just picking it all up from here. Take all. No. No. No, not useful. Oh, a little bit useful. Cool. All right. How much... We do have a lot of a lot of plate, so I can get some wire manufacturing going. I'm trying to remember how much this puts out. So the constructors should be able to produce a lot of wire. Yeah, they should be able to produce a lot of wire quite easily. I'm just thinking of is that a Oh, it is a wreck over there. There's something to go discover. Might have to build a little bridge over there. So, constructor... Yeah, we'll put constructors in. So if we got one right in this corner here, that's not going to be happy. No. Yeah. Is it fitting? No, it needs to be one back, doesn't it? Ah. Or one more back. Constructor. All right. Like there. Not there. There. Oh, can't afford. Fine. We should have, yeah, good stacks here. I'm honestly fairly terrified about trying to get the system to connect everything up now. About trying to get the uh, 
materials between floors, it's kind of tricky. Wire. And another constructor for more wire. You just never have enough of it. So there, there. Wire. And okay. Right, that's a lot of wire production. Excellent. Right, is this really five by five? Oh no, we can get a whole other bit of floor in. Good. Yep, that's there. All right. Okay, we're doing okay now. Let's put in these corner pieces so I know where I'm at. And I think I'm going to go downstairs and build some ladder work coming up. Possibly from the bottom here. Okay. So what we probably want is from hmm, over here-ish. And then... It's not pretty, but it works. And what actually would be good is to come back up again one more, which perhaps I'll do from over here. Was that from all the way in the corner? Not quite. So that can be good. Uh, like there. Well, cool. I might give myself more room around the walkways in, in due course, but that's probably okay for now. Phew. All right. So, that 5x5 five five is doing fine. Hmm. I want to tear down some of the remaining junk over here. And I also want to put in, like, do I want to put in a little, no, I'm going to just leave that for now. Alright, there's giant shark face. Keep away from me, pal. I don't like you. Alright, so these things are full. Oh, totally chocker. Let's, let's get rid of some stuff out of the inventory. Just don't need this much smelted stuff. Don't need the ores. And what we do need is the plate. How much do we have left? 56. I'll make the last bit myself. Yeah, so hopefully you guys are out there having a fun time. If you haven't picked up Factorio, go get it. If you haven't picked up Satisfactory, there's also a link in my description. And you can go and, um, you can go and buy it. It's cool. I like it. Boom. Personal storage. Yay, that's just a quick Not milestone. Additional storage options have been provided. R and D inflated your pocket dimension and developed a personal storage box accessible in the build menu. Alright, thank you, R and D. Now this I can fill up a bit more. Has strong healing properties. R and D has created a blueprint you can access in Hub Tier 3. Ah, oh, we're missing that. Get rid of it. Alright, yeah, so we can make med kits, but later on, unfortunately, for us. I wanted to... What else have we got here to pick up? Alright. We've got to choose the next upgrade. 
conveyor walls. Um, yeah. Yes, that's going to be fine. So, oh look, we're a bit low on power over here. Time to top up. Oh, I've got so much. Just ah, get rid of this. I'm just going to drop it on the ground until I can figure out something to do with it. Yeah. So that's a good thing about having lots of generators. When they start flashing, you're not instantly out of fuel. You can just go top some of them up. And that's fine. Fine, fine, fine. Copper's going fine. Cool. So I'm kind of stalling as to whether or not I, or how I do the next piece. I suspect that I need to... I'm going to drop these bars. I suspect that I need to get the next tier of walls with the, with the kind of gateways in them, which make life a bit easier. How are they doing? They're also getting a little low. It might be time for a bit of a fuel run. And I don't need that. So here's some fuel. Mm. Okay. Put that in. So we are ready to do the upgrade-ish. We only need the plate, which I will... Maybe I'll just make here. While I see what's happening in chat. So it's a little quiet out there by the looks of it. <coughs> but I'm pleased with how this factory is going. Oh, how much we got to? 56. Need a bit more. Uh, where's the rest of my ingots? There we go. I'll do the job. And that's all done as well. Okay. Right, just clearing my messages. And now we get this upgrade. Walls. Nice. Milestone reached. To ensure optimal use of space, navigation, and tidiness, R&D have developed stairs and conveyor walls. Okay, cool. All right, so do we have enough for these walls? Yes. Like the stairs are not super useful in my opinion, but the conveyor walls should be useful. Mind you, the stairs do go up and down in one spot, which is kind of handy-ish, I suppose. Do we need to pipe this stuff out? If we do, we need to kind of go up again. Which, I mean, I can mm, I can do that, but I might hold off. I want to go downstairs and move this stuff upstairs. So what I could do here is put... Well, I guess we're on to the next tier. Hmm. Oh, thanks, Paulo. Oh, Paolo. Uh, I could bring up the spare iron production. The spare bars. And turn it into something useful. So we do have... What? Can't afford? Aye. Give me plate. Give me your plate. So we do have spare iron bar production. And that would look like one of these three walls. Which way around is which way around? That way around. Uh, in fact, we need we need all of them because we do have up to six. See, mm, that's a. Do we? No, we have six. Okay, that's fine. Do I want to do it like that? Uh, can't use that one. Like. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it. L actually, would two be better here? Right. 
Oh, that is pretty disgusting. You gotta admit. Uh. Hmm. Just thinking. See, I could actually afford to put a walkways up instead of these ramps, but I do like the ramps. They're a lot easier to nav navigate. Many interesting questions. A lift or an elevator would be kind of cool later on, but you might end up spending all your time waiting for them to come and go. Hmm, this is tricky for me. Well, don't do that while standing on it. Like, so we can do that, and then I could... I could do that. Like, it just... I just... I'm not a fan of these stairs. They don't ever seem to quite line up with the foundations, especially the thin ones. And that really annoys me. But I think we're going to have to do it that way. At least over this side of the factory. The sides of the factory might be where I can use these walkways a little better. But here... Uh, yeah, oh, actually this one lines up okay. Yeah, I mean, see, that's okay. And left stairs, and so on and so forth. And I'm pretty sure I can drop walls like this to stop myself falling off, which is always a problem. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. Now, what on earth am I going to do with all these these goods? They're going to need to come upstairs. Um, actually, what I could do is the iron rods, at least one of them needs to come up or go to, to be a... Uh, uh, like, a, a screws. We need to make screws. Can I, uh, I... I'm just trying to figure out where I can attach myself to things. So if I put walls, conveyor perpendicular, like... Uh, who even knows how many I'm going to need? I don't know, I'll see what I can clip stuff to. So say we're bringing... Oh, you see, that works. That goes up. Will it go from there? No, I need to go upstairs and have a look. Uh, this needs a walkway. So where is that going to right now? Uh, six. Can I get a floor out here? I suspect that if I had a wall with a coming in way, maybe if I took that one down. Well, no, that's definitely, it's going to have to come up and around the corner, I suspect, of some kind. Hmm, this is so many challenging challenges here. It's not. It's not happy either. So, what if I put walls over here with holes in them? Uh, one there and one there. See if I can get around the corner that way. 
Oh, can't afford. Nuts. Ah, okay. Well, gotta go get concrete. All right. Um, thank you very much, uh, Night Sky, and thank you very much for the donation. That's appreciated. So if you don't know, I'm donating uh, any super chats to the uh, Christchurch Mosque Victims Fund today. I had a few come in already, which is really cool. And I will be um, trying to top up to make sure that the uh, YouTube don't take their huge cut. They might otherwise do. Up we go. And you can also, if you don't want to deal with YouTube's system, you can go directly to the Give a Little page. Uh, on the in the link in the description and there's an official sort of supporters or place to donate there uh, if we go around the wall here it's, it's going to look weird I suspect but we might not have any choice about that ah uh, this is annoying can I instead just come straight up a bit more steeper. Yes, in theory. Oh, that actually works. Ah, uh, except this part doesn't. Hmm. Oh, why you like this game? Um, do I have to do like a? Do I have to come up with some way of of doing this where I can come out more? That might be the only thing I can do. Encroaching on other people's clearances now. So I can't get, can't get back over. Ah. Would it help if I had a wall there? No, I don't think it would. Yeah, it pretty much has to be there. Can I place a conveyor pole on a walkway? That's a good question. I don't think I can. I'll just jump this way, turn on the torch. <clears throat> so, if I put the flat walkways out, let's have a look what that would look like. Now let's try just building out. Oh yeah, I can. Um, yeah, that might be the only way we can do this, which I'm okay with. Like the the they're just the foundations are. Yeah, you know, we're still within the five by five for most of our building. So, if I want to do that more, I need to put this in a quick bar that makes sense, which is probably seven. I'll just slap this down out here. That's probably enough. Like, can I come out this way? Like, it won't let me place a pole, but it will let me do this. And then... Too steep. Um... If it came over here, oh, well, that one works, and then we come in here. Wow, that could work. It's very dark. 
do we want two lots up there? That's the question. So we had to dovetail that way quite a bit. Could I get it on another... Mm. Like it would be kind of good to have more, but I'm a I am somewhat realistic about the possibility of that. I think for now, I will just get the screw machine working up here. Yeah. Do I have enough stuff for it? Yes, I do. All right. So screw machine. We'll try and put you, I think, a little bit towards the middle, just to give me a little bit more room around the edges to move belts in and out. Uh, there will probably do. And you can make uh, screws. And we need power line over to, oh, can't, uh, cable. Right, put down production craft bench up here for now. It's so dark and foggy. Good idea, Hayes. That was a very smart suggestion of yours. I don't think it counts as cheating, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to do this. Very simple. Can't complete the challenge if we uh, can't put down conveyor poles that work. Alright, so that's fine. Is it going to back up? It's going to make one every four seconds. And the, the system downstairs is producing rods every four seconds. It's one per one. So no, it should just go at full, full capacity. These are backed up, I'm sure. So I'll grab them because I can go grab overclock production now. And... Mm, it's time to think about how to move the remaining production up and around. Get this stacked away. And some rods. And some plate, which I don't have enough of. I'll just make some. How much is needed? Another 15 odd plate. That's alright. Awesome, that should be fine. And then we'll be able to overclock, which I mostly use for power at this stage. Don't have any green slugs lying around. They've been a bit thin on the ground around here. Oh, what's the next thing? So the next thing is arguably fabric. Oh, yeah, why not? Goodbye. Are you going? Or are you hanging around? You're going. Good. So, dawn's coming. What do I need? I'm going to have to leave a workbench down there, I suspect. I'll pick up all the plate and rods that are spare. Because all of this is just, just going to be massively banked up. Oh, this one's not backed up. That one's producing. And that one's that. Okay, so. The system out here is a bit grot. Oh. Oh, no. I'm just... <laughs> okay, I'm stuck on my own factory. Oh, thank you for letting me down. Is it actually still working? It is still working, even though there's no wall there anymore. Uh, that seems weird, but that's okay. I wonder if I can put a wall back in safely. No. That's fine. I bet you this is playing a role as well. So we'll get rid of that and that. Put in the seven. seven and the three-way wall should work now. Yep. Yeah. 
Okay, sneak around, sneak around. Oh, don't get stuck again. And this one went to here. All right. Only the belts are outside. Attached to the building, all good. Yes, I think I agree with you, Paolo. That's the right way of thinking about this problem. Now, I would like to be able to bring this one up. Oh. Oh, but, ooh, that was almost happy about that. Maybe if I just put it out a little bit more. Oh, yeah, that's kind of cute. We'll just do that. I better go find out what's going on with power. Oh, it's just out. It might mean that I have to do a little bit of a biomass run. I also need to get focused on the space elevator, which requires a reasonable amount of stuff, but it's not earth-shatteringly bad. I can go unlock fabric really quick, so I'll do that too. Drones back? Yes. Come here, uh, destroyer of fabric. Nice. So I should be able to make fabric with plants in my cellar. Nut scanner. We'll select that when it's back. Can I do that now? Seems to think so. Yes. Boink. So now I can scan for nuts with an object scanner. Outside clear obstacle clearance. Um... Mm, these are less important for now but I will need to figure out the power situation so there's just too many things we've got too low I suspect yeah we've got no more fuel so I need to do a run which what I will probably do with this is put some stuff away actually why don't I just choose a big milestone yeah there we go big milestone take all this junk off me and cable, I'll make some more very quickly. I'll take a big milestone and I'll go and produce some um, a, a scanner, which I should have done before I put stuff away. Yeah, and uh, Nilco is looking, uh, not Nylock, sorry, it's looking pretty good. I'm rather pleased with it. It is going to, it is driving me a little bit batty though. Oh, uh, uh, screw is fine. Because it's very hard to move the resources around inside it. But that's just part of life. No. Object scanner. I need four plate. Okay. Uh, where are we? Four plate. Three, four. Now is it happy? I'm not paying enough attention. It needs 50 screws. And it needs three beacons, doesn't it? There we go. Okay, cool. So, we'll take ourselves and we'll go and get the stuff we want. Uh, I want some grass and I want some... I've got enough concrete in there. I want some grass and I want some power slugs, which I'm hoping I can scan for. No, I haven't unlocked coal yet, so that's really the next thing on the cards. And so I've got the space elevator lined up there as a listed as a thing I want to unlock. And I need to make some fabric as well, so having a little bit of a cloth run. Why are you beeping at me this way? There's no cave here. Is it up there? It probably is. But we can come round. Yeah, so the 5x5 five five is pretty good. I think I'm just going to have to run 
looping conveyor belts in and out of the factory on those platforms. And I might have to choose one particular corner where I go up. Really? What are you beeping for over this way? Oh, it must be up there. Okay, so we've got to climb up there. Which might be easiest this way. So a few power slugs would definitely help things a little bit. Just make our power production a little easier. Alternately, if we're really happy with power, once we've got coal, then we can accelerate some of the other stuff that goes on. Uh, I'm going to build a foundation and then am I going to build steps? Do I have enough of this? Not really actually. I'm going to have to build steps. Uh, foundations. Yeah, that's cheap. Oh, I, def uh, I definitely did not bring enough. So We will have to nerd pole our way up using these, which I will do in eight. Um, here we go, eight. just make this landscape look absolutely munted. Now oh, you are up there, aren't you, troll? Uh, eight. Alright. We're closer. We made it up the hill. If you're at the top of that cliff, I'm going to shoot myself. Ah, uh, don't you tell me. There has to be others around. I don't know if I want to climb that cliff. I could have sworn there was one over here. No? No, I've got something. Ah, oh, here we go. There is one. Yay. All day for me. All night. Well, yeah, all day for me here. Uh, can I even see that guy up there? Do I have enough concrete? I actually do, so... I mean, I can get up there, so I might just try... You're not up here, are you? Uh, go like this. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. Okay, sticky. Um, five. Eight. Alright, and then another eight. Where are you? You must be up there. Oh, you trolls. Oh, there you are. I can see you right there. Ah, okay. Uh, let's go. Yeah, we'll go like this. Actually, we'll take that up, save resources. Ah, this exploring is tricky. And I could tear down these uh, 
bottom foundations and just leave the ramps too, but I got heaps of and heaps of the stuff, so I think I'll be okay. And we'll get a good view from up here as well, so that'll be cool. Let me place. Yeah, there you are. I see you. <clears throat> Can I get up this way? Hooray! And... Okay, not quite. Yay! And let's have a look at the view. There's two power slugs down. Oh wow, there's the lake factory. And if we look all around, it's looking pretty awesome. Is there anything over this way? Got oh, green power slugs somewhere, but... Is that a green glow over there? I don't think so. Is it up there? Wow. I don't think I'm going up there. Not with that much concrete. No, that's a job for another day. And there's something up there as well. I suspect resources. Man, the power slugs on this... What is this weird biome down here? Huh. Well... Oh, duh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that was one way to come down. I'm kind of curious, is this, is this water bad for us? I don't know. There, does, there is one of those horrible firefly bugs over there. Oh god! Oh, gee. <sighs> that gave me That gave me a small fright. Just a small one. This is like a geothermal vent. Ah, oh, awesome! There are so many little secrets in this world. It's fantastic. Now, I see the green power slug up there, but I don't really want to have to chase that one. Is there another around? Um... Yeah, well, I know that one. I need to get this thing out. Because these guys are going to come and cause trouble now. Alright, come on. I'll trigger you. Oh, leaves. We need some of those. Ah, die. Come here. I hate these things worse than the hogs. These ones are hard. The ones in the green zone aren't too bad, but these ones are hard to hit. Oh, another vent. Okay, here. Ah, phew, got them all. Alright, need all these grass and make fabric. Make parachutes. Alright, now. Now can we pick up anything on the beacon scanner? Anything down there? No, only that one over there, I think. Which is a shame. Hmm. Time to go back over to the base. I really need to get the uh, next part of our production going. I uh, might go through the into the water here. Hopefully it's deep enough. No, it wasn't. We'll eat some bacon. Oh, oh, there's another one of those, which is cool. And it is going to talk to us again while I sort out my inventory.
No, not going. <laughs> yeah. You do, do you? Okay. Alright, is there anything out the side? Oh, there was actually on the side of the lake. There was something over here. There was wreckage I want to have a look at. Where are you? I actually, I really do want to set up walkways from over this way too. Alright, this is tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of bio, which is what we need for our system. Are we full yet of bio stuff? No. Okay, wow, cool. So, circuit boards. These are awesome, these piles of scrap. And I should maybe be able to find something to open. Oh, this one needs, so this one needs uh, 30 megawatts. So that I might actually be able to produce right now. No. Can I produce a craft bench? Oh, no. If I come back with power... I'll put down a power thing here. I'll be able to open that and it'll give me a special upgrade, which might be very handy. Meanwhile, if that is another green one at the top of the hill there, I'm going to shoot someone. I suspect it is. Ah, those things are nasty creatures. Alright, leaves and back to base. We'll get the space elevator down. Where are you, space elevator? Where are you, slug? Top of the cliff. Oh, typical. Wee. Yeah. They are, there is a real Subnautica vibe and a No Man's Sky vibe, but I myself I find the world a little bit more interesting than the No Man's Sky. It's on par with like a with a Subnautica in terms of like above ground prettiness, which is which is awesome. I think like Subnautica I thought was the only game that could really pull off the amount of prettiness that it does, but they've definitely done it here. And this is just one of the biomes, really. All of them are really unique and different. The mushroom biome is just gorgeous. So if you don't know already, I can't tell if the, there's been many turnover of viewers. This is a charity stream. I'm streaming for... Um, I, I need to make some fuel first before I can put it a, put a fuel and stuff. I'm streaming for the victims of the, of the Christchurch uh, attacks, basically. And um, anything that you donate will go to them. And uh, it'll do that via a charity on a website called Give a Little. And Give a Little... Also, I've got two of these power shards. Give a little is a great um, little New Zealand website which does charity fundraising stuff, like GoFundMe. And at the charity I'll be supporting is Victim Support New Zealand. Required. All right, so fabric, yes. Okay, so that's doing that. I should put away my scanner now that I can take it out of my inventory. Put that away. Uh, that away, fabric away, flowers, metal, no. Alright, right, I need biomass. Wood. Biofuel. And then once that's all caught back up, we'll be able to build again. Almost there. Good. Put the scanner away. Sort my inventory out. Nice. 
Okay, that's not the power end. This is the power end. So you need... You all need fuel. I'll put one in there. Oh, there's no way. No. Oh, yeah, there's still plenty. Oh, and it hasn't shut down. So it was just that factory. I suspect it was a bit more than that. But we'll get this going anyway. What Leaves go in the bottom. Wood goes in the top. And you two are out of fuel as well. So we better top you up top you up and what are you doing you've got heaps of fuel so we'll top you up and we'll put the the cores in you as well so these are the slugs and now we're at 200 percent production so watch i can actually underclock the factory which is cool but i'm going to overclock it to produce not quite but nearly twice as much power and the factory is still going i need 500 of this. I suspect I've got some stored away. I'm actually going to go dump it somewhere where I think I'm going to need it for the for the space elevator. So where would that even fit? Like I could put it on the lake. It would just need its own foundations, which I'm not opposed to. Like, yeah, yeah, eh, could do. What have I done? One, two, three, four. Oh no, that's okay. That's the corner. That's the steps. Oh my god, I thought I'd made it a five by six or something ridiculous for a second there. That would have been really embarrassing. Okay, can I put the space elevator over here? Okay, so I can't afford this is the only problem now. Alright, so I will drop all of those there. And it's going to need uh, all of that and all of that. Come on, just drop it out. Alright, that was a lot. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back and check on the factory. Oh yeah, the doggo. I actually have a... a in my tips video haze that was out this morning, I have a bonus tip of how to tame a doggo. But what I don't have is pale berries. So there's actually been one floating around the space, but no pale berries means no tame doggo. Which is very sad. Where are all my spare everything? I'm going to need all of those rods and all of those, and all of those, please. So we do actually have the second constructors. You know what, actually I need to move that over now because I can actually fit two constructors in here. So we'll do that. Constructor. And then... Oh, okay, come here. Craft bench. Uh, give me reinforced plates. Constructor. Right. Got them there? Oh, can't afford. Oh, you game. You're doing my head in. I think I'm going to just take down a couple of these walls so I can see around a little easier. And also, I really need the plate. Here, give me the plate. Well, give me the plate. Thank you. Thank you. I don't get caught. <sighs> oh, I did it again. That's so annoying. I might just leave that off. Is it actually going to work, though? I don't know if it will. We'll find out in a sec. So, stairs left. Where are my stairs? All right. Hello, Scott, how are you? We're just putting together a 5x5 five five factory. That's the rule. The factory can only be 5x5. Five five. I can throw belts outside it, but everything else has to be within this footprint, which is a little crazy, but I like it. 
that like to live life on the edge around here. And you're producing screws, and you're going to produce screws as well. Okay, so the big bottleneck I'm sort of feeling is in plate production right now. Um, hmm. And again, if, oh yeah, that's working fine. This is a charity stream, so I'm also streaming to raise money for um, for charity. Can I get those plates to go down there? I'm raising charity, uh, raising money for the uh, victims of the Christchurch terror attacks. Actually, that doesn't need to be that way around. What am I doing? Uh, yep. Like, how disgusting. Well, I don't like that, does it? No, it does not. If we went out like this, and out like this... Hmm. Oh, just, just don't fall in the water. Uh, could I put seven down there? Oh, oh that was a bit close. I'll put this here. No. Ugh. Tight and clean. Yeah, you're welcome to copy. Um, I don't think this is a very kind of efficient. I'm going to be putting out a video later on today where I mess with like a main bus design, which I'm actually really proud of. Uh, so I've been playing that with my multiplayer -y buddies, and we we really like it. We think it's really cool. It's it's. Uh, just like in Factorio, it's going to allow a lot of scaling of production, even though setting it up is a little bit of a pain in the neck, to be perfectly frank. Alright, so... Uh, can I... Like, could you get yourself down here? You could get yourself down here, conveyor belt, couldn't you? I'm thinking of putting a, another constructor downstairs making more plate just because I know that we're going to need it. Like, how far do you have to go to be... Ooh, I saw you, you nasty alien creature. I'm going to pave over your lake, and I'll never have to look at you again. And eventually I'll be able to take down quite a lot of these structures. So... can't tell which one it is. I'm going to have to go back upstairs. Which means I will put a stairway here. I have to take these down. Oh, so much work to do in this game. Constantly working. Uh, for a good cause, I suppose. Hopefully this lines up. And I don't have enough concrete. Ah, typical. Heading back over. So, so far I've had... Uh, how much is 20 SEK? That's like Swedish Krona, right? I think that's about... 20... Dollars? Not sure. But I've had about $60 donated so far, so that's really nice. I'll be matching any YouTube fees that come with any of that. One of them was direct to the charity itself, which is cool. And the rest is through YouTube. So the charity is to yeah support the families. So you know, 50 people have died, and there's another 40 still in hospital, which is just a crazy, a crazy amount of people. And um, you know they're not they're pretty humble backgrounds, I think most of these folks. So it's just a real tragedy. Oh, of course. <laughs> ah, it's the wrong way round. Um, what am I trying to do here? I need to get the stairway to match. No, 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 no. Oh no, there he is, 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 there he is. Oh, get out of here, what, what? Where is he? I saw swimming. No, run. No, 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 you, no, you don't. I can't, I can't build. Don't you eat me. Don't you eat me. Come on. Swim. Swim. 
no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Fast, fast, faster. All right, come on. Get away. Ah. Ah. Oh, my God. Okay. So, actually, I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to dump uh, the wire that I need. So, I need 1,500 wire. So, I know that that's dumped in a second. That'll be handy. So, this is where the space elevator is going to go. But what I don't have is... 1500 there we go what i don't have is the um iron plate or the iron rods right now as soon as i've got that i'll go over and build the space elevator which i can start for the next set of unlocks all right so i suspect i've just got to rotate the base of the stairs which will make things line up and then i'll be good Alright, they're all going nowhere right now. They're going this way. While I'm here, um, let's get a pole. Oh, I can't do it via pole. Okay. Can I go... Oh, 20 air sec is 3 New Zealand dollars. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Adrian, for letting me know that. Uh, oh man, this is ridiculous. Why will you not let me build out far enough? I suspect what I need to do... Yep. Is have this one go down. So rather than out, if it just came... Well, if it just came down... Yeah, if it just came down, that would be better. So the, the platform needs to be the out below more than it needs to be up here. Okay. Fine. That's good. Take this one down. And oh, foundation stairs left. So try there. Will that match up? There's only like four possible combinations for me to try and get these stairs to match up. What can possibly go wrong? Oh, of course not. It's not that one. I feel like it needs to go around one more, but that didn't seem to work last time. I thought it needed to go around the other way, but that's alright. Oh, that's just... It's worse. Alright, try one more. Dope. No, hang on. That's wrong. <sighs> but it might kind of work. Oh, I'm just going to leave it. I'm sick of fiddling with it. Alright. Oh, okay. Almost fell down and I did not. So, if we have this down to a uh, here. So, this is a 5x5 five five challenge. I'm only allowed a grid of 5x5 five five foundations, other than what I need for steps and stuff. So. Ah, we've got it, kind of. Good. And good. And then you spin around and come in there. And you spin been around and well can you not do that can you try and be sensible no not that all right three whoa come on Right. Okay, that's fine. Not pretty, but it's fine. So two constructors down here are what we want. And I'm going to put them slightly in the middle of the room because I'm going to take their belts out, I suspect. And I will need a craft bench to make some more reinforced plate. Alright, pick that up again. 
And another constructor. And somewhere is going to have to provide power. So, power pole maybe here. Power pole here. And you guys, I want you to make plate. And I actually want you guys to drum, drop, drop it straight into a storage system because I need a lot of personal plate. I'll put that there. Logistics. The merger can go like there. Go that way. Oh, very short. Uh, this way. This way. Oh, can't afford. Okay, fine. Now, where is a power pole? to use. Probably could stick one there. Yeah. Encroaching on others' clearances. Aye, okay. Wouldn't want that now. So... Could it go straight down there? No. Others' clearances again. Ah, that's a pain. Well, what if I stuck out a little platform? I'm going to have to do that. Oh, man. Okay, come on, come on. I'm being pushed around so much by the rocks and the conveyor belts. Now, actually, if I put a power line from there to here and then just went from to, to there. There we go. It's long enough to handle that. Right, phew. Grab some concrete just because... Grab some biofuel because I suspect there's a few places getting low. Yeah. And load it all up. Yep, that was definitely low. But more over here. Cool. All right, that's doing fine. I really want to get to the next tier so that I can unlock coal, and that's going to require the space elevator. So for that, I need all these rods and plates. Hence, we are currently zapping around, uh, grabbing all we can. And the next tier will really require these modular frames and stuff, and that's a bit of a pain too. All right. Can I just drop? Wow, that looks messy down there. We'll just drop this way and then this way. Oh, we did it. Didn't die. And then... Into there. And that will merge it together. Pick up that plate. And that plate. And it's all going to go into this box, which is nice and handy. Okay, that's ticking along. Even if these stairs are just disgusting. I'm going to tear them down because they just I just can't stand them. It would be nice to have actual kind of ladders, but it's not. Outside of some of the weird uh, towers, that's not really possible. It might be a case of me needing to build a weird tower, to be fair. Um, does that... Ah, oh, that, that does it. Okay. It does it well enough. Actually, could I even put on one of these if I went up to the top? Let me have a little look-see. Oh, no. Oh, oh, man. Okay, don't jump off the building. If I put this out there, I'm pretty sure I could put a lookout tower on it, which might actually be an easier way of going up and down here. I think I'm tempted. Yeah, I'm going to do that. That's more cool, Laura. And it looks a little cleaner, I think, than all of this junk. Uh, 
and keeps it to the more more pure in terms of the factory size, which is very important to me right now. So we do that. Maybe I should have tested this first. Uh, the floor is not too steep. Would that help? Yes, it would. And then I'm going to tear down these because I don't need them anymore. Uh, come here. So now I can just come up my tower and... Oh, no. Just kill myself constantly falling off it. Cool. I might be able to put a little... I uh, can't fit the walkways in. No. Okay, so what is going to be banked up? Plates are going to be banked up here. Uh, which is good. I'm very close to being able to get what I want. That's that. Rods. Skyscraper incoming. Yes, this is uh, a skyscraper, basically. It's, got, it's a 5x5. Five five. That's the challenge. Stick to 5x5s. Five five so I have got all of the rods going into... Actually, that's... Ah, all of the rods going into the production of screws is probably not useful. Come to think of it. Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to have to come up with some other travel me mechanisms because it's actually not working too well after all. Do I want to have less um, wastage of rods? I kind of think maybe I do. Um, hmm. Well, at least I can take all of these. So I can pretty much go and complete some of the upgrades I wanted to do. Where are the remaining iron rods if there are any? That's the thing I'm missing. Not plates, not rods. Uh, oh, don't fall off. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're almost there with the rods, so I'm just going to grab them. 456. Okay, good. And wire and concrete are over at the facility, so I can put the space elevator down now. Okay. It's going to be over here, which is a bit of a haul. But I'm going to need screws for lots of stuff. Yeah, I also need to keep making uh, iron rods. Oh, uh, staggered jump pads. Actually, you know what? That is actually not a bad idea, Brain. I should have thought of that myself. Drop that. I'm just going to have to drop a bunch of stuff to start with. I don't ever need the ore again. Um, probably don't need that. Okay. Alright, cool. Space elevator time. This is the best animation in the game. It's so cool. Uh, where's the start of it? Where's the console that I want? Here. So cool. I love this bit. Yeah, half of the screws, are, half of the half the rods will go to go to storage, and the other half will just go to screw production. Hooray, the space elevator's down. And then it does a cool extra bit. Oh. And if you look up from space, the elevator part drops. There it comes, just visible. Turn on my torch. Grabs onto it. Hmm. <laughs> So cool. And then down comes some kind of weird locking mechanism thing. And we're in play. Brilliant. Well, all my tools. 
All right, and this requires vast assembly of uh, things. So that's the that's the next milestone to hit. I'm gonna put a little platform here so I can walk up to this easy. Because why wouldn't you? There we go. Now that's a bit more regal. Awesome. So that is going to be for shipping goods into in due course. Wow, that's awesome. And we're going to do other stuff. Yes, and I need to unlock jump pads. So jump pads could be quite good if I stagger them carefully. I still would love just a plain old ladder. I know that's crazy talk. What have we got here? Not enough. So we will have to go on a fuel run at some point. Or if I can just get on with it and get the next tiers unlocked. So... What are we short on? Uh, cable. I can just make some now. We're we looking at here 38, 40 or so, and I'll need some for myself. And thinking plate rods. Yeah. Eh, go back and get it. Oh, and actually, I should get rid of some of this concrete. It's a little bit ridiculous how much I'm carrying around. And I don't imagine I'm ever going to need just raw ore. I mean, we've got these pure mines running, so we can just clear those out. Sort it. Sort mine. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Fabric complete. Okay, great. This fabric is suitable for the creation yes. of parachutes. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 2. Alright, let's have a look Hub Tier 2. Parachute. Ah, oh, yeah, we don't need that right now. Alright, so we're carrying on with part assembly. Whew, so much work. Hi there, Yev. And anyone else who's joined the stream lately, this is a 5x5 five five challenge. And a, um, I am currently trying to gather... I'm uh, Yeah, I'm just going to keep stealing from here. I'm going to leave those there. They're full. This is a 5x5 five five challenge. I've got to build... Um, I've got to survive. I've got to build on a 5x5 five five foundation. And it's quite tricky grab all of this out but I like it it's fun I have managed to dodge uh, the sea monster so far he is out there though and I've had to wind the found the foundation or at least platforms out so I can pick up where are you going oh you're going in this box so I can put the belts down all right so how many rods do we have another 200 and Actually, that's about right. We'll go and lock that ship, shivel's stuff. And then we'll be able to get the assemblers going, which are going to be their own special kind of hell. Because we're going to need a bunch of them, I think, to really make this thing fly. And we've got to pipe everything everywhere to do it. Uh, come here, come here. Hooray! Goodbye. The complex assembly of parts can now be automated. And I will need to. All right. So the assembler is the next thing. The assembler is going to be quite the thing to produce. Uh, three or four of them, at least. So let me have a look. We're going to need cable. We'll knock that out now. And the factory requires rotors. Oh, 16 of them? Ah. So the factory requires rotors and a plate, the folded plate. We have the plate and the screws already, although not the fast belt, which really sucks. But we'll have to just, we'll just have to put up with it. Get iron rods going. So if you're new here, this is a charity stream. I'm streaming in support of the um, victims of the Christchurch mosque shootings. Uh, currently raised about 
43 45 dollars or something pretty good so, and let me have a look here we need this I think we'll just go for 12. Three is going to be more than enough for now. We've got cable. I need modular frames, which require oh, more folded plate. So we'll need eight of them. So yes, I'll be donating the money. Any money received as a, a super chat today through to that Give a Little webpage, which is where New Zealanders... It's like a GoFundMe for New Zealanders. And uh, that money will be going to Victim Support New Zealand, which are a pretty cool charity. We'll knock this out the slow way. And so far they've raised uh, 6.7 million New Zealand dollars, which sounds sounds like a lot. But I think it's worth remembering that there's been uh, like 40 people still in hospital. Um, you know, who are seriously hurt. Kids, the works, it's pretty awful. So they're going to need lots and lots and lots of help, and their families too. People have lost their caregivers and their you know, salary earners, all that kind of stuff. So, up here, if I'd been really smart, I wouldn't have split... Hmm, I wouldn't have split things between floors. I'd have sent them up the same floor together in some ways, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't, but it does make sense to me. I'll, I'll explain. So I'm going to have to put all the assemblers. I could have put one assembler on it so with a with two constructors behind it, I guess. But I'm not going to be able to do that now. But constructors are definitely the next... Oops, put another one in. Never mind, I'll pick that up later. Actually, I'm going to go downstairs. Constructors are the next thing to worry about. Perhaps on the ground floor, although I don't think... Sorry, assemblers. I can actually put one in. Well, you know, I do have the opportunity down here to go plates and nuts and uh, plates, rods, nuts, and then have an assembler down here that's spitting out reinforced slowly, but it'll do it. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Like, that's just an easy one that's, that's solved at that point. You make uh, rods. And then what we want is another constructor which is going to make screws. I'm not going to worry too much about ratios. I mean, I don't think it's... Ah, uh, oops. I don't think it's the end of the world if we don't get them exactly right. If there's anything ridiculous that you guys notice that I should definitely uh, fix up, let me know. Uh, what am I looking for? Reinforced plate? What am I short on? Oh, I'm actually short on screws. Crazy. That and that and that and that and that. Right, take that. Uh, constructor. Right, three to there. Oh, Brain Spider Gaming. Thank you very much. Another $20. That's brilliant. Really appreciate that. At this rate, I will definitely be able to. Uh, I'll definitely be able to match the YouTube funding or the YouTube cut, which is cool. Silly old YouTube assembler. Shiver me timbers! Ah, <laughs> you got the shiver me timbers as well. Good on you, mate. <laughs> that English voice doing it. Good on you, mate. <laughs> cool. And there, alrighty, oh my god. This is not, wow, this is going to be so slow. I'm kind of like looking at the, the sort of footprint to get this thing going, it's not pretty. So the screws are going to produce really slowly, which is the real uh, barrier. We can help it along by giving it some screws and then it will work. But as you can see, the, the screws come in really slowly here. And then they um, slowly build up in this wonderful machine. <laughs> I can't even climb on the roof. This floor, by the way, is a little too small. It's, it's a little bit too low, as you can see. I couldn't get it underwater enough. And when it eventually works, it does a really nice job, is what I'm trying to say. And what I should do 
is put a storage in. Where are you? I should get it loading up storage. It's unlikely to fill this by any means. But it's a start. Oh, can't afford? Oh, I'm so poor. When are you going to start making? Do I have any? No? No leftover plate? Here we go. It's a great animation. I really like it. This is all this beautiful detail in the game. <laughs> nice. And then off goes the modular plate. And sits there waiting for me to pick it up. So I will need to get... Uh, come here. There's almost certainly like half of this that I can just take out. Oh, it's the rods I need, isn't it? It's backed. I bet this is backed up as well. No, not... I don't want that. This one will be backed up. There we go. So. Personal storage locker thing. Alright, cool. So that's one done. Which makes me think, what are we going to make next? So, well, I do want to fill in the holes. Like, we shouldn't have holes in the space. This is a very pretty and professional base. We don't have a lot of useless gaps. And I do want to unlock the jump pads, because this system here is terrible. I think we can all agree. I wonder if I could angularly jump side the sideways jump pads around the factory. That might be a bit ridiculous. Okay, so here's my new idea. This is going to be a plate manufacturer. And we're going to go upstairs with it. And upstairs is going to be the next... Um, oh, heck. Come on. Upstairs is... Oh, just clip. No, no, no. Okay, fine. Fine game. I'll go up the normal way like a normal person. Uh, yeah, we can fit. We can fit everything we want up here. So, what I want you guys to do up here is you're going to end up being like advanced um, constructor things. But for now, what I want you to do is you're just going to have to dump your overproduction into a merger. Actually, no, why don't I just give you your own box each and be done with it while we clear this backlog of, act of activity. There we go. Which makes me think I'll tear that down. Um, okay, yep, yeah, that's catching up. Up comes the plate as well. And once that's done, I will get another constructor up here and we'll get another reinforced plate uh, thing going. And then we're just going to have to go up again because what we want to make next is rotors. And rotors require... Oh, actually... Uh, no, that's okay. I think I'll just... I will do two reinforced plates. Yeah. Or do I want rotors? No, I think two reinforced plates is a good idea. Which leaves me wondering, I've got two more. So what? why are you not... You must be backed up. So that... Oh, that leaves me with those two here, which I will send to make. Yes, those two are going to be the ones that go way, way upstairs and make the rotors, which means I need to go grab concrete. And do some unlocks while I'm here. Oh, this... Hey there, Snut. Great to see you. Oh, just slamming my computer desk around. So far, we've raised about 80 bucks for Christchurch victims, which is nice. And I am working on a 5x5 five five challenge. So that's a 5x5 five five factory. It's This is really hard. This is not something you should commit to if you're planning to play for hours. This is breaking my head. Parachutes. What? Oh, you troll of a game. I can't believe you. You just done this to me. I need to go get more wire. Ay oh, it's just a pain. Turn off my torch. And all of this stuff at some point 
I fear, I don't know, do I bring the limestone into the factory? If I can find room for it somewhere tucked away, I will. Yeah, it's a nice little, nice little thing to be able to do for people. Right now, I don't have room for limestone uh, production. And the wire production is, wow, it wasn't actually, oh no, it was full. And I'll take all of that and I'll take all of this. And we will go and sort out parachutes because they're fun. If they work, do they work? Not, I don't know if they do. They've been a bit finicky, I found. Had some. They behave differently depending on whether I was a host or whether I was the um, uh, the client. Hooray! Off goes the drone. New equipment. Okay, equipment workshop. Parachute, which I need fabric for, which I don't have any grass. I don't have any. I'm going to get some because the parachute is cool. Come here, feathery grass stuff. All right, where are you? Grass, 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 grass. Actually, the jump pad would be brilliant just to get me into the factory at various floors. That would be cool. You just visited a stream where they worked. Oh, that is good news then. I haven't fiddled with them since the weekend. So I imagine they just ended up on the, you know, piles of things to do. Oh, I can't, don't have any room for you. Fine. I'll get rid of these useless, useless feathers or leaves, flowers, whatever they are. I was really hoping I could color the foundations, but not today. And Snut, uh, you guys might want to look out. Later on my time, I'll be releasing the first... Um, First multiplayer video where the challenge is to build a main bus like in Factorio. <clears throat> so we're going to build a main bus and run it. Ah, oh, where's my mushrooms? It's a question you often hear from me. We're going to run this. Is that fab? That is the fabric we need. So we're going to run this main bus down into like down in a Factorio style. It's yeah hard to explain, but it's going to be pretty cool. Put that away. Put that away. I have enough fabric, so I think I made it earlier, so I should be able to make a parachute. <coughs> and that's plenty, apparently. Hmm. Oh, the pod's going to come back. All right, one minute. What do I want next? Alien carapace. Yeah, I don't have enough. Yeah, so the, the main bus is actually... The challenge with the main bus is not necessarily building it, it's that when you build one, you want to build everything perpendicular and make it all look just so. And that can take some time. It's a, It can be a bit of a fiddle. Uh, what was I looking for? Carapace. So yeah, we have been, we've got a reasonable progress. So the first episode is just basically this kind of laying out the basics. And the second episode will start actually laying out the bus, which is fun. Oh. I heard the sonic boom, down it comes. You can see it there in the distance. Lovely. It's so cool. Alright, load up the bottom one with leaves. Yeah, so cool. Select the next milestone. <coughs> so jump pads would be good, but so would obstacle clearance because I'm so low on stuff. Got that. Got that. Cables easy enough, and so is the other one. Yeah. <coughs> what I've had with the cable, or what I've had with the parachute, is you jump off something and it expires at all. So we'll see if it works. Oh, look at that. Bam. Done. Another unlock. Just like that. Oh! What? I had a weird... I had a weird fist that time. Expansion. You are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. That was odd. Uh... Chainsaw. Okay, I just need the stuff. The stuff. That was very odd. So yes, in case you don't know, this is a charity stream for 
um, the victims of the Christchurch mosque attacks. So, as you know, it's been, or as you may know, that's been a pretty big deal here in New Zealand. Uh, the, lots of people have donated money already to um, a Give a Little donation page. So Give a Little is like a New Zealand GoFundMe. And I'm going to add a bit more because there's a lot of people who are going to be affected for a very long time, I suspect. And the idea is to give them as much support as they can. These trees need to go. I got the fist. What determines if you get the fist, Snut? I want to know. In case anyone doesn't know, Snut, who's in chat, is a developer. And he's obviously at home uh, on release day. Or if he's really unlucky, he's at work because it's extremely late in Sweden right now. I'll grab all this wood. It's going to be very nice and fast to clear out. And the chainsaw does a great job of clearing the trees and any nearby foliage, so I shouldn't even bother picking anything. I should just run and clear. And these generators are still ticking over nicely. The only sadness I have for this is that right now I haven't been able to find a great number of power slugs. There are some out there, but they're the way the top of massive, massive structures. Alright, where are we? So, leaves go in here. Uh, and wood goes in there. And flowers go in the bin. Yeah, oh, that's probably plenty for now. A lot of people, and I was just saying this earlier, not a lot of people, well, some people, oh, you just got home. Oh, well, I hope it's kind of a fun day, right, to have a game launch. Uh, jump pads, yes. People were complaining in, in, in Reddit, because of course they were, that the uh, they felt the game was, like, it was too much bio biogas generation stuff in the early game, and I really don't find it, eh? Like, I've got the two generators on the station and like three or four others, and once you load them up, once you get a few of them going and you load them all up, it's really not a problem. They, If you've got way more than you need, they all chew through their, their power systems very slowly, and you don't need to care anymore. Okay, constructor. They just sit there doing their job, and you're happy as Larry, I find. And you come back every half hour to top them up or something. It's easy peasy. I don't know why everyone gets so fussy about it, but, you know, read it. Okay, so, constructor for the... Uh, oh, actually, I need to put the walls in or I'm going to be cheating. I don't want to hang over the edge at all. Uh, wrong size. All right, cool. Constructor to make the iron uh, screws. Which will be a bit slow, but it's better than nothing. And then over here we'll have an assembler to produce the other stuff I want. Come here. Now go in. And... Oh, did we not power you up properly? So we didn't. And now two to here and to here make reinforced thingamy what's it and you make oh uh, you have power and make stuff all right Whew. i don't know i mean yeah you might buff biomass i suppose but i mean i mean coal is nice but and I guess right now it might start to get fiddly now that I've got two constructors running. So I am starting to hit the max load. So I should, like if I empty this, it's going to start making. And if I empty this, it'll start making. And that might push it a bit close. Let's have a look. Uh, not too bad, but I, I will be putting down another biomass generator. Add it to the stack. I might even put one more down. Just because I'm crazy like that. Bam. Bam. Oh. Oh, cable? Ah. Give me. Make me cable. Little drones to mow the grass. Well, pretty soon I get coal. And once you've got coal, your life is easy. For a while. Uh... 
Yes. Yes. So right now, how much biofuel do I have? Not much. My container here is gathering heaps. And so I'll just go chuck two loads in here. Uh, split this in half. Whoops. Whoa, we were actually hitting very close to max power there for a second. So... Oh, what? Why are you... Oh, you're not connected to the network. There we go. So yeah, we did get a little close. But I've not had a big brownout in ages. Yeah, I mean, the chainsaw just makes it super quick. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to do another little chainsaw run just to make sure I've got enough biofuel when I come back. And then it's time to finish off adding the floors. Oh, got no fuel on me. Ah, oh, troll. Come here. And then it's time to add more floors so I can get the next tier of constructor going to get the rotors going. All right. And the rotors, I've got to remember what they take to make. But let's see how many trees this takes down. Bam. So that's given me, yeah, I mean heaps. That's heaps in my opinion. Yep. One swipe clears out all the trees. It's very magical. I should clear some away from the uh, vital installation over here because it feels bad to leave it there. Where are you, tree? Oh, I'm uh, not falling into the tree. The other reason you want the chainsaw is you don't get stuck in trees unless that bug's been fixed. <laughs> but getting stuck in trees really sucks. And then we can just whip out the chainsaw and just pull everything down. Yeah, I mean, that to me, that's heaps. That's going to produce a ton of biofuel. Okay, so time to work on the next floor. Uh, it's looking pretty grand. Yeah, that's looking cool. Alright, so leaves are still plowing out of this at full capacity. Add in another bunch. Add in the wood. Sort this. Throw away the flower petals. And... Oh yeah, I'll try out the parachute too. Let's put a parachute on. Yep. So I do really... The next thing I do want to do is get a jump pad that'll take me like from here to the third floor. Alright. Let's see. If I jump off... Uh, there you go. Whee! You can hear the parachute opening. Oh, it's there. And I'm down. And did it, it used one parachute. Oh, good job. Well, that's handy. I'm going to leave that there. So we've got... Oh, wow. 44 already. That's pretty good. I guess that means I've been doing very little. So that's producing... Let's get the next one up. And here, oh, we haven't taken it. Oh, okay, it was cute. It was backed up. Oh, okay, that's my bad. I should put some kind of buffering box over here. Where are you? Out of here. Oh, of course it power poles in the way. This is actually producing a little faster than I thought it would be, to be fair. Now, for the rotors, I've got to remember again what I need. So let's have a look at our craft bench. So rotors, the other thing I need right now, it needs those guys. Hmm, okay. Just, hmm. So we do have two, ah, actually. Come on, fall down the gap, and then drop, and drop. So, 
Right, no, so that's doing, they're doing that down there, that's fine. Uh, back up this way. Second, first floor, I need not the basement floor. Oh, God. I'm sucky at this. Oh, my God. This is just embarrassing. Professional YouTube. Well, not a professional YouTuber. Clearly, that's why I'm an amateur. Oh, there we go. A parachute down. What a waste. So, uh, we have two here that are doing nothing. So, one of them actually should be making... They should both be making rods. And one of them upstairs can turn the rods into... Uh, yeah, that's what they can do. They can go upstairs and they can turn that one into screws and the other can, it stays rods and we make rotors and then we'll have all the stuff we need for the first set of unlocks. Thank goodness. And I might ugh, get the jump pads working so that I don't have to... Well, have I done all five? I might get the jump pads working so that I don't have to build on more ladders and stairs and things to fall off. All right, we've got to make this look a little bit realistic by giving it some walls and filling in this little gap. All right, so do we have enough for the unlocks? We have heaps. Do we have enough cable? We kind of do not. <coughs> I'm kind of reluctant to set up a cable manufacturer because we just don't need that much of it, and it really soaks a lot of wires and somehow if you put a box of cable and wires merging together three quarters or four fifths of it will be cable um, just the way the thing works the production speeds I guess cables we're gonna need a hundred it doesn't take too long at least well right now it's a very sunny day out there if I wasn't here, I guess I'd be at work. So either way, I'd be inside. Make a bit more than needed. All right. So, cable, uh, everything you need, game, have it. Right, I need more of them. Uh, cable. I could make the rods myself a little bit. So, uh, thanks everyone who's turned up and watched. I'm currently going to be streaming for at least another couple of hours, I'd say. At that point, the children will probably be home and they'll demand to take part, which would be possibly unpleasant. Jump pads! Hooray! Milestone what have I got left? Buildings aimed at factory traversal, including several different categories of jump pads, can now be All right. accessed in the build menu. Let's test this bad boy. Is recommended during use of these products. Um, hmm, where are we going to put it? If I put it... Like, could I put it... Uh, can I get rid of this, maybe? Um, oh, they're so big and hoary, aren't they? We have to take this around the corner a bit more. And to... Hang on, let's put down... Let's see if I can put down the jump pad first. Yes, that will work, maybe. Alright. So, power will need to come over this way. Alright, let's see what happens when we jump on this. Are we ready? Yes, yeah, sp split it and send it. Sounds like a great idea. Oh, oh, oh! Ow! Why did I get damaged? That seems unfair. And that was almost all the way up to the top. Like... I think another move, move over and that would have been up to the top. If I put one here, 
how far would that get me? Um, try this one. Oh, cable. Always cable. Oh, I can't afford that either. Okay, let's go and top up. Cable. Alright. A whole bunch. Yes. Uh, sort. Put that away. Alright, where is it? I kind of would love to be able to go straight to the third floor. That would be cool. No, no, no. Oh! Oh, I know how to get it, though. I've got a good idea. If we just put... Like that on top. Oh! It didn't... Something didn't like that. <coughs> and then we put the tilted pad on top. Ah, uh, tilted jump pad. Oh, uh, this seems like a dangerous way to power this thing. Like to do it. Uh, oh, <laughs> out of power. <laughs> Duh. Escalator ladders would be cool, but it's no, not too soon till I get we get some mobility enhancements. All right, you're out. Good. Put you in. And you're out. Load you up too. Is that enough? Yeah, everyone seems happy. Good. And the biomass is still flowing. Good. And you want me to empty you, and almost certainly you want me to empty you. Fine. I really should hurry up and sort out personal storage for those. Or, or big storage, anyway. So, is this going to work? Up, 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 and... Oh, look at that. Now I can't get down. <laughs> oh, my life. Uh, okay, pick up that. Pick up that. And... Somehow I've got to get those resources all the way up here. <clears throat> that's difficult, but I can set up the potential walls to connect to now. So I'll put in some options for us to use like one or other of those should work. And there's my tower. I can fall onto that. Or I've also got my parachute, I guess. If all else fails. Um... So they are there. Can I... Where can I connect this? I can't. I need somewhere to stand. This will have to do. Alright, there it is. No? Too steep? Okay, what about this one? Um, right, if we bring this over, oh, iron rods, okay, is anywhere producing iron rods right now? Upstairs is, alright, upstairs, oh, nope, didn't die, okay, copper, copper, yes, fine, So, iron rods for down there. Right, we're just going to lay out some options for us to work from. Eventually what I want to do is tear down anything that isn't required, like some of these, yeah, some of these systems, but for now. And can I do... I can, but I'm, again, out of iron rods. How about producing nothing for now? Or just, yeah, produce uh, screws. But let the iron rods build up. 
Yep. Okay, fine. Uh, why do I have all this junk? What? 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 Oh. Okay. Okay, seven. Because we don't want foundations out of outside of the area. That's the rule. Wow, that that actually weirdly clips through fine. How can I get it to go up enough? Alright, we want to get up there. I suspect we're going to have to go out quite far, which is a touch distressing, but not quite sure what else to do about that. Alright, making plate. No, not that one. That one. Hmm. Hmm, thinking a lot here. You know what, what I could do right now is switch this one to iron rods. And then switch this one to rotors. Which means stripping all of this off. Alright, yep, that'll do that. So we've already got like so much of this in here. I can go dump some of it in the system right away. Is it iron rods coming in? Is it going in? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So, I mean, that'll start the rotor production, but it still doesn't solve the problem of getting stuff upstairs. I do have enough now. Hmm, very tricky. Thank you very much, Snut. Yeah, go to bed, it's 1.30. Yeah, good idea, pal. And... Yeah, we're just going to have to come out, I suspect. Right, how do we even get this down here? Like... I don't know, eh? Like if there was a... If we use the walls... Like this... Uh, maybe... No... If we went from here... No, so if we went... Oh, I've got to get the direction right. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there's no easy way to get that stuff around the corner. which point I don't think that's very useful anymore. So if these are coming out... Like... Uh, like what is it trying to do for the curve? It's trying to do something crazy, isn't it? Hmm. All right, so if we went around the corner first and then told it to come up. Still too steep. Okay. Further out. <clears throat> no, I don't have the second conveyor poles. I've got to unlock the next tier of tech, which I, which would, you know, the second conveyor poles would make it a lot easier, right?
Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out a spiral in due course. And I can't even quite remember how to do that very well. For now, it's just going to be this dirty women system. Which feels a little bit like, kind of almost like cheating just because we're going so far away from the factory, but... Oh, it's actually now... Oh, there we go. So I can do it if I get it there. Alright. Uh, which one's which? That one can go to... Right there. That's completely insane, but it's okay, I suppose. So now that we've got... I guess I don't quite know what I'm going to make upstairs. I suppose rotors, but I don't know. Is it required? I'll go collect the rotors and head out to the to the um, space elevator. That's going to be the thing I want to do. Uh, where's there? Okay. Too steep or too long? What do you want from me, game? Alright, what about take this one? Don't want to fall off the edge. Oh, whoops. That is now the wrong, wrong way around. Alright, okay, that does work though, so we know we can do that. Cool. This is nasty at war game. Oh, you know how to get me going sometimes. Uh, three, go around to here. Come around. There. I know you can do it. Oh, thank gosh. Thank goodness. Oh, tear that one up. And I'll just tear some of this down because I feel bad having so much useless, uh, wasted, like, belt. Oh, conveyors on stairs. Ah, true. Oh, I don't know. That sounds kind of fiddly right now. Uh, actually, I don't need to go up. What am I doing? I need to go down so that I can pick up all the rotors and frames. Ow, that didn't hurt. Good. Alright, so down here for rotors and frames. Turn on my torch. So 17 rotors done. And oh no, I double tapped. I'm gonna work through uh, work through all my parachutes because I hit space bar and it ends up blimmin' shooting me all over the show. And up here, even more of that stuff, so let's go check out the space elevator. I think we only need a few rotors and we're good. Mm. No, it's looking pretty cool. Okay. Uh, no, yes. Stacks of those, stacks of those, 20 more needed, so I should try to make some more rotors, which I think I'll do upstairs. Yeah, we can do that. Not too bad. So if you've just joined the stream, I'm Dunning Pirate. I play games like this, and I very much enjoy Satisfactory. I've been playing quite a bit of it. I just put out a tips video on the channel, which you might enjoy if you're into such things. Uh, it's 20 tips in only 6 minutes, which is... Oh, that was a bit close, which is a pretty good deal if you ask me. Good value for money. Alright, you come out. Where's the other one? Uh, over there. And 
Ah, there's the other one. What are you? You're both... Uh, your plate. Ah, okay, well, I don't actually need you to be plate. I need you to be rods, but that's okay. We will fix you in a minute. What I need to do is turn the one of the plates into... Um, actually, we'll put the wall up. One of the plates into bolts, screws. The stairs can be removed after placing the conveyors. Yeah, I have heard that. I really, I don't think I want to go back and fiddle with that now. It's going to drive me batty if I have to do that. I want to try and get some production done. At least to get the the, the, the stuff moving so that we can get to the next text. Um, power. Problem. Is it going to let me do it? It is. Nice. Good game. So you need to produce screws. Oh. Yeah, we'll take that off. Yeah. Now oh, you produce screws. And over here we'll have an assembler that is going to take that. Oh, I've just put the rotors away, of course. You need to all be... Uh, personal storage. You need to be not these guys. You need to be something else useful. Just drop. Um, I need you to be... Uh, actually, no. What am I saying? Nope, that's right. No, I've got the exactly right stuff there. Okay, cool. Can I get up to the top? And yes, I can. Good. So I'll put a little walk right around the side here. Uh, what are we going for? In here? There's plenty of room. Good. Okay, so. Uh, did I test how tall I can make a building? Uh, basically, I believe it's essentially infinite. So, yeah. Take that away. What will be the bottleneck? Would this be a good place to put some, um, like, a splitter to keep some rods? I'll make eight of these, I think. And make some more modular frames just to have some lying around. All right. And now constructor. No, assembler. Uh, yeah. And take this. Take this. I might put down a splitter anyway. And I'll keep an eye. Oh, actually, no, I don't need to. I can just do it. I can put the splitter on the ramp, on the belt when I need it. So I think I will come just straight in. And you can make rotors. All right. Rods and screws. In you go. And do I want to send rotors anywhere? Like, mm, I think I'll just leave them up here for now. All right. That's cool. Oh, power. Parachute time. We actual useful use of the parachute. Yes, I'm not too surprised that the assembler kicked in and the power died. Is it overloaded or just out? Uh, out. Out of power. Grab that. We're pretty close to unlocking coal now. So that will make everyone's life a heck of a lot easier. That's fine, 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 not fine, that should do it. And let's go back and check our hub generators, they're free, well not free, but they're good generators after all, do the job. Yeah, as expected, 
out of power each. So top them up. They're not exactly needed, as you can see. We're well above capacity, but they're not a bad thing to have. What else do I need to get rid of here? I need to pick up rotors and take them through. And, oh, I'll need to do an unlock. I might as well do an unlock since I'm here. So get rid of that. Of course, nowhere near enough of that stuff. Do I have an oversupply somewhere that I can pump some rods, so to speak? Somewhere useful. Oh, don't waste parachutes on those little jumps. Maybe it should be double tap. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, that's fine, I suppose. So, what is going on here? Why is there none? Oh, because I turned it off, of course. Um... Hmm. I would like more. Yeah, I'll grab the grab the cable. I would like more um more rods. That's game's proving to be a touch of Xing as to how I'm gonna do that. So I mean I could split some off earlier. Not here though. Yeah. That's all backed up. Mm, could I even fit a constructor in here? That would feel a little cheeky. No. What, really? Really, game? That seems a bit wrong. No, I don't think we're going to do that. So these rods, the second floor... Okay. Okay nothing I can do about this part. Pondering, pondering. No, I think we're just going to have to live with that for now. Okay, and over here, how are we going for rotors? 23. Um, Alright, so the delay, I could definitely put a splitter here. That's what I should do. A splitter. Will it uh, tack on? It doesn't feel like it's quite... Oh, there we go. Aha! And now I can split off half the rods into a box. Do I... Actually, what I'll do is I'll move this container over here. I'll put a merger in. And we'll just put them all into the same box, because that makes life easier. What? Oh. Huh. Can I move the assembler over? Yeah, I can. Alright, so assembler, come this way a little bit. Give us a bit of room around here, okay? This is a... We need some time alone. Away from you being so close to us. Okay. Into there. Into there. A splitter goes... Come on. And there, and you should make uh, rotors. I can make fabric, that'd be funny. I don't have enough mushrooms or anything to make that worthwhile. Organization, logistics. Oh, well, yes, tiny pirate, they could do better than that. Yeah. Okay, a few. Right. That's uh, sorted. So we have a, a, a supply of rods coming in now. And we definitely have enough to go and finish off this tick, which is good. And really transport's the only final thing. That was a weird placement, you're right. So personal transport around this facility is the remaining oddity we have to handle. Oh, I've just waste, <sighs> wasted another parachute. Okay. 
color gun. I'm not going to use it because it'll take forever and it doesn't do that much right now. It just changes the trim. It doesn't do a massive paint job. Have got anything else in here? Not enough alien carapace scissors. Okay. And milestone. It's really time to make sure we've got the uh, next tier of stuff done in the elevator. And I need to steal some fuel because I really need to do some chopping. Just for the final part of the of the time before we have coal. Do I want to take anything else with me? I think I'll come back and drop some stuff off once I've visited the elevator. And I'll go on a bit of a slug and biomass run. Alright. Here it is. Uh, not enough. Oh no, enough. That doesn't do anything yet. I hope it does one day. <laughs> Seal. Off it goes to fix it. Oh, maybe it is doing something. Oh, it's doing something this time. It didn't do it last time. Ooh, up it goes into space, taking our very valuable goods. Buy valuable goods. Oh, that's cool. Okay. What's it saying for the next lot? Oh, these things. So, motors and modular frames. Which isn't the end of the world, but that's a lot of them. Okay, so... We have a tier unlock, which is good, but before we mess with that, I need to do some chopping. Otherwise, we're going to well, yeah. Otherwise, we're going to be disastrously short of useful goods. Yeah. Yeah, the elevator on the top would be cool. I have. I'm actually not sure the five x five footprint is big enough. We'd have to expand out, but I have done that. I have done that before uh, on our 10x10 10 10 series we put the elevator at the top of the building now with the next unlock we should have coal so I should go and check that out what that is going to be just clear a little bit here to make sure we're not going to run out of power before we, we get our jobs done alright that's enough Oh, can't put it away. I wonder if I can chop this thing down. Nope, not selectable. I wouldn't mind more um, nuts as well. Or power slugs. Power slugs mostly, but we'll see how we go. Alright. Uh, uh, let's drop the stuff off first. So, bottom box is our leaves. Uh, top box is our wood. And we got enough stuff. Oh, I wasted another parachute. It's going to drive me potty. Coal power. These are things we get at four and five. So, stacking poles and more faster stuff. Bigger storage. Wow, I've never seen that one before. Better bashing of monsters, steel production, which is a good way to feel really depressed about life, I'm trying to get that thing running. But for now, we can definitely do this, and I've got some of this stuff already. So I'm going to knock the cables out myself, because that's pretty easy. Oh, 200 cables? Maybe that's a pain. Yeah, maybe that is a pain. I might take that stuff back. Yeah, I might take that back. Give it another go. Uh, might need my own. That's fine. Let's jump on the second floor jump pad. On to the second floor. Oh, it didn't even get hurt. Okay, so there's two of you here. Maybe one of you can produce cables. Can I get a constructor going in here? 
but I don't uh, well that's my own fault for putting this container over here so I'll pick that up and stuff can maybe just back up a little in here well actually oh, it's so smoky to be fair I could actually put the cable and the plate together to a degree Uh, can I fit a merger in? Um, do I need to? Maybe I do. What? Uh, okay, game. Oh, what if I came all the way around to there? Yeah, perfect. I have to climb over the box to get to the factory. Alright, that's going to work. I'm sure of it. Constructor. Make cable. Oh no. Oh, I can't see anything. The smelters downstairs are not helping. Ah, oh, come on. Get out of the way. No, I don't want to put it on top of the of the thing. That's cheeky. Um Hmm. Oh, speaking of which, I do want to fix this wall. Yep. Let me have a little think here. What should I do? I can... I can't really snake that any better. Well, maybe I could. Yeah, we'll sort this one out. We can do it this way. I think we can just shuffle everything over a little bit. Uh, splitter is in, in, in. Yeah. There we go. And this one over here. Either does it. And then I think we can just fit the... Um, box right over here. Yeah. And the logistics. Very small. Yep. And yes, so that is. Alright, that's going to be great. It will end up producing a ton of cable. Way more than there is of the of the plate, but that's that's okay. Alright, down all the way to the bottom to pick up all the rotors. Oh, uh, that's the rods. That's fine as well. Hang on. Why aren't you making any... Oh, my God. It's been here the whole time and we haven't... Ah, that's a pain. Uh, I'm not... Sh well, if I do any more live streaming, I will probably do it on this world. I'm just not sure I'll do much, lo much live streaming. Just because I get really, really busy with all the other stuff I have to do. Today's a bit of a special occasion. fill this wall in a bit. I don't like to leave it looking too weird and open. And I think that was my almost last parachute. Oh, it's such a pain the way that works.
Okay. How are we looking? Oh, we need to fill in this top wall a bit. Ah, the big assembler's caused to crash. Now, has something run out of power? I suspect something has. It probably is time to dump a bunch of stuff and go on a bit of a run. But I would like to get it going enough so that I can come back and all the rotors are done. That being, yeah, so I think I will we'll tackle that. <coughs> Uh, what I will do, though, is I'll add to my pile of iron ingots here. Okay. So, who's out of fuel? Nope. Someone else is out of power as well. Okay. Oh, you're a bit low. That's fine, though. Must be one of these. Oh, both out? Well, I need some for myself, so I can't drop them all off. They're just going to have to hang on. So... I don't need that. I don't need one fabric. Uh, do I need to drop cables and rotors and drop that? Yeah, okay, that's looking pretty good. Get rid of all of this. I'll need all of this other stuff pretty much. And I think that'll be okay for a bit of a run. All right, let's pull the beacon out. Let's go this way. Now I'm determined to find... Did we go up this way before? I don't think we did. I'm determined to find more power slugs. So for those of you who don't know, this is a charity uh, stream. I'm streaming to support Victim Support New Zealand, which is the charity that are currently working with the victims of the Christchurch uh, attacks in New Zealand. If you don't know what happened, 50 people were shot and uh, 40 people in hospital injured. Shot to death, that is. Everyone was shot, but yeah, those people died. I think the youngest victim was three years old. So yeah, pretty unpleasant time. But, you know, everyone here works hard to kind of help each other out. It's just the New Zealand way. Always has been. So, yeah, I'm doing a bit of a charity thing here. So I've raised probably about, I don't know, $80 so far. And I'll chuck in a bit myself. Round it up to 100 Hang on a sec. Alright, so I kind of want to get in here because there's, I think, a purple slug, but it's a bit poisonous, so uh, I can't, can I? No, I can't. I can't. I have to run away. Damn, that's a shame. That is a real shame. Okay, I have to eat up. You see that purple slug right there? What a shame. I can't get in there quick enough. I'll have to wait till I can get the tech. I mean, can I get in it from this way, maybe? Nah, they all start going crazy and emitting their disgusting juices. Hmm, difficult. Where is... More slugs. 
Oh. Ow. <sighs> Bet you it's up there. But for now, we need power. So, we'll clear this stuff and look for the next slug. There has to be one that isn't on the top of a jolly cliff somewhere. Mine potato, it is... I don't know, it's not too bad once you get used to it. But now when you start getting into the higher tier production, that's tricky. And because I've been given the challenge to build on a 5x5, five five, that, that's adding to the complexity. This way? All right. Gonna be on top of a cliff again, isn't it? Ah. Yeah, I knew it. It's a top of a cliff. Let me pick up this this wooden stuff while I'm here. Scanner. Hello, giant beast. Oh, there you are. Not too bad. All right, I think we can do it just with uh, left and right stairs. Where are you? Oh, not these guys. Oh, ah, ah. Come here, you. Ah. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Okay, good. Alien organs. Just what I always wanted. Oh, no, not... Uh, another one. Just have to... Ah, uh, just... Okay, thank you, alien beast. Alright, so, we'll just... Uh Home is out of power, but that should have hopefully been enough rotors to complete our goals. Oh, someone donated. Thank you very much, Tank. Oh, thank you very much. Yep. So everything today is going to be... Uh... Oh, don't tell me. What am I out of? Everything today is going towards the uh, charity victim support. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We're supporting all the Christchurch victims. Uh, five. Eight. Uh. Oh, not quite. Come here. Oh, of course there is. There's one of these things up here. Why wouldn't there be? Get out of here. The times I want a parachute to run away. No, don't you dare. No, 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 no. Oh, <sighs> that's extremely annoying. That's extremely annoying. That's weird. Hmm, weird humming there. Okay, well, at least maybe I can top up the power while we're here. 
Uh, what ran out? Did something run out? No. Or did it just spike demand? Oh, demand spiked for a change. Just... Ah. Uh, just a little bit too much demand, I think. That's a shame. However, uh, I haven't got any producers here I can dial down. Oh no, these guys got no fuel. That won't help. Alright, leave them alone. So they're all going to be going through their fuel at pretty hard pace right now, which is a shame. But we'll get over and collect our corpse and stuff. Ah, oh, tank. Yeah, it's, it's really horrible. Horrible news. Just people being awful to each other, right? No need for it. New Zealand's just not a country where we have normally any of these kind of weird um, issues. You know, we don't have particularly extremist communities anywhere. I just think that the society is a bit more equal than other countries, so there's less reason to look around for someone to blame for your bad luck. Maybe there's less bad luck. Not saying there isn't, and there isn't hardship out there, but, um, you know, it doesn't seem quite as extreme as other parts of the world. And, yeah, so having people sort of come in and bring their uh, weird ideologies and their awful beliefs is pretty un unpleasant for everyone. Okay. I can see my beautiful construction. Now I've just got to get to it. Yeah, same for Switzerland. Yeah, I bet. Oh. Switzerland's had its own fair share of people getting upset about mosques and what have you, right? But still, it could be perhaps a lot worse. I mean, the mosques here are pretty unassuming. There's just, you know, not really any big issues for people to worry about. Uh, no. God. Okay, come on. Let me get away. No, not the chainsaw. The zapper. All right, you. Bam. There's one more up there. Oh, spiraling on these staircases drives me crazy. And then this guy's going to push me off. Oh, got him first. Wow, that doesn't happen very often. And the power slug is mine. What a lot of effort for one little sluggy. Is there another one up here? Another creature. Oh, where are you? Ah! No. Don't push me off. Don't fall off either. Alright, you want some? Come here then. Bam. No. Ow! You sneaked. Ah, oh, these things. Where are you? Ah! Ah, just... Oh, God. Finally. Alright, got it. So if you're new to Satisfactory, then... Um, yeah, luckily no violence. Yeah. Uh, then I have got a tips video on the channel and I've got some other bits and bobs, let's plays and streams and stuff that I've done. And I'll be doing more of those in the future. Got a little multiplayer series I'm working on, which is looking really fun so far. We've got a bit of a challenge. We're building a main bus, Factorio style, in Satisfactory, which is kind of an interesting challenge, to be honest. All right. Now, where is my... Uh, I'll eat some of these. Pick up this wood and go find one more slug, maybe? And then we should be close enough to hit this tech goal and unlock coal power. Should be a pretty good place to be in. Now, ah, I know this location. And this location over here does actually have stuff that we could use. Now, I'm sure there's a, a slug over here somewhere. Our 
couple of them kicking around that aren't too hard to get to from memory. So we'll have... Yeah, here we go. Picking them up. So there is undercurrent plans tank for a um, like defensive game mode. I think that would be really interesting. And I hope that they do consider adding something like that in the future. Like just to keep the complexity and challenge up. If you're up there, I'm not going up there, Slug. You can stay up there as far as I'm concerned. You are, aren't you, you troll? Ah, get out of it. I'm pretty sure there's one down the river as well. Or the sea, actually. I think this is actually the sea. Yeah, the beeping's getting better. Oh, there's a lizard doggo. Hello. I can't pet him. I don't have the fruit. Oh, he's up there. That's not too bad. Uh, where are we? go. Yeah, I know he's there. And yes, he is ours. Ah, oh, you're currently building there. Yeah, I've, I started in this location as well. It's a pretty cool spot. Um, but I've ended up over on a lake, which is also, I guess, pretty fine. And the pure nodes nearby certainly are appreciated. Pick up all this litter, and I'm pretty sure there is a cave over here with some, with possibly a slug in it. There's a lot of places to explore, and the further you get from the start areas, the crazier it gets. Like caves with five or six slugs in them, and all kinds of weird nasties. And where are you trying to get me to go, scanner? And the disgusting spiders, which are just horrible. Okay. Up there. Oh, wow. Look at this crazy landscape. I love how alien this game is. That's just a brilliant job. All right. Just going to write something down. All right, slug, where are you? Ah, there you are. Ah, oh, you're going to be easy peasy. Let's just can I just use these? Do I have enough? Oh, yeah, I should do. Ah, oh, if I can get up. Oh, there's a nasty thing there. Didn't see him. Uh, where do we come in? Uh, maybe from over here? Is that one one of the nasty ones as well? Yes. Ah. Yeah, yeah, I know game. What do you want me to do about it, game? I'm trapped by nasty beasts. Just go like that. Whoop. Maybe we can get above the gas, or maybe not. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Um, I need some fresh ideas and some food. Hmm, have a little think here. Can I get a foundation up there? Yes. And then... Uh, no, I can get that cyclist, I think, if I'm quick. Oh, oh, there's an ah, there's a nasty up there. I really want that slug. Hmm. Like. All right, one last try. I got a lot of these nuts on me, so if I run and eat, and then uh, and then. Oh gosh. This semi slug seems to emit potential. Oh wow, did it. What did we get? A yellow one? Oh we did. I don't need you need to ever go back up there again, so I'll tear this down. And I like all these resources. They're too useful. Okay, I think we can go back. I'm I'm pretty sure we can unlock coal power and find the best coal deposits in the area. And bam. Unless there's a very easy to find. Where are we? Oh man, we used a lot of food doing that. This is a very easy to find deposit nearby. And I don't count the top of that as easy to find game. Thank you very much. Nothing over here. There is. A, this is where the yeah. This is where the little cave is, and I think there's an easy one right here. Yeah. Secret little. Is it in here? No, not here. Ah, damn. Come on. Almost. Yeah, the spawn locations randomise. There's about three or four different spots you tend to come down in, and they're quite. Where are you? They're quite close-ish together, but not super close. Um, yeah, the maps are really big. So the map is like five by five kilometers, and it doesn't sound like a lot. Ah, but in this game it really is. It feels massive. And you would need an epic, epic account, yeah. And it, I have found the epic launcher to be a lot better than I was worried about it. I thought it might be... Um, like some origin and that used to be really terrible but it's been pretty lightweight i think you can just about run the game without even needing the epic launcher up although don't quote me on that where are you slug oh uh, up there is it worth it it's probably worth it i think i can do it All right. And the nice thing with the Epic Launcher is it just uh, allows really easy game joining. So once you've got a couple of people playing, if they've got a public game like this one is, they just go to their satisfactory, hit join, they see you among the list of players or people playing, and they just hit join. Really, it's, that part's been really nice, really easy to use. And if you follow the link in the description below, then you, you give me like a dollar, which is which is cool, I guess. Oh, a green power slug. Hello. Oh no, don't fall off the entire world. Alright, time to go back. Finish off our coal production. Hang on one second.
Right. So over here is where we're building our main bus for the multiplayer series. And I'm going to be streaming for about another hour, hour and a half. Which is a pretty full on day of streaming. So we're currently at about $100 raised for the Victim Support New Zealand, which is awesome. Um, thank you very much to everyone who donated. And if you do want to donate more, you can super chat me and I will send it through and I'll... Oh gosh, these guys. I'll probably be able to, at this rate, take uh, and pay for YouTube's cut. Because they take a bit of a cut of the super chats. Or you can go to the link in the description below and you can uh, just donate directly to Victim Support. And if you are new to Satisfactory, then you can check out the description for, uh, well, not the description, you can check out my channel for for links to the game and, um, okay, modular frame, cool. Industrial beams, nice, lying around from this wreck. And also for uh, tips videos, I've been putting out tips videos for the game. Uh, what do I want to get rid of? This wreck's are always quite useful, potentially. What does this one require to open? 21 rotors. Well, we've got another job for rotors right now. But when I come back, I think I will be able to help it out. Well, I mean, it, yeah, I mean, sure. The Monopoly issue, I don't know. In the end, there's a, there's a business market and there's a consumer market. And um, Valve is competing for developers. But for a long time, Valve have done, you know, basically nothing for developers. I mean, they provide a platform, but they take 30% and they are... Aha, that's what I want, a sluggy. They take 30% and they are really not great for supporting mid-tier developers. So if you're brand new and you're like putting out your game and you're paying your 100 bucks to put it on Steam and maybe you sell a few thousand copies, brilliant, that's great. But if you're at coffee stain size and you're trying to be, you know, you're not, you're not necessarily a triple A game um, with a big publisher backing. You're kind of a, a double A game, like the batteries. Then there really isn't much use to Steam. They will bury you amongst all the new releases that are like people's pet projects that they spent, you know, an afternoon on. They'll bury you there, while also taking thirty percent. Um, they barely moderate the, some of the communities, and some of the communities on Steam have been awful to developers. There was a game I was following for a while called Card Hunter. I was following? Was I? I'm trying to remember. Uh, if it was Card Hunter. Uh, this is what we... Oh, no, we want... I want to... This one I need to power, and it will give me stuff if I power it. See? It needs power. So I need to come back with some stuff. Unless I have... No, I don't have it. So, yes... Uh, Developers have had a pretty hard time with a Steam, basically. It just basically being a bit, Valve being a bit lazy, taking for granted the money that they've earned. And for a while there, Valve was the most, and there's one of those summer slops, but we can't do anything with them, so I'm just going to leave it there. Valve was the most profitable company per staff, per employee in the world, or at least in the United States. It was like, this was the last time anyone had numbers. They were making like $350,000 per employee. And that's not just the programmers. I think that was possibly profit. I don't think that was net. That was just like insane, right? That's a that's a lot of money. And they um, kind of haven't ever done a lot to, to earn that in many ways. Not for a long time. So Epic comes along and says, we'll only take 12% instead of 30. Um, I think even without... Even without the concern about the cut, people were confident in their games to want to use it. Yeah, I mean, sure, it can be a bit like the console stuff, but on the other hand, um, you know, the, I'm just going to drop that in there. On the other hand, it's just, you know, we, we are soft, you know, PC gamers are software gamers. We should be able to handle a little bit of um, interesting challenge in having an extra client installed. Uh, where are we at? I'm going to have to babysit these a little bit, which is annoying. Is that enough? 
Yes, for now. Do I need to drop anything else here? No. Oh, I guess. I mean, I don't... I don't particularly begrudge them. Uh, I've heard about the kind of numbers that Epic has been throwing around for its uh, exclusives, and like you would you would be an absolute nutcase to refuse the money that they're throwing around it's I, I mean i don't know the case with um with this game but i have heard from other people what's been going on with other developers who basically had like their entire development costs funded did i pull that out i did had their entire development costs funded by the studio or by epic which is very hard to resist, I suspect. Okay, we'll give you this one as well. Right, that's two fully 250% overclocked power productionizers, which is good. Did we get... No, we didn't. Uh, do I have anything to chuck it in there? You? No? Oh, yes, you actually do have some fuel for me. And why hasn't it got all the way through to here and made anything yet? Okay. Uh, you're out, aren't you? Is that enough? I've got to wait for all the other systems to hit, which they may not hit in the same pace. Personal storage. I need one more of these over here. I'll just put it here. And what do I want to get rid of? These things that I don't quite need. The concrete can be thrown away. Alright, rotors. Oh, finally. Okay, so we have rotors downstairs and I think we have some junk upstairs as well. Go grab it. Well, I'd be curious, I mean, I'm not really an expert, but I have a feeling that, Tank, that you can actually um, use the... Aha! There we go. That you can actually use the uh, game without the um, being particularly locked. You can use the like a Discord, or you can even link the game to Steam to do your launching, but I don't know how much that actually kicks uh, Steam up, or kicks uh, Epic up into the middle of the game, or not. But if, it, if, it, if Epic starts, if the Epic launcher starts anyway, if you're using the Steam launcher, so on and so forth. Um, okay. Coal power. We've got tons of cable, and we've got tons of rotors, so we can do that one. All right, rotors, uh, cable, bam. Milestone reached. Long range transportation, as well as the construction of outposts, Yay. is now encouraged. <laughs> An increased focus on the explore and exploit pillar is recommended. <laughs> Coal is 125% more efficient than biomass and can be automated. Yeah, lots of stuff to mess with now. Logistics Mark Three, just go straight to Mark Three belts. What do they even take? Way too much resources, I imagine. I want Logistics Mark Two. That's definitely next. Um, drop those off. Aren't needed. Drop uh, rotors. No, I was going to. There was some. There was that device which needed rotors. Do I have enough? Ca I don't have enough cable. Why don't, I don't have enough cable because I haven't got enough cable. I should go get some more cable. And then I'll be able to go open those two devices because I really want those hard drives. They seem cool. Boingy. Clunk. So wire is here. Yeah, not the same as having one launcher. Yeah, I hear you. It's not super ideal. Uh, this is a bit 
bit like dirty gross, but we're going to do it anyway. Just a quick way back to the factory. Alright, now there were those junky piles over here somewhere. Where are you? I want to get, I want to unlock you. There's one. This one was the power one. So, we need 40 megawatts. Like, one, two, that to that, that to that, that to that. And now let's take that leaves. Oh, okay, hang on. Oh, okay, wood in that one. Uh, leaves in that one. Turn it on. Powered. <laughs> cool. Operational. Ah, oh, this is sweet. Ooh, a hard drive. Ooh, cool. So those hard drives will give us cool unlocks like alternative recipes, which I think is just a fantastic idea, actually, in general. Such a cool idea. So some of them make, can make, uh, like, wire plus plate makes reinforced plate, which just saves you a lot of hassle with other constructors. One independent launcher, I mean, that would come down to if it's worth anyone's money, right? I doubt that Steam would do that. And the other launchers, who knows? I mean, it's possible that someone could build a launcher where you're not, um, like, required to... Like, you're just faking the background that it's connecting to Epic, or you're just doing the very basic check. All right. Where is the thing I'm looking for? The other wreck is over here somewhere. Where are you, other wreck? Ah, there you are. And this one just takes rotors. Unfortunately, I think it's going to eat all the rotors, which is a shame, but the hard drives are too awesome to leave behind. And I need to eat stuff before I get didded. Alright, come here. Rotors. Oh, it just needs them in my inventory. That's even better. Oh no, did it take some? Maybe it did. Okay, cool. Two hard drives. Done. And some wire. Nothing else? Alright, it's time to find coal. I'd rather it a bit closer to the base, but... Oh, wow. Where the heck is it? A thousand meters that way. Holy heck. Okay. Just grab all of this. We're still going to need to power the base with grass for a little bit longer. Really, though, I should just pull the chainsaw out. A bit easier. It'll clear everything in the area. Oh, I don't have any fuel for it. Oh, I've got a little bit of fuel for it. There's still some in there. Ah! Alright, that'll do. So, coal, where are you? A thousand meters away still? 800 meters away? Oh. Heat sinks. Oh, 800 meters away. Oh, man. That's so far. What I'm going to do is set up the production of the power out there, and I'm just going to pipe it back rather than try and convey it everywhere. Because I think that would just be just disgusting. Take whatever rotors are down here. No, take all. Okay, did I get it all? I did. Yeah, there is a little bit of clipping, but it's not too bad, Tank. So, um, it's the usual engine stuff where things sometimes refuse to clip to other things and all that stuff. It's not the end of the world, though. Uh, we're still waiting for the pod to come back. What a shame. So, do, I feel like I need to go in here for some reason. No, 20 seconds. Oh, hard drive's coming up next. 
Um, okay, coal. What I need to do is like maybe like four of these and maybe two of these. So that's like one, two of those. Everything, everything else I've got except for modular frames, which oh, I can put this stuff away. Uh, grass goes in there, and wood goes in there. Sort. Okay. There must be some fuel produced, so I can take that out and find the low-powered places. You need fuel, and you need fuel, and that should be enough to keep things ticking for a little bit longer. Alright, good. Do I have any other bars to drop? No. Awesome. 24 seconds. Alright, power slug. Choose a new specimen. Hard drive. The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into two power shards that function with current fixit technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 2. Okay, modular frames. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, we're unlikely to find any more blooming wonderful yellow slugs anytime soon, considering how hard it was to find them last time. So, what I really want to do now is run all the way with my power line to the coal facility, which will make life a bit easier. Yeah, how far? Wire is too long. Okay, okay. And then coal... Ah! Coal production shouldn't be too hard. Right, let's get up here so I can just put it on top of this hill. It'll look neat. Where? Oh, no, no, tell me it's the top of that cliff. I will be pretty salty if it is, I must admit. Okay. So, I shall just take those down so they're not needed. So I would actually, yeah, I, I would like to have um, enemies as a sort of threat. I think it would be kind of interesting. I don't think it needs to be straight away, but I hope that they consider adding it in due course. I mean, there's lots of room to take this game. There's lots more maps they could make. Um, where's the power line? Oh, God. I know what I'll do. I'll put this one here. Yeah, it'd be cool to have uh, not only more tech and tiers to unlock, but also enemies to kind of have to hold off and the def defenses to do that. I mean, that's kind of a a part of Factorio I've always quite enjoyed. I'm not massively into like dealing with hordes of um, bad dudes, but dealing with them now and then is pretty fun. Alright. Where is it? Really? Oh my god. Ah, okay, so I know how to get up to some of that. Right, I can come around this way. There is a slug up there at least, I guess. If I come up here, put a power pylon down. 
Oh, this is just gonna kill me. Figuratively and literally. Alright, one. Okay, so. Are you really telling me it's up there? Oh, you trolls, you really are. Okay. definitely have enough materials this time, so that's good news at least. Alright, we're going up. The 5x5 five five challenge will not be defeated by coal on the top of mountains. i got to get the power pole up here too, so I can't forget that. Long enough? Good. Oh, so far. This is ridiculous. And I've accidentally constructed a ramp over there. We'll pull that down. We don't want to litter. We just don't exploit this planet for all of its natural resources. I think one of the things the developers have thought is to go for that kind of more gentle... Uh, approach to um, the world in the same way that Subnautica does, right? It doesn't have an explicitly aggressive alien species. I mean, there's the there's the creatures and fish that are nasty, but they they can be avoided, and they're kind of natural part of the world. They're not just random alien aggressor that doesn't really make any sense. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna like fit this in perfectly, aren't I? Just about or close enough. Oh, why didn't I bring a power sh parachute? Oh, uh... Mm, five. If only I'd brought a parachute, that would have been really sensible. And then I could just jump off and make it all the way down. What do I need to do here? I'm going to put this in just to try and stop me from sliding off the world. Alright, we're up. Oh, we've got berries. This consumable possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. Coal. There better be enough room up here for everything that I need for the coal generators and stuff. More coal. Strange plants. Oh, there's a lake all the way up here. I guess this is just the top of, the, of another biome. Okay, let me see what I can do with the miner. There's one. What I haven't checked for is, did I bring enough plate? Not quite. Are uh, you? Okay, I can sort you out, pal. Ha. And more coal. Was there an easier way to get up here? I'm left with that question. I don't think there was. Oh, and... I could have sworn I heard a slug. And I bet you it's up there, though. I don't really feel like climbing up there right now. So I'm going to get these other berries in case we see a uh, lizard doggo again. Wow. 
What is happening over here? It's very grey and dark. Oh. A cave? Oh, I don't know if I like this. Oh, but I do like that. Oh, spiders. Oh, no, no, no. Just don't, don't. Oh, those things. Oh, I hate them so much. Oh, a yellow one too. Cool. I'm going to be able to overpower my coal production while I'm here. If I can figure out how to get out. Ah. Uh, okay, they're all dead. Up here? Ah, I better be able to get out. Yep. 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 Okay, cool. Oh, brilliant. Whew. Okay, so eat these eat these flowers. And set up coal, I think. I should get the production going because the whole factory is going to need it and I'm just waiting around otherwise. Right, but where is the... Ah, there you are. I better not stand near the edge of the map or you will punch me off. All right. Got your stuff. Got your bits. Thank you. Oh, keep away from those guys. They're weird gas. Oh, there's another one. Oh, 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 what's that? Oh, another one of these guys. Yuck. Oh, stand still. No, stay away. Ah, uh, where is it? Is it going to chase me? No, I got away from him. Ooh, strange mushrooms. Are they flower? These are flower petals? Okay. Oh, what was that? Oh, gas. Okay. Wow. That was a little nightmarish. Right, let's go sort this power situation out. I'm not sure how many of you are watching right now. Hopefully, someone. And uh, if you don't know what this is, this is Satisfactory. It's a game like Factorio of building factories and exploring. More exploring than in, Satisfact in Factorio. Oh, here's a lizard doggo. We can have a pet. Come on, lizard doggo. I've got treats for you. Okay, look here. I'm going to give you a treat. I'm going to drop it for you. All right. He's running away. Ah. Nah, he's gone. Don't know where he is. And there's too many of these nasty plants around. No, don't get stuck. Oh, wow. This is really a crazy high lake. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. I think we've gone all the way around the lake. We should be close to home again. And there's a weird floating rock. Limestone. Sure. Hello there, Funky Rude. So if anyone's new to the stream, then what I'm raising money for is the Victim Support U uh, victim support New Zealand charity they are supporting the victims of the Christchurch mosque attacks and uh, they've got a bunch of money they've already raised on give a little which is like New Zealand's GoFundMe oh gosh I need to eat but I'm looking to raise a bit more oh my gosh just gonna run where the heck is home that way, really? 
Where am I? I feel like I came up over here. Uh, flower petals, it's gonna ditch. Oh, I should. Oh, I know what I can do. I can ping for the coal. What? Really? Ah, get out of here, beasts. Okay, I can see it being this way, maybe. This is a really cool spot. This is such a big game. Is it really this way? Oh, it must be. Oh, there's another container thing to open. What have we got for us here? We got a bit of wreckage. Ooh, motors, bolts, reinforced iron plates, more cable. Ah, that might have been the first lake that I saw. 50 megawatts. Uh, can I put down three of these? Well, apparently I can. Well, I know it's out of power, guy. One. Uh, two. And three. Cool, another hard drive. Open the door. Okay, hi open the door. Yay. Awesome. That's, that's very cool. Now, I'm really looking forward to seeing what recipes these give. But first of all, where the heck's home? Ah, uh, I should be over this way. I should have put a beacon down. In fact, I might do that anyway. I can put a beacon down so that if I'm ever anywhere else in the world, I know where the coal is. I just can't get over how big so much of this game is. Bonk. Coal. Alright, type. Coal. Wow. It's just it's just so cool. I just love how dramatic this place is. I need generators. So these are massive things. And I'm just gonna stack them up here. And that should do the trick, really. Uh, I've got two of them, so let's get a splitter down. I'm pretty sure that it will handle more. But I'm going to need to kickstart things as well, so... Ah, uh, don't tell me I can't afford things. Uh, production, craft bench. I can orientate orientate myself by the by the um, by the uh, space elevator, but I'm worried that I got a bit far around the wrong way, like around too far around the corner, and I wouldn't be able to find the right way back. But in the end, the cold did it for me. And where was my up spot? Come on, where are you? Up spot. Was it like over here? It was. Bam. 
So now the trick is to get a bit of coal in there to give it a kickstart. Otherwise it just not isn't going to be able to keep up. Because the factory itself requires so much power that I'm going to have to go through and put two or three handfuls of coal into everything. Just to get it going. Alright, that's that. Turn off my torch. Um, do I have enough to go there? Oh, just enough. So... And that... Is that going to do it? I don't think it is. Ah! Like, I can get another 50 megawatts out, but I don't have the plate to, to help it along. See, look at that. 210 megawatts already. And if I put my craft bench down... Oh, you trolls. I need this to put my craft bench down. That's critical failure, tiny pirate. I can at least make... Uh, I, kn I know how to do that, I thought. Ah, I don't. I have to take it back. Take the power slug back. So, why have... Oh, we have got some coal coming out. Okay. Nom, 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 nom. So, I mean, clearly I'm just going to have to come back at some point. So the whole place is going to shut down in a second as soon as I leave, which is a bit of a shame, but, yeah, never mind. Okay, phew, that's kind of that job-ish done-ish. And I have a few resources to take back with me. Yeah. They do burn fuel slow, and that's pure as well. That's pure uh, ore. <laughs> we're almost, I think we're at the edge of the map there. Some of that's background map. Oh, look how high up we are. So cool. The base over there is looking pretty cool as well. Now, with that much generation up top, the whole of the power production should be a lot easier. Well, kind of want to smooth this little out as well so I don't fall off the world. There we go. Can I just run along this ramp? Yeah, I think I'll build down from up here. It's nice and cozy up here. And kind of adorable. And quiet. <laughs> All right. And eight. Oh, uh, oh, jeez. Oh, this is the part that's actually really hard. It's hard to build up or build down. Actually not doing too bad here, I'm kind of surprised. Come on, five. Yeah. The clipping or the attaching attachment points work really well for this game. Much better than you sort of normally used to. You don't have to jiggle things around quite as much. We'll go check it out ourselves. So I can now build the vehicle in the truck station. However, there isn't really a great deal of a need to. Except to go through that cave which was full of poisonous gas.
But I only wanted to go in there so I could stop. And I don't really want to stop in there either. Yeah, that's the coal out. That's okay, we can sort that out. There should be enough biomass here sitting around now. Or biofuel. Yeah. And we're not really going to need that anymore, so... But we will be able to top up this. Put that in. Uh, put the wood in. And top up the generators. They will burn very, very slowly now with the backup they have. A hundred... Okay, so what I do want to do is take these out. Because I want to take them to the coal generators. It's just more efficient to do that. Okay. So. That is done. Let's look at Logistics Mark 2 and take some plate upstairs. So for this we need 100 cable. A bunch of this stuff. Uh, where are we? And I th I'm pretty sure I left some in here. Uh, yes. Um, 100 cable. And some rotors. Which I don't have enough of. And some more wire. Right, that's all doable. What is it telling us here? Oh, the blueprints. Alternative screw blueprint. <coughs> this is a big decision to make here. What do we got? Uh, just use... That's pretty cool. Yeah, I could see where that would be useful. The first one, making screws cheaply. Iron and copper? No, that's not useful. Iron and screws? That's not useful. That one is super useful. And I got on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. All right. So, uh, what do I need? I need to drop this off. I need to drop this off too. I'm unsure why it won't let us make with the uh, with the stuff that we've got. It's kind of annoying. So we need to go get the rotors. Is this stuff moving? Some of it is. Some of it's backed up. Fair enough. We need to go get wire. Alright. Uh, take all... Um... Grab the reinforced plate from upstairs. And then we should be able to make things a lot quicker because we'll be up, able to upgrade the belts to Mark II, the ones that are dealing with bolts and screws. I'll take some of that with me. And there should be a backup of plate somewhere. I'll take some of that. And finally, on the top floor. Yeah, I definitely need plate. Okay, and take all of uh, take all of that. Uh, we'll just oh, took a tiny bit. Big fishies there. Oh, and I didn't get the I uh, didn't get the rotors, not the rotors, the cable. All right, cable. Can I fit a storage container here? I can. Good. Good, 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 because I really want more cable. Alright, let's get this unlock. And then I feel like I really need to go back and sort out that coal generator situation. Uh 
rotors, um, you can have that, and rotors are there, we've got heaps of them. Hooray! We encourage you to consider more vertical. More vertical. Oh, please, no. To streamline short range transportation. So, conveyor belt mark two. Oh, well, at least I can do that. That's going to be really cool. I think I'm vertical enough, Ada. Thank you very much. All right. So, we've got the upgraded belt. So, let's find places where we are using... Oh, we're using screws. Here we go. There we go. Much faster. Now, it'll spit out plate a lot quicker. In fact, it's not been the plate that's a problem. It's been backed up a little here. Um, what's going on here? Why do I have two of these? We'll just connect these up properly. Alright. Okay, that's fine. Take all. Cool. So screws are flowing. The pipes are a little slow, but that's okay. Yeah, stack stack pipes will do. Our stack belts will definitely help. Um, for now. What am I trying to do? What is this thing making? Reinforced plate. So it definitely needs the upgrade. Good. Oh, take all. Okay, fine. And the top floor. Fine. And bam. Upgraded. Alright, that's brilliant. I want to be able to get down safely, but I can't. So I will just jump. Out. And eat berries and stuff. Ah, yes, I know. You need more power. I'm going. I'm going. It's alright, game. Don't worry. I will sort this problem out for you. And up we go. So if you haven't subscribed already, that would be cool. Please do so. Um, if you're new to Satisfactory, then there is a bunch of... Uh, there's a tips video in the description or in my channel. Sorry, in my channel list of videos. It's relatively new. And if you're kind of interested in more Satisfactory, then I will be covering it quite a bit on the channel, I expect, because I enjoy it quite a lot. Now, do I have enough concrete? Look, I'm actually out of concrete. We've done so much building crazy and this is a charity stream for the vic no oh god where am i for the victims of the christchurch uh, mosque attacks so a whole bunch of people died as i think everyone knows but there's also a lot of people still in hospital and their families as well who you know families of victims who are dealing with a lot right now so there's a charity in new zealand called victim support and um they have a, a charity page running on our website called Give a Little. You can either donate directly there if you're interested, and the link is in the description. And uh, alternately, you can just drop me a super chat and I'll say thank you as well. And then you'll be able to look at that beautiful slug over there. And then you'll be able to uh, enjoy donating that way too. So I've raised about $100 so far, which is, which is awesome. Thank you very much. And I'll be punching that through to the uh, there we go. Where are we going? Uh, I'll be punching that through to the um, give a little page some point at some point soon. But I suspect that my kid will be home soon, uh, and it's about time I should uh, spend time with him. Although he would love to watch this endlessly, I am sure. But I don't want him to be sitting here too long. Uh, did we power this? No, we did not. Alright, 
that's all powered. All I need to do is just give it a ton of coal. And... Yep. Something like that. That'll, that'll be a good start. And also, I need to put the power slugs in here, because they're going to give it so much more power capacity. So it's going to go from 50 megawatts to... Uh, what is it? Like... 101 megawatts. That's awesome. There's a bit of tax on it because the uh, power slugs themselves are supposed to consume power, and they would in a normal factory. There you go. 101 megawatts there. And put that in. Put that in and turn everything on. And look at that. 300 megawatts. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. Yeah, that's looking awesome. I'm really just waiting for the pod to get back now. In theory, I could even take more generators up here, I suspect, but I don't know if I want to be fiddling around with them right now. Can I put one down? No, I don't have the bits and bobs I need. That's fine. It'll be a long time before we're over 300 megawatts of usage. Now the long run back. Hopefully we get there and the pod will be back and we can do the next unlock. It's so far. I do not have... I should have brought some more concrete to build across to get that slug. Alright, is it this way? Which way? Yeah. Oh. Not far. Oh, I actually see another power slug up there. And possibly some other things over there. But really, all I want to use them for is just probably powering, powering the generators, which I've got plenty of. Arguably powering the um, some of the factories, but they're producing okay for me right now. Alright, it's looking pretty cool. I have some leaves and junk, but I'm just going to dump them. Oh, here comes the drone. Cool. I'll just dump like, the leaves in this generator. It doesn't matter too much if it doesn't use it efficiently. And dump that. 320 megawatts generation. That's awesome. Okay, so. What do we get? Alternate... Uh, oh, I should have checked what I already had. Alternate wire. Huh. Alternate ingot? No. Alternate iron plate. Hmm. Hmm, I'm thinking. I definitely don't need that. Like, that sounds like a pain. How would you even put that into a factory? Maybe the Smelter Mark IIs. Yeah, the Smelter Mark IIs would be able to do that for you. I wonder if that's just a, if there's a speed increase as well. 30 wire for a stitched iron, a stitched iron plate. Does it mean reinforced? I'll take that because I'm not sure what it is. All right, and we should... Do we have any other hard drives? No. Alien carapaces or just pale berries or something. I think you should edit first. Editing is really important, I think, for a good let's play. Oh, yellow shards. All right, fair enough. Uh, we'll put that in. Put those in. And we're short on other stuff. Okay, let's have a look. Got that part sorted. Iron plate. Um. Huh. Oh, we've got another hard drive as well. Got to remember that. Yeah, they're not awesome. The alternatives aren't meant to be super unbalancing. I guess they're just supposed to be a, like, a bit of help. 
take that fuel. So, where is all my plate? Oh, I've got to fix up this wall. Oh, I don't have enough plate. <laughs> Duh. Hence, I'm going to look for it. We. That's one way to get it. All right. Is there any other plate floating around? No. Oh. So I'll fix this wall first. I get some. Oh, concrete as well. Oh, okay. Now, do I have enough to go? No, I'm just very short. Hmm. Now, there's a lot of banked up iron here going downstairs. Is there room for a. like a plate manufacturer down here. Uh, these are just making iron rods, iron rods and nails to make stuff. Um, fabric, reinforced iron. Yeah. However, hmm, this feels like it's backed up, which means I could definitely... Come on, game. Will you clip it on there? Thank you. I saw a little gap. Yes, it will fit. So. And there is a, a box here taking mergers. Okay, I can possibly even jam it in the same box. Construct a... Oh, uh, turn the factory around the right way. Where are you, Papo? Make me plate. And will you be able to go behind this wall. Yes, which means you can go here, which means you can go here. Wow, that is that is rough. That is rough, but I'll take it. Is it going to slow things down? It doesn't look like it. I mean, the back pressure might ease off a bit, but it's two ingots per four seconds. I don't know. Only problem is I can't get out of my own base. Bit of, a, bit of an issue. I'll put a door in. Okay, cool. So we need 140 odd. I should try and figure out how to fix up these rather horrible um, belt arrangements, but I'm not sure how easy it would be. And actually, I want to check out those alternate recipes again. Oh, can't go through there. So, if I've got my sim, a craft bench. So let's have a look what we've got. So iron rods, it wasn't so much that. Iron plate. How do I get to the other recipes? Uh, that's a little annoying. Like, how do I get to the other recipes? Like, it's not here, is it? That's confusing. Hundred and sixty-eight. 
140. Yeah, we're okay. We can go back. So now I'm very confused. How do we get to those alternate recipes? If anyone knows, let me know. And if anyone would like to donate, coming up to the towards the last chance to do so. Uh, that and that. Yellow shards. Hooray! I will take that yellow shard and I will make power shards. Cool. Wire cable. Nope, I don't know. Paleodictiop red berries or pale berries can be added to the object scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in hub tier one. Hmm. This medical inhaler is a bit annoying actually. It takes a lot of resources to make, a lot of different resources we don't necessarily have. Steel production, melee combat or logistics mark three. Well, steel, steel production is required to make these, so it's going to have to be that when it comes back. Only available in Mark II equipment? Oh, you could be right about that. That's a good point. Get rid of the mesosphere, keep that. We've got a lot of rotors, which is nice. Uh, modular frames are probably next, and one of the factories should be making them. How do I make them again? Oh, reinforced plate and bolts. Uh, that feels like I need to be unlocking, uh, grabbing more concrete. Oh, whoops. No, I don't want that. Why? Okay, that's happy. That's no, concrete I want. Might have to go up another level. I don't exactly have a lot of plate on me. I've, I've definitely been using it all. I'm going to tidy up the look of this place, put in some proper walls. And go down and get my stored plate. Bounce and up and here. Now, are there no other recipes? Nope. Hmm, that's just very odd. Okay, fine. Basement's done. Actually, I need to use a jump bed to get to three. Yeah, I'm still a bit... Yeah, I'm... St oh, no, no. That wasn't high enough. I'm still a bit worried about getting up to the... Uh, like, stacking the, the belts. Two stack belts spiral up and down. Yeah. I should get over my fear and get on with it. But what I will do first is... Set up the top floor that we now need. Three, four, and five. So this is a five by five challenge. I'm not allowed to take the floor up any further than, or any wider than five by five. Boat can't see.
All right, that's done that. And connect it all up a bit, make it look a little less hokey. And it's kind of stuck at that. Yeah, I could test it. That's a good idea. I also want a better way of getting up here, which I'll have to do with uh, like a, a side ramp here, I think. But I don't think I've got enough of the resources I really need. So where's the floor? Yeah, and then I want the zero down a little bit. And one more. I can at least make it to here. Now I go downstairs and get one more plate. Right. Alright, back upstairs, finish off that little walkway. Another T. Now a big giant horrible slug thing. Kind of weird looking. It kind of disgustingly works. Oh, maybe if I just did it this way slightly. Hang on. And then I don't know, would it let me? No. But what I can at least. What? No concrete? Ah. Now, if I was clever, what I would do is... T-junction here and go... Ah, uh, whoops, up the, up the cliff again. <coughs> Alright. T. Oh, this junction. All right. So there's the top floor. Still horribly short on metals and stuff. the bottom floor and here we go okay cool take that so with the I could probably go and do the steel production just to get that clear and then I'll get the bits I need to try the rotating spiraling um, belts but yeah I'm, I don't know where those alternate recipes are supposed to crop up are they not listed? You just have to remember them and it just punches them into the... You can just punch stuff into things and they work. Mm, not there. Can you just shove the factory full of the right goods and it, it's happy? I don't know. Ah, uh, sort. More cable. Yeah. More cable. And the modular frames require... Oh, we've got quite a few of those. And you go there. Where's wire? Wire. You go there and... Bam. 
done. Milestone reached. Steel production unlocked. Foundry and improved miner included to ensure mm. efficiency of new pipelines. A collection of new, more complex parts is now available for crafting. All right. So I don't really need to upgrade to that, that yet. The foundry. Oh, cool. And another donation. $20 from my buddy Adrian. Thank you very much. So like $120 or so now. That's great. So I don't really need to smell ingots yet or smell alloys. I'm confused about the second tier. I think the alternate recipes are in. Now, what does that require? A lot of plate. Which we're quite short on. Anything else in here to worry about? Not so much. Vehicles, no. Concrete, I do need to grab all I can. And it's about time I did something proper with this, because this is just so ghetto and bad. I should feel bad for just being a miserable uh, lazy boy and not fixing up my concrete production a long time ago. So, we'll do that right now because like it's a good idea so uh constructor constructor uh where are we merger merge 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 merging green arrow this way uh yep this way around this way around and another container uh, where are we? Logistics organization. Yep. Yeah. Now, where was their power? Power here. And up to that. And you make concrete. And you know what? I'll give you a hand. I'll load you up. And you make concrete too. That way we're never going to run out ever again give you a hand as well. Do I want to power shard you? No, I don't really see the point. And a splitter. Alright, phew. That's better. Didn't take too long once you thought about it. I am quite confused about where the alternate recipes show up. I'm just going to ask people in Discord where do the alternate recipes turn up? Bam. I wonder if some of them are in, uh, some of them are in the constructor. I don't think they are. We. No, I'm, I'm really convinced they're not. Hmm, steel beams and steel pipes, okay. No, it doesn't seem right. No. Wow, that's, that's a ton of that stuff. Hmm. Confusing. So, I want to get this plate, and then once I've got the bunch of spear plate, we're going to try and mess with the spiraling stuff. Yep. Okay. Phew. Right. So, if we come out here, which one would be the most likely to work with the easiest would probably be this one and now my inventory is going to be chock full of junk all right I'll just tear this down so let me have a little look see here conveyor pole ah I've got to I've got to use foundations I think that's acceptable in this situation As long as I stay within the boundaries of the factory piece, that feels all right. Wow, 
that. What, what clearance is it not like? What? What? That makes no sense. Uh, that makes no sense to me. What's going on? Yeah, that's... Hmm. So the 5x5 five five challenge is going to struggle if I can't put down uh, stuff on the ground. Got a little swimming hole here. What does it think is blocking it? Does it think this is blocking it? I think it does. No, that can't be right. Hmm. Ah, well. Well, that's annoying. What can we do? We need to go in here. I mean, I could just try stacking here to see what happens. So how is that going to work? Um, ah, it does actually. That one does work. Hmm. There is something in the water, Haze. Oh, you mean build something in the water? I don't think so. Oh, I, I've done... I can do that. Which is kind of cute. That doesn't seem quite right. Hmm. Oh, I know. Maybe if I went this way. Just trying to think here. I haven't done this before, so it's a little bit of a... It's just messing with my head a little bit. It's too steep. Huh. Yeah, I need two of them. Oh, I think... Yeah, I think I get what you mean. Like, side by side kind of thing. <coughs> if anyone wants to chuck a link to it, to a, a picture of one, it'll help the spirals. Two poles side by side. Yeah. Nice one, mind. I've got these alternate recipes, and I don't know if they actually exist, which is, like, I don't know if the game has them in them. So I'm busy trying to decide what do I do with my factory. Do I reconfigure it? Do I... I, I can't find them, so I think I just leave them. But I do have my own paddling pool now, so that's always nice, isn't it? So if it's like that... No, that's not right, is it? Oh, let me have a look. I have to Google it now. No. Alright. Uh, spiral Satisfactory. Game. 
Where are you, Spirals? Not enough. Ah. What about on Reddit? I probably don't have very long left, unfortunately. So, yeah, if you're going to donate, now would be a good time. And you can do that through just the uh, button on the interface. The um, tipping, whatever the heck it's called. Or you can... Uh, have a look. Or you can go to the charity in the link in the description below. They're a great charity. Spiral. Ah, not called a sp not as in there is a spiral. So the problem with this is that. All right, let's take it a piece at a time. So this one can. Wow, these are too close together or something. might have reached the limits of what my brain can do today. Why won't you go down? Hmm. Too close to each other still, right? They're just about enough to separation, but not quite. It's almost like they need to be about a foundation apart. Yeah. I'll try that. They probably will clip through this structure, to be honest, knowing the way this game works right now. Oh, one of them actually was willing to do that. That's kind of funny. So, if... Which way around do I want these things to go? Like, this way around? Like... Like this? Like... Whoops. Oh, that one's actually not even gone down. So now there is also room for one to come down like this. But I gotta figure out the getting into the factory, I gotta getting onto the belt part. No, 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 this way around. Oh wow, that actually kind of works, except I haven't got the upright, upstart. 
plot, right? Uh, okay, so from the second floor. Ah. Okay, so these ones are kind of actually working. Okay, so this one here needs to go down to there. Actually, that works. That actually works. Like, not disgust. It's disgusting, but it works. That is surprising to me. Ha ha ha! Look at that. Wow, I'm impressed. And now I've just got to do that, like, again. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sure it's going to be a lot easier the second time, the second time round. Oh my goodness, there's so much of this. All right, let's get this one done. That is a real pain in the neck. I mean, it's a good pain. Like, it's a real thing you've got to learn. Or it feels like it's a real... Oh, whoops. Uh, I hope I didn't tear down the wrong part of the base. No, it seems happy enough. Am I going to be able to put a floor in here? Mm, no. Better than the giant platform hanging off the side. I absolutely agree. Like, I don't, I don't like the giant platform, just had to do it, for reasons. I still have this little walkway, which I'm okay with. I wonder if I can just run, like, yeah, I reckon I can. Like, this is stackable, right? So I could just keep going up. And just put another one over to the other, well, to the other side. And... Has that got stuff on it? Um... No, I feel like I need to put a walkway in now. Uh, at least something in here so I can get back upstairs again. Uh, where are you? Also want to be able to keep going up there, so we'll make it a T junction. There's that damn weird thing in the river again. I don't know what it is, but it's nasty. Uh, okay, so we'll go out around a little bit. Oh, this is going to be a bit hokey, but what is? And a little... that one. Okay, cool. And remind me to fill in these gaps, because factories shouldn't have giant holes in the side of them, right? And I do actually have enough plate now to do that, so that's good. I'm not going to fill too much in over here because I, I use jump pads to get in. Except for here. And like that. I do like how far away you can build. It's cool. Yeah, we're still good. All right, cool. So let's go and uh, what was I going to do here? I'm not sure. It was these two. It was these two. Cool. 
So if I was like super smart, I would put potentially like another whole uh, base plate here. Just going all the way up. That needs these these perpendicular ones kind of need to go. And then you would, how far up can you go? Um, not far enough. Okay, yeah. Ah, okay, we've got to move this one over. It really is pretty precise. You've got to be at least... And I'm just shy of one foundation away. Oh. Oh. I think you're right. They do. They may actually... I've seen someone use the poles, these stackable poles, as like a ladder attached to a foundation, but I couldn't kind of get it to work myself so I never included it in my tip video which I've um, just put out so if you are interested in Satisfactory link in the description below tip video on my channel and lots of other let's plays but I've never had to tackle a 5x5 five five video there is oh my god that's really that's kind of obvious and awesome at the same time so you is that that is actually up and you do that. Yeah, I think. Can I go up here and have a look? No, I can't. Uh, well, we got two. We got two interleaving belts here. See. It's a bit hard to see, but as long as they skip one belt each, they're okay. I'm just going to put a ramp down into the water in case I fall in. So it's just a matter of getting access to it, which is the painful thing right now. Um... Turn. Uh, it's. I really want a jetpack. All right. Now, now I can see what's going on a bit better. So you need to go up to there you need to go up to there you see that's gonna work it is gonna work it's just gonna be like hard and I hope the belts are going where I want them to go yeah yeah Okay, so you Ah, oh, this is fiddly, but oh it's kinda worth it. Um <laughs> zero Uh not seven. Uh where are you? Flat thing. This way, this way. Now, where were these going again? Does anyone remember? I'm pretty sure they're going up 
to the top there. Thankfully the game is pretty forgiving about belts uh, clipping over each other. Um, ha. All this is going to have to be torn down in due course. Why did I ever agree to a 5x5 five five challenge? That's crazy. Alright, so... Oh, my neck is killing me. Oh, can't afford. <sighs> okay, back to the bottom of the factory. Whoa. Let's have a look. I have four belts on three poles. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. Um, some of them are only going up halfway, so you see they're kind of taking over. Yeah. Why is that... Where, where, where is my... Oh, I didn't fill my plate manufacturing up. No wonder. What I'll have to do is just put down a little um, that and do it myself. Ah! Oh, it's a good chance to stretch. Oh, God. Ow, that hurts. <laughs> Alright, so we're probably in the last... Last little while of uh, make of, of playing Factorio today. Satisfactory. Whatever this game is, I have no idea. If you've liked what you've seen, then um, any super chats you send will be donated to the Christchurch... Uh, victims of the Christchurch tax... There's a charity in New Zealand called, uh, what is it, uh, Victim Support. And Victim Support are handling, um, yeah, supporting the victims, funnily enough. Where was I? It was around here. This is taking a lot of belt. Oh, my God. Uh, can we get to it from down here? Not easily. Maybe if I go upstairs... Um, oh, jeez, this is just... I like this, but it's so crazy. Um, we jumped. No. Nope. Gotta go this way a bit. Oh, no, didn't, didn't fall. Uh, this one. And that has to go. I really wish my multiplayer -y buddies were on right now because this hurts trying to figure this out with my poor brain. Now it's possible. Oh! Oh, God. That was a bit close. I really don't want to fall in the river or in the lake. There's a monster in there. He's going to eat me. So we've managed to raise about $120 so far, which is nice. I appreciate that. Thank you, for everyone, for contributing. And up here. And... All right, so... You... Go through to here. You go through to... Ah, I can't afford lying thing. I'm actually going to take down this tower. Right, give me a little bit of plate. Um, I can probably take down this now. Just eking out every tiny piece of plate and whatever's being made downstairs. Oh, fog has come in. Right. And that weird little puddle of water is causing its own strange sound effects now. In case you're wondering, we're generating about 300 megawatts of power right now. Got some overclocked. Whoa! <sighs> Just 
Ah! Oh, this way can all come down too, until I put in a better pathway. At some distant point in the future. How far can I recycle? That's a long way. Okay, cool. That should do the trick. Uh, parkour over to here. Um, press F because I keep falling off here, so put something better in. I do like these walkway turns. I wish they docked a little bit better with some of the other construction and facilities you get. Okay, so now where do these need to go? One goes to here and one goes to here. So if I put out like a six, I can. Ah, too steep. Huh. Do we have to go up a bit more? Yeah. Um, six. Go this way and this way so I can see what I'm doing. Over a bit more. Okay, so that'll go to any of these ones. And that one will go to there. I think we've done it. Oh my goodness. We have. Wow. Look at that. Oh, $20. Thank you from NM. That's awesome. 140 bucks. You're a genius. Thank you very much. So, yeah, in case you don't know what's been happening in New Zealand, unpleasant things. And we're normally such a nice place. And Australia has been doing a great job by punching racists, which is always appreciated. So thank you, Australia. Well, egging them. If you don't know what that's about, go look up Egg Boy on YouTube. It's going to fill in the little bit of wall here. I feel bad if the foundations are hanging off on their own above us. Okay. That is looking awesome. Let me have a look. And we're not even clipping too badly through our own steps. Look at that spiral. I'm going to go down to the bottom because it looks just amazing from down there. That's just so crazy. We still have this kind of other ridiculous spiral to worry about. Uh, but I'm a bit terrified of touching it, to be honest. Especially in the dark. And what I should be doing is trying to get the next unlocks done. Uh, so I should collect resources. Alright, um, take that, and over here is, an... what are you, why aren't you making anything? You're not getting any plates, why not? Because you're, what? Uh, screws, why, why aren't those plates? Uh, those should be plates. No wonder I'm getting a double dose of... Okay, that's weird. Yeah, I was getting a double dose coming out. Okay, so fine. I think that means I'll need to deconstruct that. Okay. Mark two belt. Plates going in. Alright, good. So that's going to do that thing. That's the ground floor cleared of resources. The middle floor is just smelters, so don't have to worry about that. Top floor has a lot of this stuff. We'll grab that. And it's got copper cables. And it's pitch black. Why don't I turn my torch on, tiny pirate? We've got a ton of rotors already, so it's, let's go unlock something. What have we got to unlock? Oh, we got the hard drive, I think, has been scanned. So we should have an alternate recipe, if I can even use it. Maybe I have to unlock it. Here we go. Hard drive. Uh, iron and 
Is that any good? Four things. How am I going to get four things in a thing? Iron concrete. Alternate rotor blueprint. I'm okay with the rotor. We'll take that. I don't even know if it's useful. Hard drives? No, I haven't got any more hard drives. I don't think I have anyway. Any more in a box? No. None there. Alright, so. Oh, there it is. <gasps> Alternate. Ah, what is that? Caterham and rubber. Are these going to be weirdly unlocked under some weird higher tier? I bet you they are. That's what's going on there. We had to. Kind of annoying. You can unlock them early, but you can't use them. Okay, modular frames. How many have we got? I'll go for a bunch. And chuck them in there. And some more wire. Okay. Milestone reached. R and D inflated your pocket dimension and have provided an improved Xeno Zapper with increased strength and range. All right, uh, Xeno Basher. Oh, what? More, more copper. View. Right, let's check this thing out. Okay, so Xeno Basher. Hi. Wow. Nice. And yellow shards. <gasps> There's a scroll on the tech thing. I I don't believe it. There's a scroll. Scroll. That's oh guys, developers. <laughs> Have I ridden the pod thingy? No, I haven't. I'm too I'm too scared. There's a scrolling <sighs> gosh you guys I'm gonna be getting a little like that's a that's a big tip that's a big tip right there it should have appeared in my video maybe it'll appear in my next tips video all right can we make it to three? Oh no are we are we weight bound I would bet you if we're weight bound I'm gonna I'm gonna frown at the game I think we might be I've got a sneaky suspicion we are. Alright, let's have a look. No! That... What? Why are we not going as far? We're not going... That's weird. We're not going as far. That was my top of the third floor thing. And this one I bet you won't even make it all the way to the... second floor. Just... That's confusing the heck out of me. Uh, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, never mind. Okay, take all. Right, guys. That is so crazy that we have this uh, unlock that we... Um, actually, I need to put the some of the stuff back. We have this unlock across the scroll bar. Oh my gosh. That's nuts. Don't try it solo or hosting the game. Yeah, you can crash stuff, right? Take this. I can leave behind, like, at least some of this sort. Uh, don't need all of this by a long shot. Definitely don't need... Actually, I'll take this somewhere else. Add it to my pile of useless ores over here. Goodbye. And check my concrete production. I've got lots. No great surprises there. Alright, so. Let's get into the second floor here. i got six minutes to wait for the unlock to finish. That's really an, kind of annoying now, to be fair. But... 
Is this convey about two? No, it's not. Good. How is it doing? You know what? I'm going to use a shard on it. I've got lots of power. And I, I kind of need, okay, quite regularly to put like a thousand copper into stuff. Yep. Um, and you, I'm going to downgrade to about 30% power, because I just don't need that much cable being spat out all the time. Meanwhile, look at this elevator. I don't think it's the most elegant. I kind of would like it to be elegant, but I'm not sure I can do that. Now, what are you guys taking up? Plate. To the second floor. And I've got this elevator in the way, taking stuff all the way up to the third. Well, at least the plate and the elevators pass through each other fine. Which isn't too bad. Is there a power setting on the pads? I don't know. I don't think there is. I'm just going to get rid of this. I feel bad using all this extra floor space for f my little factory. Uh, that being said, I'm going to put this down so I don't fall off. Now, I think there's definitely something to be said for sorting out another stack, even if I don't necessarily use it. Like, yeah, like this. And it needs to be like that far apart. Will that go? That is up, right? Yeah. I wonder what it takes to go up like two. Probably a wider, if you wanted to go up two heights at once, probably a wider situation, right? Um... Can I stand on top? Oh, I can. So you're coming out here and then going up there. Hmm. And you're going out over there. What happens if I just tear this off? I'm sure they'll still run. They'll just look a little weird hanging out in space. Could we make it a bit tidier? Mm. Arguably. Um, actually, maybe, yeah. So it would require doing this. So that's a constructor making... Oh, doesn't fit in. rods, right? Yeah. Hmm. If we then took your rods and went... Ah. Oh. Ah. Okay, so that high is fine. How weird. Oh, no. No, you only need... I've already done two at once, and you do only need two poles. Have a look. So, there's two at once down there, and there's two at once here, believe it or not. And I'm going to get stuck, so I need to get off this. I'll try and show you by climbing up here. And standing on the top. See? They don't... Uh, weave back and f they don't spiral around around each other like uh, DNA, like a helix. They're more just like wrapped because they can skip 
yeah, they start at slightly different heights. It's a bit hard to explain because I'm not very wordy right now. I've been all, I've been here all day. <laughs> I'll try and do it to show you. So if this one comes up here, instead of coming, he goes up to there, and then basically the one below him would come up to a slightly different spot. So this is the one below him. And that one goes as high as it can go over, 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 oh, over there. Okay, jump. <laughs> Just jumping, falling all over my factory now. Don't fall in the water. I'm just going to put this here so I definitely don't. Okay. So, this was not my invention. This was other people who were smart enough to help me. See? They just have to interleave like that. Like, it's not going to be the, like, easiest, perhaps, way to handle things. But it's what I figured out after playing non-stop for many hours. Actually, I haven't even been to the bathroom or had a drink of water. Speaking of which, I should drink water. I'm going to get totally told off. Um, yes, so I'm streaming. That's been scratched. What's that? You scratched so you yourself. That's been scratched and um, thing. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I jumped off the thing and then I and then I rolled, but then I, then but then somehow oh, the thing came off. Oh, you're all right. You yeah, smacked yourself like again. A bunch of blood coming out. Oh, that's a bit gross. Mm. So I'm just going to finish up now, pretty much. I'm just going to finish this little bit to show people stuff, and I'm currently streaming. Really? Can yeah. you hear your mic right now? Ah, uh, yes, they can. So, Hi. Yeah. Everyone, say hello to Thomas. I don't know how many people are out there, so it won't be too many, I expect. So I'm being challenged to make a little grid of seven or five by fives three poles that you climb faster yeah i think you're right Hayes. that would be like really good it would be good to do but i haven't managed to figure that out and i suspect i've got one under here yeah up oh, we go actually where does this one even need to go to the oh oh I'm underwater where's the shark where's the shark where's the shark all right so everyone we're in the last five minutes of the stream if you would like to donate to the Christchurch um, fund for the victims yeah there is somewhere then you can do so at the uh, link in my description let me know Hi. or you can send me a super chat they said, someone said, hello, young human. And someone said, hi, mini tenaba, and someone said, hello. Uh, okay, so stuff has to go. I'm, I'm going to have to just deconstruct things just so I can figure out where it has to go. Okay, so there is one, no, there is one of the belts. <laughs> Don't mess with it. I'm <laughs> busy trying not to fall constantly to my death. No, fingers off, <laughs> fingers off. Uh, that one comes up to here. What are they? Are they both? One of them is not connected. Oh, I haven't set. That one's supposed to be making poles. Oh, uh, to <coughs> connect. All right. Oh, what do you think, Tom? Oh, that's cool. Hang on, look up, look up. What is this one? What is this one trying to do? This one's trying to make... Okay, that one's trying to make iron. Bolts. That one's... A, see, this one's actually trying to connect in here. Like, that looks so cool. It does look cool, doesn't it? And like, if this you go to the outside one, and look at it, it looks so awesome. Like, all the oh. conveyor belts going out and stuff. And, like, just conveyor belts popping out. It looks so cool. Yeah, I know. This one needs to come straight in there and when I connect it on this side oh my god this is so much fiddle 
All right. Like if you go to, like to the, off to the side, then uh, and I am. I'm going to have a little. We're going to have a little clear of this junk off, so we can see it. And then we'll be able to admire our three different stacking uh, conveyor belts. Which is frankly just nuts. It's just crazy. Is there a shark that won't even do that? There is a weird... Yeah, I only just found out today by walking around and seeing this lake and being terrified. There you go. In the distance it animates oh, a bit slowly, but when you're up close it's large and terrifying. See? Hello. No, 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 no. Oh. It it disappeared. Alright, so yeah, look. That's awesome with like just all the belt popping out and stuff. Yeah. Let's have a good look at it. What's that big thing over there? Oh, that's the space elevator. What does it do? It elevates things to space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So there you go. Uh, I will just put on a, another little uh, little foundation here so we can check out this place. There is the 5x5 five five factory. Wait, is that only 5x5? Five five? Yep. Oh. It's 5x5 five five on the inside. And is everything moving? I think it is. I think everything's moving. I'm just going to pretend it is. And this has been a charity stream. So we've got three different spirals running. That one's just absolutely crazy going up so many floors. I but can see the shark fine. thing. The shark thing's over there. Woo! All right, we'll have a little tour around. You're clonking the microphone, you see. We'll have a little tour around and see what's going on. So here is the, the sort of downstairs production facility, making some reinforced plate. And then we come upstairs. Like, I just think it's, like, really cool to just see, like, oh. all those belts just coming in and out of yep. the factory. Yeah, that's what we all love about it. And then over here is the smelter. I'm actually going to see if I can uh, just do a quick walkway, because I'm going to get up there. Oh, of course there's a power pole there. Put a walkway turn in it. Struck yep. that, then put a turn. Uh, we have no to destroy mind. that first. Like, that's the... Power power that, pole. Destroy the platform and put a turn instead of that platform. No, that's fine. It's the... I'll do that. Yeah. Okay, walkway turn. And then a walkway turn. I can't destroy that power pole because I can't remember where everything's connected to it. Which would be bad. Oh, well, you never mind. I can jump. jump. So that's the smelter layer. Mm -hmm. There's all pretty much smelters in there yeah. with a little bit of construction. And then up here... <coughs> up here, that? more that construction, that smoke. Oh man, wait, what's that big thing, machine? That thing big machine is an assembler. Oh, so it just puts things together. Yeah, it just puts things together. So I need to fill in some of these gaps. It's like the constructors, like they use one thing at a time to make something, but the assemblers use two. Correct. Oh, that's cool. And so yeah, the second floor is like this. It's a bit messy. The third floor, I really don't know what floor we're on anymore. Two. And then we keep going up. To the third. Poles between floors have ladders. Oh, that's such a, Yeah, I mean, hey, that's just uh, a brilliant idea. I wish they had them a little sooner. And. I'm just going to fill this in a bit so it looks great from a distance. Or even more great. Yeah. Because it looks quite cool. it look, does look quite cool when you like fill it in. Although I suspect that to make things work, I'd have to go through and put some of these things in the. Um, put some lights in. Put some door. Put some like windows in. Well, they don't really have windows. It is dark. I know. I think there are lights in higher tiers, but I can't remember. Since I can't get up there, I used to be able to jump up there using a jump pad, but I haven't been able to for a while for some reason. I didn't? Wait, oh yeah, I remember jump pads. But why haven't you been able to jump up with a jump pad? Um, I don't know, it doesn't, it just doesn't exist. It doesn't exist as an option right now. I, well, no, sorry, let me explain. I was jumping up, and then it stopped pushing me so far. I have no idea why. Where okay. is the jump pad? I'll show you. This is the top floor, which is currently 
empty and that's the factory and if I brought a parachute with me I'd be able to like swim down where are they parachutes? yeah so that's power generation actually power generation is at the top of that cliff all the way over there. there I can ping whoops boing I don't have the stuff but I am going to jump in the water and hopefully survive oh, yeah, Whoa, hey. any damage from the water Poles between floors is a great is a great idea actually. So let's have a look. Over here is concrete production. I left it out here just because I wanted to. Because he, because your naughty and didn't stick to the five by five. Ah, oh, shh! Don't tell anyone. <laughs> so here is fifty. This unlock. For and in case you don't know, good? folks, alternate recipe for screws. Look, no, there are unlocks. There are unlocks off the side. Thing. That's so confusing. Now then, there's this rocket thing that fires into the air. Oh no, not for that one. I don't know. Uh, the rocket where's my unlock? Is it going to be here? Alternate recipes for screws. So I bet you. Screw alternate. Ah, oh, that's so crazy. So that's I have unlocked. I picked up hard drives off these crash drone droid things, crash oh, yeah, pods. Yeah. And I scanned one and it gave me a cheap recipe for something. So look, alternate recipe for iron plate. And that's also just like a really simple thing to unlock. Boom. Now see if it launches. No, nah, it won't. Alternate recipe for a modular frame, which I can't do because I don't know what that stuff is. C Craterum. Uh, so I got three alternate recipes. And that's about it. Let's, I'll show you the jump pad because it's not working very well. Then there's a landing pad. Yeah, I don't worry about those. Landing's not so important. Like, I can't control that. Um, it doesn't matter if I stick stuff in there or not. Like, this one here is supposed to make me reach the third floor, which it's got the open window. But it oh, doesn't even like... get close. Yeah. Oh, fishy down there waiting for me to fall in the water and make a mistake. So yeah. that doesn't Wait, even how get come close. It doesn't go as far. Wait, does, oh, it, no. does it look? Hang on, look. It it's looks weird. like it needs like fuel or something to make it go. Like if you look at those tanks. What do you think, Sena? So? No, that's like compressed air, I think, is the idea. What about that jump pad? How far? Well, does that, that go? one sends me all the way yeah, to that one's good. there, which is great. Oh, and it didn't do any damage. Yeah, because I didn't fall from the top. But anyway, I'm just going to run over here. Yeah, like, um, like you should probably try and deconstruct that and put another one back in. And put that uh, and reconstruct that's it. That's all right. It'll launch you to I'm going to climb up to the top here and have a look at our factory from this. And it's probably about it's about stop time. So, everyone, yes, again, this has been a charity stream of Satisfactory on early release day. If you like Satisfactory, you should. That's looking pretty cool. You should check out my videos. They um, There's lots of Satisfactory in them right now. And uh, what else should people do? They should donate to the charity. There's a link in the description below to Victim Support Christchurch, or you can just super chat me. And thank you to everyone who has done that so far. So uh, that's Mitch, um, Knight, who's, okay, I didn't write your full name out. Oh my gosh, there's an another person who I didn't write their full name out. Brian, Tank, uh, Adrian, all of you people have uh, donated money. Thank you. It's been really great. And yeah, it is weird that it lost power. It's almost going to have to bug report that. That's the factory. That's looking pretty cool. I'm really pleased with it. Thanks for the help, uh, everyone, and giving little ideas and suggestions. And don't forget to watch his other Teen Time Teen Challenge videos because they're really funny, especially the tractor race. The tractor race. Yeah, the tractor, the tractor race, race was funny. pretty funny. Anyway, it's time for me to go. Thanks very much, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. I'll be standing, on, hanging around and chat for a little bit. Uh, I hope to catch you again soon. Goodbye. Jump into the water.